Doctor. 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 What can't be fleeting? And then you're letting him lead you. It doesn't. I don't. It doesn't matter what how you feel. Saying he's led by God, but you feel like God is not telling y'all that. Then you still follow him. You said something interesting, East. You just said like men don't think the way that women do. So it almost sounds like you don't fully trust their expertise. So how could you successfully be led by? So the majority of men don't have kids. Y'all are picking wrong. Y'all are literally picking the minority. Every man that's on this panel, y'all have more kids than all of us women. 51% of black men are single and childless. It's excuses for the, for the statistics. The, the statistics don't go well in your favor. So you say things like, okay, are they, are they, uh, are they shooting blanks or are they? Is his, cause men, I don't feel like men are overall passive the aggressive, the majority of men. Do you think that silence is that passive aggressive? Cause we will do that. Yeah, if you, cause there's niggas that are use that as a form, as a, a way to trigger a woman. Like, cause a lot of time a woman to tell you, like, when you're silent, it makes me feel like I'm ignored. So a nigga will do that intentionally. 
Yeah, no, I'm just because I didn't agree with the passive aggressive part until Mary said that. I'm like, okay, I could see men and be like, you know what? I ain't saying nothing else. Well, unsubscribing from the Democratic Party help fix Black America. Let's just unsubscribe. No, you got to know why. I don't think so. That's the only thing that get Black people together. You know what I'm saying? Like that <laughs> shit, like that shit, like that <laughs> shit, like that. Wow. What I think will fix is if Black people under truly understood politics. Because for a guy, because listen, it's, it's so many different reasons for a man to want to hang out with his friends. Adrian, I'm not going to let this slide. I heard you. Why do you think that it's older single women who share that opinion? Sometimes that's the case. There has Explain to be Explain what White History Month is. It's honoring the achievements of the greatest ethnic group in human history. Wow. I think all of that shit deserves a put them in a bathroom. <laughs> Would you rather have a whore of a daughter or a gay son? Um, let's see here. Um. Bruh. Because if she's a hoe, that ain't my problem. Hell, she just be a hoe. Shit. <laughs> That's a that's a whore, definitely. Like, yeah, what going to college a waste of time. Absolutely. <laughs> I it, it, it's hey, and can I just piggyback on that? That yeah, I read this for me, Q. Okay, five five dollar super chat from Omega Green depends. Go for STEM, medical or law. However, if you go for BS degrees like communications, is that supposed to be policies? Or criminal justice. Poli -sci, political science. Poli -sci, okay. yeah. Or criminal justice, it's wasted time. Final thought. When you take a man's time, it's like taking his money. When you take a man's money, it's like taking his time. Simply put, we want something for it. If you're not interested, don't go out. Sis, hit me up. Let's clear your coochie balance. <laughs> Do women, should they still be covered by men? Do women need to understand what it takes for men to feel like they should be covered by men? Yeah, absolutely. Like, women don't value men anymore, and, it, and it's evident. For women to admit that they're not equal to their men. Women have to come to that conclusion that you are not equal to your men. Are you for spanking? Let's go around the room, yes or no. Q, are you for spanking? Absolutely. Age. Mm -hmm. Okay, so big kids don't get spankings. Mm, you gotta fight them, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> There's no difference between divorced women and single mothers. The man will, in both circumstances, suffer comparably with no benefit to himself. The benefits don't outweigh the cost. But not it's still not as it's still better to go with someone who doesn't who hasn't gone through that. It's still better to not choose. Have men been getting over on household duties all this time? Please listen, but I don't I don't touch a trash bag to save my life. So, so let me ask you, could you and your wife switch roles and, and what you do versus what for that person hold y'all back or let y'all go? Physically can't nobody hold me back. Ain't no such thing as a fair fight. Direction choose your own path. Don't just wear anything. Wear garments that mean something. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got jackets. We even got hoodies. Let's not forget our classic tea. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Direction, choose your own path. You know, this is the home of We Major, Me Frosty, Unfamous, and the restricted clothing brands. Let's get it. The 
message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Yo, 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 yo. What's poppin'? We here. DJ Hampton Stampede, we in the building. Shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Perfect. Alex, what's poppin'? Welcome. Hey, Hans. Hey, y'all. Would you hey, like Alex. to introduce yourself to the people? Um, I'm Alex. I'm normally on the room. Put him in the put him in the put him in the put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Right, like Mary was popping. Cam, don't start your shit with us, okay? Put him in the Alex, Mary. Yeah, what's up? What's poppin'? Thank you, Dana. What's up, Dana? Love, what's good? What's up, y'all? What's up, Hamp? Happy Tuesday. Round two, let's get it. Let's get it. Damn, man. Mary, what what workout class you coming from or going to with your hair done? (laughs) What? Not a workout (laughs) class. You know I'm always in athletic clothes. You got the. Is it cold in Florida right now? Yeah. Work. Mhm. Damn, man, sis, did it snow up there? Yes, yes, several inches. Yes, yes. Damn. <laughs> Damn. They know what's popping. What's good? What's good? What's good? We ain't seen you, man. Everything's everything. They've been asking about you. Everything is as it should. Um, glad to be back. Love y'all. Y'all good to see y'all in know. person. I saw him in person today. Not today. This week. This past week. I wow. saw Asia. I saw love in person. <laughs> you saw, you I saw, saw all of, all of <laughs> shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. I saw a couple of my friends in person. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a good time. Yana, was good? Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Hello, everybody. Hi, Yana. Yana, just FYI, you only have four times throughout the show to get off camera. You used two so far. Okay. So, I don't know about that weak bladder you got, but you better get a cup. It was the dogs. The dogs are gone now. (laughs) What's up? <clears throat> Tay, what's good? Yeah, hey. You good? I'm I'm good. Tay Tay <laughs> Let me let me let me knit this in the bud right now. Oh, Yo. Tay Tay! Yo, 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 you. What? What? You good? No. 
Because I met my sis for the first time ever in person in real all life. All right, all right. But you yelling and carrying it. on. I'm trying to do introductions. All right. Let me do it one more time and then I'll be done. Tay Tay! <laughs> <laughs> You let me smell, hell. You did this. You did this, hell. You can't do that. Damn, man. <laughs> That's oh, the best man. feeling ever. That's what's up, man. Sis, what's good? What's up? What's up? Hey, everyone. Everything hey, good? Sis. Everything's good. Everything's good. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Let me see who in it for now. <laughs> Let me see who in the chat. Tatum, Mel in the building, Brave in the building. We rocked out all day today too. Line O was popping. Hall of Fame James in the building. Alex, Tina was goody. Mo Love, what up? Uh huh, uh huh. Tay was popping. Grape T in the building. You already know. Aaron was good. Round two is lit. Impressed. Who we got? Damn, I just got if a bucola the prism. It could if a bucola the prism. If a bucola the prism. Damn. Oh, thank you. Popping. Welcome. Oh, you do you the expert on Nigerians now, huh? <laughs> Snow goes. Marie in the building. D the degenerate in the building. Lucky I sent it to you. American Negro was popping. Matt P, what up? All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. We got 190 people in the chat already. Yo, 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 yo. Make sure direct to cyop.com, man. Go get your shit. This might be. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't even drinking right now. Pack was popping. All right. Top cat, we see you, Mr. JTK in the building. I feel like I missed you earlier. T Dub, what up? He was there. No, he was there earlier. No, but I don't know if I shouted him out. That's all. You did. We did. We did. Okay. Love C was good. VZ, you already know. Damn, man. We in here, man. Everybody in here. Let's get it popping, man. Damn. All right, all right. I like it. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. The sound effects back right, right? They, 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 they. Like like a little bit low. It's all good. They a little bit low, though. Good. Yeah. Okay, well, we got him. <laughs> Unlike Lee, I see you. Yeah. HQ, should we give HQ the link? <laughs> Fred, what's popping? Huh? What'd you say? Her socials or something, but yeah, bring her up here if she wants to. Tim, I see you. Dub, I see you. All right, man, we in here. We in here. We in here. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Let me check the likes real quick. Two hundred eight people, eighty three likes. Why do y'all do this? That's nuts. 83 likes and 200 people? What? All right. We need at least 40 more likes, man. Let's get to 130 so we can get this game started, man. Get the likes up. You good? Come on, what up? Ice T was popping. Wind chime was popping. Matt in the building. Carmine was goody. Mm -hmm. Likes up, man. 112. I gotta redrop the midday video because I played that NFL uh, video and it. Huh? I, I gotta redrop the midday video because it 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 uh demonetized it for playing the damn Super Bowl shit. Doctor. Lauren, you late? 
121 fret. Eight more, we up. Let's look. Likes up. This shit was popping. Lamar was stopping. <clears throat> Twenty five to one thirty three. <clears throat> I gotta eat. <clears throat> I gotta email Vince, man. I ain't seen him. The Garrett. The merchandise on the way. Oh yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Appreciate y'all, man. Keep the likes coming, man. 232 people in the building. Let's try to the match the likes, the number of people in attendance. You feel me? Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. All right, let's like get that. it, man. So, when you read the title, what's your first thought, Mary? God damn. So, I feel like some body shaming about to be going on. Body mm -hmm. shaming? yeah <laughs> because of the title what about and that's usually, that's usually what it ends up referencing like talking about women's bodies and being fat and who we can call fat who we can't call fat who needs a reality check is it really a reality check like so on and so forth it's all of the above huh right okay okay body shaming what is body shaming exactly when you talk about somebody else's weight but i feel like it's their build i mean it could be anything i mean er everybody gets body shamed at this point everybody or is it less than everybody at this point with like woke culture and bullying and such no i i feel like everybody because now even if you get the perfect body everybody gonna talk about how you got surgery to get it really okay. yeah interesting alex when you see the topic what were you thinking some complex shit. I didn't know if it was going to be about, to Mary's point, like natural bodies versus enhanced bodies and how we as women view it and perceive it with all that's going on now, especially as the men come up here and they talk about it. What exactly? How you look? Yeah, how we look, how we perceive ourselves. And I know a lot of times you talk about like, what do you rate yourself? Women, uh -huh. what do we rate ourselves? Okay, 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 okay. How about you, Dana? The only thing I see when I see the woman's body in, <laughs> after hearing Mary and um, <sighs> little buzz need love too. That's the only thing that matters to me. <laughs> That's the only thing I see when I hear that. When I see it as a nigga who has no butt, no ass at all, all I see is little butts also need love too because the woman's body the black woman's body is so celebrated as it should be for so many reasons because we are desecrated and like you know whatever we're diminished on so many levels but um there's somebody needs to carve out a little portion of the conversation for little butts that's it okay somebody like wow. it <laughs> Somebody like it. I know somebody who like it, bitch. <laughs> wow. Coach Tay, when you read the title, what's your first thought? I'm going to be honest. My first thought was all oh, shit, right? But mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, we might be going in a direction that you guys are more so talking about a woman being like, you know, a sacred space. I, you know, just me because i like to look at the positive part of everything so yeah i was hoping it would be more so on that end but yeah i was okay. thinking about body shaming and that girl thing too okay okay sis your thought it's interesting ah I, I 
I, I said, oh, hell, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. And then nothing. I just, ex I'm expecting the worst. <laughs> wow. Yana? Um, I don't know. I'm going to piggyback off that one. Like, one side of my mom was like body positivity, but I was like, the way you don't really ever hear anything positive. So I was really expecting, I'm, I'm expecting the worst. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Get the likes up, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. What? <laughs> the HQ, the $2 can't come up. Fatty snatched my wig off. <laughs> Hey man, hold on. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, motherfucker. It's that shit. All right, HQ, be careful now. <laughs> Damn, my bad. That shit caught me off guard for a second. <sighs> she crazy as hell, man. <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's 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 run through this. Let's see what's what. How much do you value your body, Coach Tay? Good question. Um, I, I, I like it's pretty high. I value my body a lot. I do because I, I push health and wellness, so I lead by example. At least I try to. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sis, what's your body worth to you? What is it worth to me? Yeah. Damn. What do you mean in percentage or overall? Ugh. Never no. really want to answer that question or been asked. Your the keyword is your. I know. I don't I can't tell you how to quantify it. But how do you value your body, sis? I, I, I don't gotta know. Okay. I don't know. Mary, what's your body worth to you? My body ain't got a price on it. It no. can't be bought. Hmm. So you're saying it's invaluable? Yeah. But I mean, it's valuable to me. That's who it should be valuable to. Mm -hmm. But it, nobody has anything to amount to the value that I have for it. Okay. Alex, what's your body worth to you? Um, I would say <laughs> now, post-child, it's everything. I'm just in amazement that the fact that I carried a person, that I birthed a person, and although it's not how it used to be, I'm learning to enjoy yes, of what my body has done. So it's definitely, um, it's got a little bit more worth to it than it used to before. Okay. So you see your body as more valuable now that you push the kid out? Yeah. Hmm. Love, well, how do you value your body? It's everything to me because you only get one. Um, okay. Health, health and wellness is of the utmost to me now. Um, as obviously, as as we all age, we need to treat our bodies much better. And I wish I would have had that frame of mind when I was younger. And I agree with how they used to say, "Youth is wasted on the young." Is you don't think about that kind of stuff when you're young, but um, my body is everything, and I treat it. I try to use it as a well-oiled machine. I make sure I drink my water. I make sure I nourish it with what's needed for it to function at its most optimal um, level. So it's everything, and so I I treat it as a sacred temple. Um, make sure what I put in it is is good and nourishing. <laughs> How do you value your body, Dana? Don't laugh like that and then come to me. I just heard <laughs> something in that answer. I just heard something in that answer. No, no, that's fine. But um, I don't. I don't think I've ever valued my body. If hmm. I can be very, very, very honest with you. I have always had body issues from the time I was, um, from the time I hit puberty to now, I'm 38 years old. I've always had body issues, body image issues. 
Okay. And so I, I don't value my body. I value the quality of my body and the things that like the longevity of my body. So I value the things that I put into my body so that it can last. But um, my body image, I don't value. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yana, what you think? How much um, is your body worth to you? I feel like you keep rephrasing the question. Mm -hmm. But um i just my body is priceless i'm just gonna leave it at that period okay well i understand that question ladies can you think of a number of men that you gave your body to that didn't deserve it yes oh they can't hear you nodding absolutely yes let's go around let's go around the room are you putting the number? No, not oh, number. Top my oh, okay, yeah, yes. You are the, uh, tell me the number. I'm interested. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not gonna set myself up. You said yes or no, yes or no. Okay, yes. all, right, all right. Smart, smart. I like it. <laughs> That's why you're always the, my favorite trainer on the team. I appreciate you're just, that. You're just crazy as hell. That's all. I'm Sis, you said yes. Yes. Hmm. Dana, you 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 are you a yes with that? Yeah, surely. Tay? Definitely. Barry? Yes. Alex? Absolutely. Love? Yes. Hmm. Would you guys say it was at the very least more than one? Yes. 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 Y'all can just say yes. Okay. And then um do you have you given your body to anyone that you regret it? Yes. yes. No. Damn. No. No. It was what it was, kind of thing. Yeah. Not regret, like you you reflect on, like like I, I don't want to make it seem like the regret, like in one way, but like maybe you if you could take that back, you would type shit. My answer is yes to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All I mean, right. I know regret can be that far, but there's you know what I mean. There's there's an in between there with. That wasn't worth it. Why did I do it? That nigga don't want me, etc. I don't want him. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Love yeah, said. Okay. Y'all keep walking with me now. Stay, stay, keep up. Love said something that was key. I make sure I monitor what goes in my body. I would venture that dicks go inside of you. Yes. <laughs> so you're thinking about this, right? You're thinking about this. You guys say your bodies are invaluable, right? The the value of them is is, is, is you can't measure it. Okay. Yeah. Now we just we just uncover the fact that there's bodies we regret, people we initially never slept with, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Mm -hmm. What goes into our body is very important. You guys agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. no. So now I'm going to ask you a question again. How much do you value your body? I repeat what I said earlier. I value no, my then, then don't go. If it's the well, same okay. thing. Can I, can I say You're something? asking the hold us on. to. Here's what I'm at. Now, now here's, here's one thing. That I wanna... me, what is my body hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I know I asked you different questions, right? But here's what the thing is. The other ladies are listening, are, are also answering, and it's okay if you subscribe to one of their answers. It's okay. But I asked a few different questions in a bunch of different ways just to understand, right? Because a lot of times on the panel, one lady will start windmilling, everybody going to windmill with her. So now don't let's not try to break down each other's answers. I think all y'all answered honestly initially. But have you thought about this, though, before? Your body is invaluable, right? You can't measure the value. That's what the majority of you guys said in some way, shape, or form. And then you gave it to people that seemingly didn't deserve it. So now if you answer that question again, considering those factors, considering health and all those other things, how much do you actually value your body? And here's the thing. You guys are brave enough to be up here. But there's plenty of women in the chat. It's gonna be eight thousand people to watch this, and and 
when you guys are answering it ain't just you you feel me you answering for a lot of other people you know i usually say that like i represent all the women in the world but the truth is who actually had this type of conversation before y'all haven't y'all thought we was going to talk about corny shit like body shaming <laughs> when niggas know they love ass with the dimples in it and the kangaroo pouch is okay especially if you had a kid so niggas i mean come on and then and then 70 percent of us overweight 40 percent of us is obese too so that's the pot calling and cut we don't need to get in that corny shit, right what, what's that what's the sad again which one either either of those of y'all being overweight yeah 36 percent of men are are overweight or excuse me obese black men now women's obesity rates are much higher well that's not what you were speaking on and that's not what i asked you to repeat so so and now that we ants we got all the stuff we're gonna consider and then we reflect back because if you're that valuable um one body that you regret you have to consider you have to weight that if you said your value was once quantified you couldn't quantify it so if you answered again transparently how much have you valued your body i don't think we've done a good job of all just hmm. like that i don't think so yeah and i'm not pushing i'm hope i understand i ain't trying to push you in no corner but let's be real for a second you feel me but if you think about if i'm answering exactly what you asked what i think mm -hmm. i'm thinking of me right now no all you know of it saying? matters so, all the stuff that i i used to do i don't do that nope that's not how life actually works right so it does. everything you, you know nope. so here's stuff. here's why so so hold on a second here's why it doesn't work like that right because if you start drinking and working on your liver early you understand that the liver gets corroded right why mm -hmm. because time and miles matter just like with knees if you're if you're overweight and you and you got your knees your knees will become compromised because you've been carrying that weight for so long so we can't now sit up here and say all that shit is 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 is, is obsolete now but at some point if you fix it if you start the diet the knees is going to be fine no you have, no 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 so here's here's what that see wear and tear right if you if you if you beat your car up and you start to not beat your car up is the car still beat up from the point you stop beating it up but if you get it fixed is it still beat up come on mary this is this is foolish i'm not i don't want here's the thing i don't really want to do this part because it's unnecessary we're wasting time so if you beat a car up Seriously. if you beat a car up right if you put a thousand miles on a car over the course of 20 days that wear and tear is different than a thousand miles over the course of 60 days right Okay. so time and miles matter to anything so to right time matters which gives people time to change okay well since I'm, so I'm you, sure you find value in things now that yeah. you did it before that's with anybody okay so you can't answer because you're saying that all your past doesn't matter so just sit out this question i'm saying that right now today i value it differently yeah. no that's i'm saying you're no and i'm saying your past doesn't matter because you're trying you're trying to dismiss it because you see things differently now so just sit out this question for a second so it's coach tay what do you think so i i get what you're saying in terms of like the damage is done if that's what i'm if that's the message i'm receiving right that's a good that's a good, um, that's a good understanding like you know essentially the damage is done you can't fix what was done in the past so considering that you know i clearly don't value myself as much as i thought but i to, to Mary's point of like, you know, changing or seeing the correction, I, I value it more now. I didn't then. I didn't more so then because of the things that I did to regret. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. All that all that stuff has to matter, right? Because what you want to think of it, Mary, is scars. You can always see them. You always know where they are. And you can remember the bike that you fell off when you got that scar. And so you got scarred or PTSD, which is the reason why you may or may not approach things the same way. That's why the past matters. So everything that you accumulate with your body, how have you treated it, given that we regret some things that we experienced, what do you, how do you think you valued it? I didn't value it. Hmm. 
Okay. How come? What make you say that? That's saying didn't, like not at all. Why is that? Because I just didn't to me. I don't it just wasn't things weren't like such a big deal. Like hmm. it wasn't I was a very dismissive person. Like to hmm. me, it was just like whatever. Like, you hmm. know, didn't really care about much going on. Yeah. Apathy is protective in a way, right? Because it's easier not to care. Seemingly. Right. That's that's solid. That's solid. Okay. And that's why I was diving into like, let's really look. We can give cliche answers all the time. Remember, I had to tell y'all niggas y'all was average? Cause for some reason I was walking around thinking y'all was nines and tens. So <laughs> we, says the four yes. yeah yeah and i'm a four it. right so if i you know so i ain't afraid to be a four i ain't afraid to be a seven she you marry so you don't count <laughs> you ain't a four and single touche touche <laughs> so <laughs> and my wife got me beat by a little bit so she i guess i'm doing better than <laughs> Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> she brought up the overall. So, Yana, how have you valued yourself? I'll say then. I'll, I'll still say that I see my body as priceless. I may not have valued it as if it were priceless at a certain point in time. But I don't think that determines my worth. Hmm. Well... If you gave it to something or someone that didn't value it at all, right? But you gave it to them, you sold it to them, they bought it from you. Did that put a value on it? No. Well, think about this, right? If you get associated with something that costs 20 bucks, right? So let's say you got two toothpastes and there's all toothpaste on Run Road that are worth $7. Right. But I put the wrong toothpaste on that road. That's not worth seven dollars, but it also doesn't have a price tag. And it's been associated with seven dollar toothpaste since I went in that store. What am I going to assume the price is of that toothpaste? I get what you're saying, like birds of the same feather flock together. What am I going to consider the price? Well, first off, what first question? What am I going to consider the price of that toothpaste to be? You're going to consider it to be what everything else is, but seven dollars, right? Okay, then I think we should just leave it at that. That's how I'm gonna just leave it at. I feel no, because it's, it's important to answer and then you can add context. So I get, it would be, I get, what you're saying. I get your mm. point. Yeah, but go ahead, break it down. Point. Break it down. What is there to break? I don't feel like there's anything to break down. I just, just because you know, at a point in time, I didn't value myself doesn't mean that my worth is my, I don't feel as though my body is priceless at that mm. point in time. I just wasn't operating in that mindset, but. Okay. Hmm. Right. So, Ham, isn't that the lesson to learn overall over uh -huh. time since you can't go back in time? Uh -huh. So what she's saying is she learned it, married to. So now you're putting the right amount of value on your body now because you learned. You can't it. tell me that there isn't a woman. Well, I, I won't speak for every woman, but I know that there are some females out here who have laid down and done the do and have been like in the middle of the do is like, I know I'm not worth this. Oh, I'm better than this. So just because I did it in the moment with somebody, I know it wasn't worth it at all. And I knew I was going to regret it right after. In that moment, I still felt like I'm the shit. But like, this is, it don't make sense. But in my head, we just going to leave it at that. But that's how I feel. My personal opinion. You, if, if, if one of the ladies had to respond to Yana's commentary just now, what, what should you say? I'm just confused. I... Yeah, to me, it sounds like a discussion of one's ego and their worth being tied together. Like, I tie my ego to what my self-worth is, kind of, to me. Like, I feel like I'm a little bit confused on it. Because when I hear the question in the statement, my answer wouldn't change. I feel more, my, my body is more valuable now. I, I asked you, I asked you, what would you say to her based on what her commentary just was just now? I would just say it sounds like ego 
over worth? Like Break it down. Um, the high, maybe the high that you get off of doing whatever you do that supports and inflates your ego, but it doesn't necessarily support your worth. Like how she said that, you know, possibly laying down with the individual and I'm like in the moment you're like, I know I shouldn't be doing this. But then I would think, okay, but why did you do it in the first place? Did you do it because of your ego to boost your ego to see if you could maybe lay down or be with this individual? Did you did you do it to see if you could was, attempt it? I guess I'm I a little think it was more of like a self love thing. That okay. I maybe. mean that ties well, into like yeah. All right, let me interject was, real quick, Alex. Maybe you shouldn't have stepped up to answer the question. I mean, I think it's just the opposite of what Alex is saying. I think men are good at selling you a dream or just looking real, real edible or just they're saying the right things. They're in the right place, right time. And then you give in. They're like, hold up. I ain't. What? Nah. And then you you get them up out of there. I've done that. Um, mm -hmm. I think now, though, Yana, you're still in your 20s, still kind of in your prime life. Yeah. No kids. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Just treat it like it's supposed to be treated. From but what do you, if you had the, if you had the, if you had, if you were her coach, what would you tell her? If she's saying in the middle of an act, you regret the person, place, time, act, but I'm still the shit. But the person has no value. And then this process has been duplicated. Are you going to then say you got time? Yeah, she still has time. And it, it, it's, where's the it's correction is what I'm asking. Well, it's good that you came to the realization, but that's a little late. But you know now what to do moving mm. forward. Don't even entertain it. Damn. What about when you... What about... But sis, did you hold her accountable by saying the man talked her out her draws? <laughs> well, she knows he did. And that's he how did. I got to I didn't, say sure? the, I didn't say that anybody talked me out of my drawers. See? Nothing like See? that. I laid down. I did the act. I'm saying it was. That's why I just said, "Why couldn't you just leave me alone? Why couldn't you just leave me in my confusion statement and like?" Cool. So no, wait, did he not say anything? Did he just show up and then it was just like make eye contact? No, it was. Now I have to think about a specific time where I knew I regretted it. Thanks. Um, it's like I deal with the. I deal with a lot of like. I lack a lot of. At a point in time, I lacked a lot of self love, and even now, I still mess with that so it was more so like i don't love myself enough to be like i don't even want to do this yo like i'm just here to be like supportive kind of thing like i'm just here like i know i don't want to be here i know this isn't something i should be doing but it's like i didn't love myself enough to be like just don't be there type deal but the question was, how do I value my body? Like, what is my body work to me? That was your question to me originally. That's what my question was. But Does that make sense? If you, it, so the, here's, here's my thing. I'm having a hard time understanding how it's invaluable, but yet in the middle of it, when you don't even consent anymore, you'll lay there to please another person. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, pretty much. That's That's what that was. I know, don't. It's not don't do never, it. never agree with it or anything like that. Just say that's what that was. No, yeah. I understand, but just don't ever do that. Because at any point, when you don't want it to happen anymore, you it's not consentful. That's it, and I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm yeah. sick of y'all leaving shit at that. That's when Yana yeah. actually, so here's the thing: Yana actually, she even though she she be wild and she windmills, she listens though. I've been knowing her for a decent amount of time. And she got she got like a big heart, big energy, but that that self esteem part is is what she's been progressing on. So, so what else? Go ahead. Go ahead. So a while back, when you know you asked the question, I was I was gonna say the same thing I said, but clarify more upon it. But you stopped me. What I was gonna say was it's kind of like the Yana thing. Like now, where I'm at. And I said, youth, when I say youth is wasted on the youngs, what they say. And I wish I knew then what I know now, because a lot of the decisions I made back then, I would not have made. And I wouldn't have to be even more hyper vigilant um, and or have to repair some damage that was done when I was younger. 
And the whole point of what I'm hearing, Yana, and I, I think Hampton just said it too, is listen to your intuition. And when you don't want to be there and you ain't, don't play a supporting role to anybody's story. And I, oh. and I can res go ahead. Well, I mean, cause y'all, y'all, cause, cause one thing we didn't do was address the, the situation. We talking about what, well, uh, you said, go ahead. So be quiet for a second. So we didn't address the situation because that that's real. Cause we talking about how, Hey, if y'all, Hey, listen, this might not be for everybody. This conversation, I get it. So how have we valued our bodies? Sis kept it real when she unmuted. We haven't done a good job because she's talking about past, present, and future, and you gotta weigh it all. Because we had this conversation a lot, so I'm trying to understand it. Like, how did we really value ourselves? That's the crazy part. I was literally going into that, but you cut me off when I'm saying I was trying to talk to her and just really have a heart to heart with her right now. But you cut it off again. Well, because I want to hear some accountability before I hear the coaching. But how much accountability is that? Because I was accountable. I feel like yeah. I, didn't, I don't need anybody to hold me accountable. I held myself accountable by saying what I said. Right. And she uh, she felt that she shouldn't have, that she wouldn't want to do In that moment, like, I was holding myself yeah. accountable for the dumbass actions that I was going through with. Everybody here is just like kind of just being nice about it. Basically, you was dumb as shit. But being nice about it, they, they're all holding me accountable. No one well, said anything because everyone held yeah. me accountable by their all their looks. Well, Yana, here's, but they didn't say shit though. You don't have to. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. So here's the other thing, now right, that Yana? Now we're going so deep into it, you know, I well, kind of wish I didn't say it. You know, it's okay saying? though. Here's one thing okay. you said. I, I done it. Here's the one thing that you said though, that the accountability wasn't there in the moment because you said, while it was happening, I was still the shit. Okay. Let me, I can I retract that statement? And once I said it, I felt bad about saying it. Not that I'm the shit. It was like, I'm still, I'm still Ayana. Me being with this bum ass nigga or whoever it might be, I'm still Ayana. Like, and Ayana is that nigga. Like, hands down, that nigga, this bum ass nigga here does not determine I'm less than because you don't got a car, don't got this, don't got that. You're not determining who I am in this moment. Because there are a lot of females who out there, like even people who get raped and stuff, you know, like if, if I was a rape victim, I'm not a victim, but like it happens. But if I were to let that determine the rest of my life, I probably wouldn't have never met you because I probably wouldn't have, I'd probably be scared of men. Mm. You know how many men I'm around now? I'm the only woman in my shop. So if anything, yeah. I feel like that helped me in life. Not helped me, but like it played a part. A man touched me as a child and I couldn't do nothing about it. Yeah. Now I work with men and I not I carry men, but I know how to talk to a man. Like on man time stuff, but like I know how to address a man. Hmm. And make myself be seen and heard. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. The one thing you said, I'm, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it marinate. Um, but I just, yeah. Let me read these super chats real quick. Age, you want to say something? You got the floor. No, Yana. I'm sending you love and I appreciate your transparency. Seriously, sis. The transparency and honesty is appreciated. Sincerely. I, appreciate I don't ever talk to nobody, so I love it here. I do. Thanks, Sam. Oh, wait, I just I just wanted to ask a question and not just that. <laughs> yeah. Has has no one else ever been in that situation? Because I can relate to that situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what do you mean by that? Don't, don't yeah. slick talk. You you had the floor to say what you want to say. Anything you want to say. Go ahead, Alex. No, I was just asking if anyone has ever been in a similar because now that the conversation has continued on, I'm like, 
I understand what Yana is saying completely. I've been in that scenario. And I know I'm not the only person that I know of in my circle who's been in that scenario. You got into some shit and you were like, I don't really want to do this, but fuck it, we're here. If I could go back, I wouldn't have maybe put myself in that position. Then it becomes a conversation of consent. You know, did you feel powerful enough to be able to say stop right. or and get then up? it turns into, well, did he rape you? Never mind. I'm going right. to shut the hell and up. And you bro. chose to be there. And that's something that you have to kind of have. I know for me, I had to have the inner turmoil in my, in my situation. Like, I had to sit back and be like, well, Alex, you had no business going there. Luckily, it didn't transcend to something else. But I had to sit there and I had to move differently after that. Hmm. I had no business being there. I had to take accountability of that. Yeah. So in the moment, I was just like, fuck. Yeah. I'm here. I won't speak but... for everyone. I've definitely been in a similar situation hmm. where I was just like, you fucked up. And so if this happens, you deserve it. Hmm. It didn't happen, thankfully. Yeah. In that scenario. Mm -hmm. Especially like being a young, I was very green coming um, from into college. Yeah. I grew up in Palmdale. You know who's from Palmdale? Me, Paul George, and Afro <laughs> Man. And that's it. And Paul George <laughs> is just recently <laughs> known. <laughs> if you watch basketball. So for a long time, it's me and Afro Man, and that's it. <laughs> mm. The point is. I came from a very small town. I was very, 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 very green. And I put myself mm -hmm. in a lot of very dangerous situations when I first got to the big city of Washington, DC, mm -hmm. when I went to Howard University. Mm -hmm. And thankfully I wasn't I wasn't in a compromised position, but I could have been. I put myself in a lot of bad positions. Yeah. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Because remember the premises you value the woman's body, right? Michelle, just consider that for a second, man. You in these compromised positions, you with men that simply don't deserve it. It's tough to defend yourself outside of what Yana just, just mentioned. Right? And then we talking about how much have we valued ourselves. To, to If we sit up here and act like that, we had so much value in ourselves throughout all these years. I'm just going to say, the feel to me is it's slightly disingenuous. But it's important to learn. Like Mary said, like Asia mentioned, that okay, I'm here now, like Tay mentioned, but you gotta wear that shit regardless. If you don't wear it, you forget about it, in my opinion. Let me read these real quick. Sean with the five dollars says, sis don't value her body. Remember, she says she don't make men put condoms on. They lying because they don't value their womb. Listen to past convos. MC Heavy Tits with the two dollars says, I don't remember that. Hello, Mr. Hamp panel in chat. What's popping? MC Heavy Tits with the five dollars says, The question is, should a woman in her 30s keep devaluing her body because of the damage is already done? That's a good question. Different question. D Town with the five dollars. What's popping? D Town says, uh, Hamp, this is for the babies, man. I got I got me a job. Shout out to D Town, the one and only. <laughs> Love you, Hamp. Be safe. Oh, the beautiful lady salute. D Town, get some rest, Playboy. Congratulations on the job. <laughs> Ricky with the two dollars says, It's our fault, fellas, even if she did it. Zach Goo with the two dollars says, Win milling already, ladies. Hampton Goat, appreciate you. See, the spouse with the five dollars says, Can the women answer the question of should black women date if so much trauma comes after dating when they blame men for all their choices? Sean with the two dollars says, "Here comes the victim parade. Typical shit." See the spouse with the two dollars. I appreciate Dana's truth talk so far. Proud of you. And I want to say, I think sis, um, I, I think sis kind of retracted that a bit, putting it on the guy, right, sis, or no? What? Talking her out of draws, talking you out your draws. Me. Yeah, you said this is what happens. They talk you out your draws. They tell you what you want to hear, etc. You give them some cheap, but you you taking accountability for being talked out your draws, right? Have I? Yeah. You shoot. They some some a couple of them didn't have to. <laughs> they have to say that much, especially in college. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So see. So Sean. See. She 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 clarified it. Okay. 
Let me ask y'all a question. Is there a difference between giving dick and taking dick? Man to woman relationship. What? But, well, if you can't answer, don't answer. If you think you can answer, go ahead and answer. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> Is there a difference between giving dick and taking dick? I mean, I don't have a dick, so... So you would what? Like top versus bottom? No, it's it's heterosexual. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah, there's heterosexual, a difference. heterosexual, heterosexual. I mean, oh, answer. so... Go ahead. Yeah, it's the difference between man and woman then, right? If it is a man, you take it as a woman. Right. But is there a difference, though? Is there... Let yeah. me ask this. Is there a different impact, love? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Because as a woman, you are receiving mm. and it, it has more implications because the receiver versus the giver. Absolutely. Niggas just be passing it around. Like it just be like, give something to you, give something to you, you get some, you get some. You know, I am not mature <laughs> for this conversation. <laughs> Cause in my mind, I'm like, give me catch it versus thrower. But for real, because it's like once the man, once the man is giving it, it's like off of him. Like if you look at it that way, it's like off of him. So somebody has to receive it. And that's us as women. If we, so they're, they're always, okay, you guys, this is basic electricity. So there's a female and a male <laughs> plug, right? There can only be one giver. That's the point. We are. We, we mean, we're the receiver. They are the point. We have to be. <laughs> But what about the impact? What about the impact on a person? So the impact is very right. is very different because mm -hmm. emotionally, we overarchingly as women, we mm -hmm. view sex differently. We are receiving. I think Mary said it. I'm ordaining whatever. Many off. We are receiving what they're giving off, and it's and it's coming into us. You know, no pun intended, but it's coming into us. <laughs> no, but that's good though. Go ahead. I don't mean it like that, but. It is, kind of, and so yeah. we are receiving, and I'm not trying to be crass, but we are receiving even the the come out of him. He's not receiving anything from us. So giving it and taking it are two very different things. They have different implications emotionally and physically. So there's a big difference. Did you guys, go ahead, Alex. So maybe my mind is in the gutter, but that's not how I was thinking about it at all. <laughs> Because everybody can't take dick and everybody can't give dick. I was, <laughs> but clearly we were talking about it on a deeper level. So my apologies if that's not where you're trying to <laughs> question him. Yeah, no, it's, all, it's all good. I just wonder, have we we ain't been fucking around that much overall tonight? So, what do you think about what Love was saying? I agree with her. Um. With women, it's a little bit, it's more intimate. We are receiving you. Like we are embodying you. We are taking all of you. And uh, with a man, it's, it's just like we said, like I'm, I'm giving it to you. I'm sharing it with you. Shared mm -hmm. and receiving is how mm -hmm. I interpret what love is saying. I think mm -hmm. it sounds like bros. Like you're like, it's what it should be. Like somebody got to do something on either side. So Seem like mm -hmm. natural existence, you know. But sis, in terms of the impact on your body, like, think about this, sis. What you think about this? If you can, now y'all got to do a lot of walking with me now. All right, I just talking about fucking and shit like that. But sis, do people eat dirt? Mm, that's not, the, not the South Carolina, not yeah, not the South Carolina clay dirt red shit. Or these motherfuckers who's on um them habits where they be sniffing pampers. But generally speaking, do these motherfuckers walk outside, dig up grass, and eat dirt? No. Like, do like how about like guys? Do guys even eat dirt? Like me, me and Charles. Are we gonna go outside and eat dirt? No. But will we go outside and wrestle in that same dirt and roll around in it and all that other shit? And fight yeah. and all that? Yes. So think about the impact of something internally as opposed to externally. What you think about that? Huh. 
I mean, like wear and tear. Well, oh. well, you know, they said they said something that says I, I I didn't study up on it, but I heard that like if a man, let's say you get somebody's semen in you, that semen doesn't just disappear. I didn't vet it though. That's what I was just gonna say. So yeah, y'all know that's what I do. Um, so that semen don't go away. So that man is still in you from years ago if you let him let go. So that's that's real life. Um, and that's one thing we don't think about or interpret the right way when we're thinking about taking these bodies on. Oh, because it feels good. But that man has entered you and he's in you. He's gone and he's moved on to the next person. But you're still carrying him around. So that's real. Tay, I think that's real. But I want to I want to know the point that Hamp is trying to make. No, you're not going to get there yet. We're okay. having a conversation. So, but I, but also I kind of put that to sis in terms of, and then Tay, I just, I didn't vet that, you know, but I'm glad you were able to clarify because sis was saying it was just roles, but sis, if you think about the impact of your role in that given situation, what you think? Cause remember we talking about your bodies and we started with the value of it. Well, I think that's why we, the majority naturally has le way less bodies than men overall. Okay. Okay. Has that changed as of recent? I don't know. You gotta say, or who says sexual freedom and liberation and do what you do, or I don't know. That's <laughs> saying the education, not to be out there. Oh, well, I thought I you wait. No, you would say something like, "I can't think of that mess," but like the basically. Let them live to each his own, something like that. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. It yeah. might have been they. They might have been they. But th maybe nay, definitely Alex. She's sitting up there like I don't see her. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm just thinking about it, sis, right? Because we, I'm not disagreeing with the value, but now how are we considering our value? how 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 are we actually perpetuating that we value ourselves this much we can't we got niggas on us <laughs> oh i think it's living i think it's living your truth or some mess like that that's yeah yeah that's yeah that's that that's the, okay. the, but, the um, gay nigga the gay niggas do that rephrase that right there See? what part yeah. they're gay huh the what the yeah. question you just asked well, just think about it. So the impact on your body, right? Along with some of these, you know, these bodies that we regretted, then we let in mint, we smash them, right? But the impact on you guys' body is different than ours. Does that need to be a stronger consideration than than maybe it currently has been? Yes. And and if anybody is thinking that this is about some shame bullshit, this is about reality. And if we agree that the value the body is valuable. The woman's body because it carries babies let's say which it which we can't do so let's talk about it then and we know the impact on your body is different than ours what do your considerations need to look like as opposed to ours but at that point too it's like so are you telling us yes we do have the space to think differently of our bodies because initially it sounds like to me that that wouldn't even matter even if we did right. we should take it in consideration like but when we do take it in consideration it does it still don't matter what do you mean because when when i was saying the space i'm in now versus where i was prior you said you still have to take that into consideration now you're telling us to take into consideration how we did use our bodies or you know what i'm saying and you know talk about the change so it's like does the change matter or is it not going to matter what actually happened was you started your your sentence with but which means you didn't even recognize what we were actually talking about you were saying that shit didn't matter anymore you were trying to dismiss it that's why we went down that 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 that's why we had to make sure we understood that narrative right because you had stated that even if i am who i am now or believe what i believe now my past still has to correlate to my Teach answer yeah, you got to pull. You got to, you got to pull. Cause we talking about value and everything, but also here's the other thing. The reason why it matter and you cannot um, dismiss it is because you got daughters. See, remember, I also prefaced the conversation with saying 
you guys are up here because you're brave enough but also people in the chat there's gonna be ten thousand people that watch that and somebody listening you see what i'm saying so you're saying that consider although, consider although all of it right, although so. although we don't have the opportunity to consider ourselves valuing ourselves now we still need to have the knowledge of it to teach someone else no i'm saying that you can't dismiss that past and that doesn't your past impacts your value that's what we were talking about basically so right. you, so, let's say so you have a value score of 100 but go ahead uh -huh. so that would mean when it comes to all of our past and us doing shit that maybe we we shouldn't have done now today like we still have to say we don't value ourselves no i said what is your value right and so we were assessing value and you mm -hmm. thought you were going to dismiss the past and then assess your value from right now because of what you learned i'm saying you have a value score as does everybody and the things you do affects your value score so the right. past so the past don't need to be worth, considered i can't be worth a hundred today because of the stuff i've done in my past so i'm probably like a 30 percent today i'm so Doesn't that's how i'm supposed to look at it well what do you think is that bad or is that realistic no i'm, like, I'm asking because realistically i believe that i, I can change and have full value of myself so realistically, that's just what I personally think. I believe that I can say that today I value myself at 100% because I know what it's like to only value yourself at 30%. Does anything else in life work like that? Yeah. Things increase and decrease in value every day. Okay. Well, like I said, if you if you're going to stand on that, then then you you what it is is this you won't you won't get as much from the combo maybe. You know what no, I mean? like I'm listening to what you're saying, but what yeah. I'm saying is that you're you're initially you were saying, oh, our past has to matter, it has to matter, but then you're telling us to take into consideration what needs to change. So does changing ultimately? What are you talking about? I'm saying considerations of having sex with men, right? If we right. understand that, because we're talking about today, so mm -hmm. when we're saying men can have sex, women and men can have sex, right? And they shouldn't be judged. You ever hear that argument with with, with sexual liberation, etc.? Right. However, we just heard from Tay, who who studies this, invests in it, right? That there's a different impact on a woman's body when she's mm -hmm. having sex with a man. You see, so I understand that you. It is it is it's related, but it's not necessarily mutually exclusive, Mary. We're kind of on like something different. You know what I'm saying? But I understand what you're saying. There's opportunity to learn always to your point. Is that I fair? Feel like I'm asking, like in a way. Yeah. I'm basically saying, like, what's the point? If if you already feel like we're already at a zero with value. Who said you're at a zero? I, I'm just saying, like, just in general, I'm just throwing a number out there. Mm -hmm. If it's the number's already low, why like say say it's at a 10%. Why try to float at a 20? If you're at 10 from a hundred do your best to maintain them 10 little points you got <laughs> I, like, get, what the fuck? I get that but what i'm saying is is the change is that ever going to be a part of consideration is yeah you'll, you'll you'll still maintain your 10. <laughs> okay if you ain't at a 10 though if you had a 10 god damn but what makes okay so now that we're talking about value how do you measure this what is, what is that's the what i was about to ask like oh, yeah like, we don't have i didn't i didn't throw, i didn't throw out any numbers right i just was listening to answers then we're asking more and more questions about okay if you've done certain things that you may regret did you value yourself like you're saying you did like you think did you value yourself at the same level you say you are that's all i'm saying listen so, who the fuck ever had this conversation like this so it's okay we thinking through it but it's okay to be wrong in your head and then get a different answer after like literally 10 minutes after what <laughs> like it, that that could happen i just wanted to know if change mattered that's all <laughs> yeah yeah because what you could do is maintain your value is that, is that cool so once you change though from those bad habits, then that wouldn't habits, be not worth nothing. So, like, if you change, that doesn't like up your value. It just let me ask you a question. You just borderline. Once they told you such and such had five hundred bodies, can you unsee that? 
So what's the point of changing? I'm saying if you know somebody had 500 <laughs> bodies, can you unsee that? No. Well, God damn it. Once you fucking know that these things are devaluing you, don't keep doing those things. That's all. But that's saying. what I'm saying. What's the point? That person has five. Because you can't five, come on, Mary. All right, all right. I, I'm 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 being I'm being nice. But, but here's the thing: you have a value. So you started at 100. You start doing wild shit, you get down to an 80. You stop doing wild shit, you can maintain your 80. Okay. So now, but what if that person that has three to five hundred bodies is satisfied in life? It's just me like what if they found someone that values them like they are at 100 percent? or would you consist would you consider her to be Marie, like an outlier 500 is wild <laughs> <laughs> wild ass race come on, y'all. Y'all, come on y'all y'all gotta chill let's let come on let's... <laughs> but there's more people out there like that they just don't admit it so what if they found their person and have a good career if they want that and kids if they want that what if they're all satisfied then, or then they, I feel like it should then increase. They, then they I overcame. Like increased. They I, overcame. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dismissing outliers. But who's I mean, to say it over- don't increase? You? Yeah, that's what I'm saying right now. Well, I believe it should increase. I believe if you change and you on the right, you Man, know, we, path, know, we know you do. You've been you've been fighting to to dismiss your past since we started the show. I didn't dismiss it. Only because we I didn't let you. Yeah, but that wasn't that wasn't being dismissive. That was you asking me about me today. You didn't say, you know, whatever years ago, like or okay. were. I mean, I don't. I mean, we just going in circles so you can so you can make sure you justify and how you feel about yourself based on what you did in your past that you don't that you regret and you don't want to consider it to the point. I'm saying you want to be able to recoup it based on how you've been living life for the past ten years. Oh, I yeah? understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I'm listening. Anybody else? That's a question. Yes, ma'am. So, like, my question, right, is like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so say, hypothetically speaking, right? Yeah. A woman, I have, we'll say like, I have two bodies, right? Out of those two bodies, one was the worst decision I ever made in my life. That mm-hmm. was fine. Nothing wrong with it. But, moving on i'm just not having sex anymore so like because like i did the wildest thing with that one person my value went from like zero a hundred to like zero because like of the one person that i know i fucked up but like it happened but my about that deters my that determines my whole my value how you get Mm. that from that i'm just that's what i'm saying i'm just asking like because we were talking basically body counts right and like we all have had like a certain amount of bodies or something like that we've regretted right so like if it was just one body that i regretted and one one bad time in my life does that like depict my value then like that determines everything does that make sense no what we were saying so I here's why i asked that question life. let me dana you could jump in i just want to answer why i asked that question ahead. So so basically everybody was saying their value is you, you can't even you can't even quantify it, right? But then I asked, have you have you done these things with these men? Gave them your body that you regretted shouldn't have done, etc. Right? The, then we said yes. So then my follow-up was okay. Now consider how much you have actually valued yourself. That that was that line of questioning right there. Okay. Because right, wouldn't because we're saying one thing, but if our actions are different, then we have to reassess the question. That makes sense. Yeah. Anybody else? (laughs) No problem. No, I mean, doesn't make sense to her because she asked the question. So. Good. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. As Ava the two says, you are you wherever you are. Everybody knows about sex. Rush with the five dollars. What's popping? Rush says it's unfair sleeping with a dude, and at the last minute during sex, you change your mind. That's not right. It's your mistake. Kenny with the two dollars says, What's good, Hamp and Panel? Checking in. Matt P with the two dollars says, Damn, niggas have no compassion. Shaking my head. Kinda sad. Lauren Mack with the five dollars says, Women. When women choose to be intimate with someone, why would it devalue her when they're both sh- sharing their bodies? So she asked that at 10 13. 
as a with the two dollars there there is a difference come on ladies stop acting innocent john henry but the 20 ball says i believe that the most often overlooked aspect in all of this is quote unquote minus a forced interaction is her choice as a man i can't make her give me what she has to give sexually i can only attempt to convince her why she should as a with the says do you believe when you come to christ you are a new creature and all things pass away you have no you have no past delicious it's up to you to ask tay how long she, she says semen remains no no sean brewer with the five says mary come on past matters so if your man a beater and then he changed would you still date him knowing he has a history of dv as a with the two says the doctor had 300 bodies and nobody blinked at it. Harambe Jack was popping, bro. With the 10 ounces. I have no idea what y'all talking about, but I want to say to men, stay away from evil, malicious, spiteful women. If she's promiscuous before you met her, she will be promiscuous after you marry her. John Henry with the 10 ounces. Value has no worth, quote unquote, unless it is agreed upon. Therefore, valuing yourself, parentheses, all, although important, minus the input of the market, i.e. men, can lead to delusion. Pharaoh was popping with the tells his hemp, showing some love. Great channel and shows. Thank you, Ock. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Right? This is why it's so important to have understand the value that we've been we've been going through. And I'm learning as I'm asking the question because I have five daughters. So I want you, I want to understand how you guys see it through actions, through living, through learning. Sis, do you remember when they talking about the STD rates? Newark, yes, I recall. And you know how, shout out to Mr. Fantastic. Brother, brother, brother. He was saying how black women lead in those rates. Yes. What were some of the rebuttals that you threw back at him? <laughs> I, I don't. Re, well, I, I don't know. What did I say? Well, I thought I just asked him why does he know that? What happened? How do you know all these rates and um, statistics about black women specifically? Um. In my mind, I was thinking, how does he know, like, like, how do you know how to swim with dolphins, but you don't swim with them? Like, but in my mind, it was like, what, like, what made you want to learn this? Um, mm. That's what I recall saying. Okay. And then I think I said, um, the men uh, give it to the women. Okay. The STD. Anybody remember any other uh, rebuttals and things of that nature when you guys hear that stat? Not specifically from that conversation, but from that stat, you know, I think yeah. I think we all know that there are legends about um, how the AIDS epidemic is especially targeted toward Black uh, men, Black gay men, and that's why even today, when you see co commercials for like medication, it's um, targeted toward gay men um as opposed to women even though we are the largest receivers and spreaders of the disease there's also a um you know a theory about how it's targeted toward um black poor countries and whatever but this is us that, but i understand what you're saying so okay so but do you so it says Okay, yeah. So, so where where are, are all these women getting these diseases from? There was like from a these, gonorrhea you know, outbreak in jail. Houston. That, that's what the, that's what the stigma is from these niggas coming home from jail having gay butt sex in prison. That's mm -hmm. what the stigma is. That's what okay. the stat is. Okay. Will a condom prevent most of these or no? Surely, I believe so. Hmm. Condoms and routine screening. Are men do men go to the doctors like women? No, hell no. no. And don't. black men, hell no, y'all don't. 
However, the difference though, a man will show symptoms before a woman does. And that's a lot of times why women will have it specifically with HIV and they'll have it for an extended amount of time and they won't show any symptoms, not even, I'm sorry, not HIV, but chlamydia, for example. Women a lot of times don't have any symptoms. So they'll go on and they'll have it for months, years. And then when it comes time for them to possibly try to bear children, they're scarring. So to your point of the previous conversation about the impact of how sex affects a woman, yeah, that's a way right there. It, it can have lasting effects. Hmm. So think about this, right? That that's 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 deep, Alec. That's good. I heard that, but I, I I wasn't as clear on it until you just clarified. That's crazy. And then men have the symptoms earlier. Um, and so at the very least, if somebody showed up with a drip, right? That's what is that what it is? Like from their penis or something like that, or the feeling. Um, then they would wouldn't they put that into the statistic of okay, these men are have STDs, right? Wouldn't that count? That's that's data, right? So, yes. Damn. School me. What what does that mean? What does what mean? Because he said show it with a drip. The sling so, or something. I want to say that's gonorrhea. I want to say that's gonorrhea, but itching, yeah. burning. I didn't give you pill for this. Yeah. Men will <laughs> men will show some. T- so, women, remember our genitals are internal. So there's going to be times that we're not going to see things. You mean so, like literally like dripping from your, your penis? Yeah. yeah, from their penis. Okay. Mm-hmm. Discharge, okay. I guess you would say, right? From there. And that's, like like, like you said, it's that's internal. I mean, external. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So think about that. So if this is happening, but these men aren't don't have the discharge, is it just that they're not going to the doctors? Or indeed, is not that as many men with these diseases? You know what I mean? Because I, I know one of the, the counters is, well, y'all don't go to the doctor. That's why the, the, the rate, the... um. The percent, you know, the uh statistic isn't there. But if he got discharged or some shit like that, he going to the doctor. No, not always. Y'all Come are on. y'all are very black men, especially are very stubborn. Going to the do- you saying if he dripping, he ain't going to the doctor. If you break your fucking foot outside running down the street because you think you still got it and you can beat a nigga in a street race, you're not going to the doctor, even though you know your shit is broken in three places. Y'all don't go to the doctor statistically. Black men especially do not. So I don't care if your shit is dripping. I don't care if your shit is broken. I don't care if your shit is whatever. Y'all don't go to the doctor like you should. I don't know. She. I don't know, man. I think niggas gonna take care of their penis. Fuck but a leg. No, I was supposed to say. Fuck a leg. You know? <laughs> niggas will walk around with a bum <laughs> leg, but Y'all a do bum not penis. Go to the doctor. Yeah, what I'm heart. saying. Oh, yeah. About yeah. There's a stigma mother. around going to the doctor. We won't even get into mental health and therapy. That's a whole different conversation. Okay. Y'all All do right. not go to the doctor to get regular, yeah. well, regular, let regular me, checkups. Yeah, let me just tell you, men worry care about their penis. Until this shit stop working. That's the only time y'all start caring. There we go. So if you got that discharged, is, it's you start caring. Well, hold on, Dana. First, you're doing a lot of arguing. You didn't even know what we were meant by drip. So if your if your penis is dripping, burning, itching, but think about this: itching, burning, dripping, and it's your penis. You're going to the doctor. Fine, I don't have to know what you call your slang terminology for having sexually transmitted uh, diseases or infections. I know what it means when your dick don't work. It's called ED. I know what the heck the doctor. I, I know the shit that affects me personally. I haven't been affected by that by you your drip. And, and so here's here's what here's what this is, right? Because you have no numbers. We only have the numbers you know. And then Alex told you that men have have um what what is it called symptoms earlier and they're external, right? And so now you're windmilling talking about well you ain't going to the doctor, but his dick is dripping. Niggas is no. going to the doctor, but you're Not clearly speculative. So what it is, you're not being considerate of what I even asked. I'm not windmilling. All I'm saying as a very, very blank. <laughs> oh, my mic on. I'm All I'm saying is a very blanket statement. Don't worry, I'll wait. You men, you black men, you niggas. Don't go to the doctor as much as you should. 
and it it takes it takes you literally dripping from your penis for you to go to the doctor. Exactly, that's but the point you're making. That is the point. If that's the point, Hamp. It shouldn't no, take that. No, no, that wasn't the point you make. You first you said we wouldn't go, but you saying it takes us to drip to go. Yes, that was the point. All right, black man watching this, go to the doctor. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Everybody go to the doctor, right? But the point is, he gonna go and it take a drip for him to go. I can concede that. But the 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 statistics are the statistics, even with niggas dripping all over the place. <laughs> can so, we stop this? all right, let's chill. Let's chill. So, you take that into consideration. You saying men don't go to the doctors? Women, niggas is coming. I'm just going by what y'all said. They coming home from 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 the bing with something from the bing, and then they giving it to her. Does this let's let's say this is true when you consider that and your body is uberly valuable, right? And you know how you affect it. How do we go about this liberation shit now? You ain't being taken care of by your partners, meaning sexual partners, right? You have power. Take your power back. I mean, we have power. I mean, I guess I'm answering your question. Is it saying our we should take our power back? I understand what you're trying to say. The point is, women, we have power over our bodies, and we need to use that power. And if you want to have sex, make sure you make sure he wraps it up. Oh, you were so or close. don't you or you just don't do it. Like yo, because love, let me ask you a question. What do you what the, what should be required for your body? For you have for a man to have sex with you by for, with you? Yeah, like in a perfect world. Let's yeah. say in a perfect world. Yeah, definitely should be commitment, loyalty, honesty, dedication. It should it should require a lot. Prophylactics. Um, but the, the but men will walk around telling women it doesn't matter if you sleep with them on the first date or the tenth date. So women don't have a clear. Yes. Ain't no need to ain't no need to windmill. Let's answer the question. You do not we're not talking about you getting duped. We saying what should be required for a man to have your body. And yes, he will lie. We just I just we just painted the picture, right? Dana said these niggas get getting 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 their ass slapped in jail, come home, give it to you. They don't go to the doctor, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Prophylactic is one thing. We know everybody, Stevie Wonder can see nobody like Connor obviously so let's stop with the pro you know after 45 strokes you want to con them off and so don't he that ain't working 46 strokes so come on man 46 strokes like in like 20 or is that like multiple days? Sis, sis said more like 20. So 20 <laughs> strokes niggas hate that con I'm like is that multiple dates <laughs> no that's the same date Everybody needs to answer Ham's question, but let's not perpetuate the fact that he's trying to um never mind. Go ahead. No, We're supposed really to just be not having sex. Shh, That's what you're saying. Shh, Mary. She in it now. Trying to what? You're trying to say something I didn't say. I'm asking. Mary tried to jump in. I, I wanted her to be quiet so oh, you could finish. Fine. It doesn't matter. Saying. I trust you enough. I don't even have to go there. No, 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 no. What were you saying? I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have a conversation, nigga. What were you saying? All right. All right I all hate right. when you do this. <laughs> all right, man. All right, now. <laughs> you better ask Asia about me. She know going one on one with me is not fun. Okay. No, 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 we're not don't, doing don't that. Do that. Don't do that. And Asia, <laughs> <her> <laughs> Asia ain't never scared. Asia her so, okay. what's that? But don't say that Dana said and Dana didn't say. No, I just wanted to see what you said. I'm Mary, I'm eating eating okay. Okay. Real quiet, cute and mute. And you sitting there talking, trying to pull me into a fight. Let me chill. So, big ass glasses. So, love. You were doing you were going down the path. I like your glasses. Thank you, Dana. You were going down the path, right? Yeah. So, so think about it, love, right? So let's go back, right? Let's kind of bring it. 
you the impact on your body is different just from the sexual act alone let's say nobody even burning right let's eliminate that and then when you got std rates on top of that like when you like what tay was saying how that man is still in you if his semen gets in you that shit is crazy it that's just sounds scary. crazy that's scary mm -hmm. it's scary right and then you go all the way back to like how valuable are you and we want ourselves to be uberly valuable so in order to get your body what should the cost be in a perfect world let me answer your question i'm gonna say something it should Question. be everything the man should give because my body is valuable and i have way more implications and impact than you do sir you need to give me your everything plus seriously um and then we need we need condoms as well <laughs> now i want to be but I, I said that i mean i answered your question now i want to say this about this conversation and the way it's being done I want us to be very careful in this conversation because I don't want it to be used as a weapon um, against women and saying, you know, well, if you're not a virgin, you're not valuable or you're not good enough. Right. I, I just want to be very clear because there are men that will use this as a weapon because we are up here being very vulnerable. You're listening to you, Hamp, um, guide the conversation. We're answering, we're having a very in-depth and transparent conversation. I want the men that really want to hear, to hear like a behind the scenes conversation, not weaponize this conversation against women. Because, you know, it, right? Because yeah, if you, got, if, you, if you aren't a virgin and you got this man semen in you for years to come, you ain't worthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want this to be as a, you said it too. Yeah. And I want to thank yeah. you for that. Don't use this as a shaming yeah. conversation. That's not the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think the key is, right, it, it it like like when Mary was in to an extent right you 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 did people have done what they've done right but you want to mitigate damage control etc cetera, etc cetera. you feel me y'all up here talking brave enough to get up here you know what I mean like if any nigga want to come up and act like look come on man we understand we out here in this earth now but the fact that y'all um, can have the conversation and maybe we having some realizations that can make a fucking difference, right? This might be risky is next up. You feel me? So that can make a world of difference with y'all having realizations in the moment or conceding or retracting some shit. Like, oh, okay, that, that's better than what I thought before I came in this motherfucker. You know? So yeah, nah, nah, real shit. You know? Oh, when I was talking on mute, did you hear anything I said? Dang, I was talking on mute. Yeah, we heard everything you said. Were you just talking to you now? Yeah. Dang, okay. While I was talking, Jesus Christ. What'd you say? Oh, don't talk. I'm like, why are you still talking? I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and also, you know, we got to teach. Like, hey, we fucked this up. So just thinking about all that stuff put together, Asia, like, yo, like, it should require, y'all should require every fucking oh, thing and all those risks, <laughs> like, everything. you know, you should. And, and listen, it's a, it's a great conversation. And I think that we are being accountable. And I think that we are being, um, the new elders and having this for the younger generation to come up and hear us talk about this. Yeah. This is a very, Yana, Yana's 22, I think. Right. Oh, you are? This is for you. Yes, this is for your generation. Okay, I'm glad you yeah, I love it here. Thank y'all. <laughs> Damn. And, you know, wrapping it up, of course, right? And, and here's the thing. The men say this. You, it's your responsibility to make sure he puts a condom on his penis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I was like, I don't know about that. But if that's a sentiment that's growing... You have to make sure he puts a condom on his penis. Better, right? to take your power back. You better make sure as a female. Because yeah. if you had the most impact, I mean, to your body. But mm. Ham, let me also say this. You belittled the sentiment, because we've had a mm. conversation about this before, in jest. Mm. Men do be taking them condoms back off. Yeah. And sometimes, and sometimes we don't know. And you are believe. very happy. Oh, that part, that part, no. I don't believe that, that part. Had very That's where strong you fucked up. We don't know. But sometimes That's... we don't know. 
I feel like that's that's like the far fetched part. Like, no, yeah, I don't think nobody, it's far fetched, Mary. I, I don't think it's far fetched at all. Well, Dana, nobody like, was not, fucking with you on the last part. Everybody yeah. disagreed. You don't want to feel one's right. a little extra warm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, it feels different, Dana. I'm sorry. Come on, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> It feel better, <laughs> <laughs> right? That stroke, that what? That thing of wild. I'll let y'all have it. Oh yeah, it feels good. Dana, chill, Dana. Dana, chill out. What? <laughs> you done with these fuck these niggas? <laughs> so. Yeah, so no, but nah, but you know, the, I'm just saying the pro- prophylactic is definitely one thing you have to require, right? Just because it it's seemingly, and I think you guys agree with this sentiment. Not saying it's total fact, but ain't nobody gonna take care of you like you. You know, women are often saying that we're the most unprotected, etc. Well, that needs to permeate throughout the all of it, because niggas is still fucking, even though you think these niggas ain't shit. They still getting cheeks. So if you're not gonna bring it back to you got to marry me first at the very least make sure he got a condom on maybe you got to check every seven minutes i don't know i don't, I don't hey, know how many don't know. Minutes interval are we checking maybe <laughs> two shit <laughs> <laughs> you know so this you know what i mean when we really think through it you know anybody got any other commentary yeah i was gonna say him that i i think it's smart you know if you're gonna make that decision as a woman to carry your own because that could be his excuse oh i don't have one and then y'all in it so no make it so if there's no excuse carry your own if you're preparing, you know if you're having that decision if you're making a decision for yourself be smart about it protect your body mm. damn interesting 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 like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend hit that like button right now if you can that helps the channel the most let me see as Ava tells us you should have learned this in school dana as able to tell us, black men go to the doctor if they have a drip. Yeah. View, you, you know, you know, you know. Evie now. Salute, welcome. Evie now, Evie now? what's popping? What the fuck out says? Black men come to the clinic for STD testing a lot more often than heart issues and high blood pressure. I see them and treat them. Yeah, niggas is going for their penis. They don't care about nothing else. As Abe with the two dollars says, if a woman's with JJ itches, you look up. So same thing. Where's Alex at? She can maybe clarify when the itch starts. Congo was popping with the twenty ball says women control intimacy. In addition, women are having intimacy with a minority most desired of men. Most men are not having intimacy. With that said, women are more prone to emotional and spiritual damage inside out. MC Heavy Tips with the final says, the difference is we will go to our yearly pap smear. Men will only go if something is wrong. I agree. Red Pill Ranger with the final says, I know men that get labs annually or biannually. It's not gender specific. It's individually based. Each person values their health differently. No, sir. Niggas ain't going to the doctor. You can get fucked. I agree. Yeah, you right about that. Hand. Especially us. as and We don't. That prostate exam. You know how much fucking pep talk it takes for a nigga to go get one of them? <laughs> that nigga go out drinking before you go get a prostate exam. Come on, man. And your old ass too, Red Pill. Stop the cow. Red Pill Ranger with the fight out says, Y'all nasty. I don't agree with this. Take the condom off talk after 50 strokes. I always value my life and health, and more people don't than y'all claim. Getting those on your rose on your nose. Sean Brewer with the fight out says, LOL. Dana said men not going to the dock, but will have sex with men and raw. Requirements should to should to see med records first if you're gonna say that <laughs> she didn't admit the raw dog did she no she did not <laughs> take a shot hey now dana you know they watch the show more than more than we do so <laughs> and you know that i'm more honest than anybody else can be on this show bodies, 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 bodies. red I- pill ranger with the fire uh-huh. <laughs> we're not saying if you're not a virgin you're not valuable but everybody every kid and every pound you gain makes your value go down reality is undefeated dj ob was popping with a fellow says women need to step up to the plate when it comes to their sexual freedom the power of vagina comes with great responsibility 
John Henry with the 10 hours says, I can I never can understand how a percentage of dudes prioritize sensations over health regarding wearing condoms. Never in my life have I taken a condom off or running up on some strange. Red Pill Ranger with the 2 hours it's great to take the condom off of its sheathing. See, the palace with the final says, we can use the same stats. 30% of men have no sex or virgins. 33% are married. That means only 37% of men can pass STDs to women. Now giving what to who? John was, oh shit. John was popping. Jonathan says, great conversation, ladies. Yeah. See, love, they ain't really been going too hard, for real. John Henry with the, you want to say something? Yeah. Super chats are pretty tame now, kind of. John Henry with the 10 ounces says, it's his shared responsibility to wrap it up. Should he fail with the responsibility, it's now on her to either let him ski or put his ass out in the street. Send him on his way. <laughs> All right. Let me drop the link. I want to ask, though, what is the benefits of sexual liberation we done broke all this shit down we've talked about it but i don't know if we ever asked what are the benefits of sexual liberation while people are marinating on the conversation i just want to say something real quick before you go the link i didn't mean to say that i'm the most honest person on the show i didn't mean that i said what i said but i'm always honest about my truth and that's it that doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. Go ahead. Finish your conversation. It's okay to think you're the best. No, I don't. I don't. Because I think all the ladies up here are honest. And I didn't mean to, yeah. to say that or for it to be taken out of context. Don't do that. Can everybody up here be yeah. honest? Yeah. Man, I, I remember when Love used to lie her ass off, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mary, Mary. <laughs> All of y'all, yeah, listen, everybody got their moments. Remember, Mary, you trying to tell us you was black? Mary, I mean, Mary, it's just fine. Mary. Like, it's a lot of shit that be happening up here. <laughs> so, <laughs> every woman up here tells their truth. That's their no. truth. And that's fine. No, chill. <laughs> And we wouldn't have we would not have I just want to be very clear about that. Dana, we wouldn't have <laughs> be so much windmilling if y'all niggas was just being honest. I can't. We don't be windmilling oh with each other. It's the random bitches you have come up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, man. It. So look, let's be let's keep it real. We got a sex ed teacher, we got a sex ed educator. We got Alex. She's a sex. Uh, she's, I guess she hands out medicine. Infectious disease is what I do. Hand, my specialty is HIV. Thank hey, you very nigga. Nonprofit don't be doing shit. Every what? time y'all, every time y'all truck come around, the SED rates go up. <laughs> Whatever. Like y'all selling it popsicles, nigga. So, <laughs> what are the benefits of sexual liberation? Everything we just, we just, we just assessed. What are the benefits? Honestly. Sex? <laughs> hmm. Sex is the only benefit. But think about this: the requirements for your body have dropped. Think about it. D Mitt, wait, I think people say this thing, but I think the majority of women still appreciate monogamy. I agree. I, I and agree. I would say that. You've grown up wanting to get married. If y'all want to push back against, do they want to get married? Whatever. But I still think that's a goal too for the majority of women. You think I'm off? No, I think you got friends right. and whatnot. No, you spot on. So, yeah. so you know what are the benefits? Because think about it. The, your value is super valuable, and then now the 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 cost to get it has lowered dramatically because of the, the liberation other factors but the liberation so you can have sex like men have sex but now men don't have to pay the toll he don't pay have to pay the cost to be the boss so what have the benefits really been to women you know i don't think it ever That's was a benefit. True. i don't We've for never... the most part, go ahead mary i feel like for the most part it never really was a benefit like the whole sexual liberation trend 
I feel like it was um I feel like it was overplayed wrong. It was it was supposed to represent, you know, us in a sense of power in all, you know, in, in a lot of things. Um, but it was geared more towards sex and just giving an excuse to want to be a hoe. Mm. So the only thing that wow. fitting from Brilliant. that was actually having sex with other people without subconsciously carrying the guilt because you feel like you're just sexually liberated. Hmm. That's a that's a when did that answer. happen? I, I I don't know if I missed it. I was, if, what how, where, when when did somebody put a word a title on women having sex with with different men? Like what what how is it liberating? Like what what when did that come about? I I can't answer that sis, but I I will say what I think and I'm an intimacy coach. So what I teach is not sexual liberation. It's sexual education, meaning like, you know, you learn about your body, the effects of your body. Like most women don't even know the difference between a vulva and the vagina. And that's real. And that's really sad. Um, but so that's that's what I do. But in terms of the sexual liberation, the freedom to be a hoe, that's not like that's not a thing. It, well, it is, but it shouldn't be, I'll say. And that's not what I think we should champion as women. We should be champion, championing the education part of it, knowing your body, knowing how to, you know, control your body, be disciplined with your body. Because the more you know, the more you're able to make informed decisions. So But take with all due respect, I think that that's a part of the sexual liberation movement, the right? Is making it normalizing um sexuality, normalizing learning about your body because to your point, a lot of women did not have the information about their own bodies. But right. so that movement kind of made it okay for us to know and to educate ourselves so that we can educate our partners, thusly being more sexually liberated with them. No? Well, so yes, but to your point, but I think society makes it a negative thing because honestly, agree. If a woman, they used to take women to fact, like to factories and like, you know, play with them and make them come because they think they were insane. Like this whole thing, people actually did this. So that came the whole idea of, well, we should be free in our own minds to lean into our sensuality. But again, we're not talking about being a hoe. <laughs> we're not, we're just, in, we're talking about embracing the woman and being okay to feel sexual. That's different. You see what I mean? That that's different in terms of going out there every time. They can I do see what you mean. I, I do see, see what you mean. I I think I'll never agree with you because, um, and this is just my my own personal truth, and this isn't anybody else. But I also feel like that this movement of being more sexually liberated, male, female, or whomever, is rooted in the LGBTQ community, which is fine but i think that it's two separate things that have been meshed together at the same time so the same way that we as black women don't benefit from women's rights movements i don't think we as women benefit from sexual liberation because it's not for us we're not the ones who benefit from us from it as much as gay white men do Well, yeah, like what more education does a woman need outside of knowing that um, the vagina is used for reproductive purposes? You know, like, like, especially like as a young girl, like what is, what is the, what is the goal for knowing different ways to please yourself or, you know? So when I look up when I look up the act, like the definition of like the you know sexual liberation, it's a social movement that challenged traditional codes of behavior related to sexuality and interpersonal relationships. Now that right there basically says like the traditional way. So it's like I said, I feel like it 
it just gave more an excuse for women to feel like they could do whatever with their body without the guilt because they're going away from that traditional aspect of I shouldn't give my body to everybody or I shouldn't do certain things with my body. So that's actually what it what the sexual liberation was about. Mm. Hello, so, everyone. Panel. What's up, Twizzy? What's popping? So did we real quick before Twizz jump in? Did we name any benefits? Or was Mary spot on? Good morning. And Dana made a good ass point. Hmm. That's fucking crazy, bro. Twizzy was popping. Like going down. Like Good evening. Too. What's going on? What's up, ladies? It's a nice looking panel up here. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So uh I guess my two cents on it, man. It it didn't really help y'all at all. I think it, overall, y'all seen something, y'all seen men doing something that you thought you wanted, but it's not really even good for men. That's kind of our hedonistic side. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think most women even would value it the same way men would, period. So I don't think it helped y'all one bit, you know? Do you got any questions, comments, or smoke for them? Or you just I had a comment? No smoke for them. I just, uh, I'm just listening, you know? We just up here for conversation. I don't want no smoke with them. I'd like to have a good discourse if we can. Yeah, question, comment, or smoke. Let's see. I don't know. Fatty might have. So let me think of something. Let me jump back. Fatty was popping. Hi, Fatty. How are you hey, guys Fatty. doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I just woke up, so I have no idea what you guys are talking about. But the sexual liberation <laughs> movement was made so women can be fucking and they are not shamed by fucking like men. That's all that is. There's no science. There's no is. I want to fuck. And I don't want to be shamed at the end of the day. There's no we, we can complain and we can dodge it and say it was the LGBT community and all that. No, 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 no. LGBT community is controlled by women. There is a, a term called intersectionality when you can literally be a triple minority. I can be a woman and gay and I can be black. And now everything is together like a Megazord. You know when the Power Rangers put one leg is black and the other leg is red and they put all together to fight? Intersectionality made women control all the other diverse groups under one umbrella. It's not uh, by mistake that the leadership of Black Lives Matter was literally two black women, lesbians at that. Like it's not by mistake. They are controlling the rest of the crowd and they are going to actually making the other people struggle their struggle. But once again, you can be us. We are still going to shame you if you are our wives or sisters. If you are not our wives and our sisters, all around, I will clap for you because we need to fuck something. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Don't disagree. That's what it. That's what the definition basically says. So I, I think I missed something. Yeah, he's right. Fatty, the yeah, lady fatty, said. Are you, trying to, are you trying to say that black women, black gay women, have more control over everything? The economy, no. politics. No. Uh, what? No, I didn't say that. No. Hold on, hold on. Because you you said they run the shit, right? You say that they have more control over that than. Still a white. Than ever. I don't even know why they're having a conversation this now. I guess then then white men, white men still no, control let, every fucking thing, especially gay white men. So let me let me explain what I said, right? White women are okay. sluts too. Actually, probably more sluts than black women. Oh, what okay. happened is that the feminist movement that was made by white women to actually get at black men grew up and is the biggest religion on the west right now is the biggest religion on the west every little girl that goes to school listens to music watch movies she's indoctrinated by i am strong and i am this and i am that what happened was white woman came to you and says you know what your black man oppresses you so much even though he didn't have power his countries were colonized the you know in the united states the black man was enslaved and they tricked you into saying you are just like me the white woman, the black, the white man was robbing the bank, and the white woman was on the car waiting so they can run away. And you know what you the masses did? That car it looks very nice. Let me jump in there too. And you know what the gay people did? 
oh that comment sounds very nice let me jump there too and black lives matter and, uh, and remember i'm a lefty right so what happened in the end of the day was all the groups that thought they were disenfranchised i don't know if that's the word instead of helping each other and help the communities to fight by or themselves they thought they will get more benefits by jumping on the white man car that had the white woman on the passenger seat that had the lgbt community on the other seat so now everybody is a megazord everybody on the same car and they go in the same direction you know where it's on, not on that car black man daddy who's driving the car the white man okay but all... but 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 man rule the world woman rule man so who is actually leading the car you tell me you just told me the white no, man is I asked you. The car. this is my understanding of the world men rule the world woman rule men for example 80 percent of the consumer spending in the planet is made by woman knowing for a fact they only make 40 percent of it where is the the rest of the money coming from women are ruling this shit, and now we get the tied in with the black lives matter black lesbian woman leading the movement and everybody pretending like this is not on purpose you can't, you can't have both, Daddy. It, it, it's you gotta you gotta pick a side. You gotta you you're right, you're on the fence with this one. I say this all the time. Is it Uchi Ali or is it one Mike? Is the man does the white man driving the car or is the the female liberated woman who's sexually liberated and leading you, the LGBTQ community? Is she the one fine. driving the car because totally she's fine. actually the one behind the scenes? Which totally one is fine. it? Who's driving Do you the watch, car? Did you watch Game of Thrones? Then yes. So the man is King Joffrey. Who was who was the king of the reign? Who was making the rules of the reign? King Joffrey or his mother? His mama. So that's exactly what it is. King Joffrey, the white man, is the one that is in oh, front okay. and is the facade. Let's but actually, right. no, no smile now. Don't smile to me now. Don't no. smile. No, 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 no. I don't want to smile. In all of the world. Why are you smiling to me now? Why, you, why, why did you crack a smile? You understand it right now? Right? You understand I, it, right? No, I understand what you're saying, honey, but you're talking about a fictional show versus... It was an analogy. No, was what an are y'all arguing anyway? What are y'all arguing? What, what's the question? What's the it's argument? Pushing, what? just push. It was an analogy. You understood the analogy. Just because the white yeah. man yeah. is front and center doesn't mean that his white wife is not behind it, pushing the, actually the screen and making things go wrong. But you, it, wasn't, it wasn't valid. I'm done. That's my point. It wasn't valid. I apologize for wasting your time then. My bad. Thank you. I will I will try to do better next. Thank you. Thank you. You're yeah, on you want me to read? Um, Brewer with the fight out says technology has changed him. You can get a prostate check by giving blood now, fam. They don't have to put their finger in no more. Really? Damn. As A with the 10 says, black women don't go to the doctor as much as they should either. Dana is not innocent. Virgin likes like she portraying tonight. Huh? Can't stop being honest now, ladies, and act as though the millennial is the one having all the sex. The Red Pill Ranger with the fight out says sexual liberation is a win for men. I love it. Made getting sex without commitment so easy. Made having a rotation so easy. No time slash money needed. God, you with the two dollars says explain the difference between your truth and the truth. MC Heavy Tits with the ten dollars says the 30% stat of men 18 to 24 not getting sex is from 2020 during the pandemic. Now the stats are 52% of men are having sex on the regular damn really as a with the five says what did the sexual liberation change from can you name a time when it was different for women since you didn't miss it john henry with the five says benefits exist primarily when two people share the same value and come to an agreed upon conclusion also with the five dollars says most men ain't getting poom poom like that it's easy to be perfect when your body count is nominal salute to your flawless users contraceptive contraception unless Mimsy heavy tits new stat is accurate damn trigger mike with the five dollars what's popping says why does female sexual education between women have to be public as a with the five dollars says tay do you sell candy birds sex toys as coaching to sleep with any gender you want the red pill ranger with the five dollars says with great great power comes great responsibility and women couldn't handle either so all so also, Dana, it never was a male sexual liberation. We've been free to fuck. 
John, hear me with the philosophers. Now, sis, you're perpetuating bias. The sexual liberation was for all women, not gay women. What the hell, y'all? Correction on my last super chat. No was meant towards Dana regarding sexual liberation. It was meant for all women when it initially occurred. John Henry with the two dollars says, truth to fatty regarding the origins of feminism. Sean Brewer said fatty came in with heat. Also with the five dollars says women uh, and men learning about their organs and theory encourages more responsible use. Much in the same way formal gun training supports responsibility. T.O. with the ten dollars says, can we throw Dana in the bathroom for 10 seconds? <laughs> no. no, nigga. <laughs> yeah, T.O. John Henry with the five dollars says, Dana is refuting the message. We all know damn well Fatty gave a worthwhile analogy. It was a horrible analogy, John. She smiled at the, my analogy. She knows what's up. Game of Thrones is a great analogy. I smiled at Fatty. <laughs> and also, Go. I support the show. Shame. Shame. Oh, you with the two dollars says, Feminist founder is known to like men and women. Yeah, I even when he said that, the red wedding also popped in my head. If y'all remember that one, that show, that 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 that, uh, that, that was that a great episode. episode. That was very, very <laughs> great episode. So that one was real fatty. When I was asking the ladies, um, in terms of the conversation we were having earlier, right? Hmm. Um, because we've been painting out a woman's body, so we've been talking about the value of it you know have they value their bodies like they, they so they try to quantify so we quantified the that the body is uberly valuable yes. but what you do with it would actually show it how much you valued it or not so we got all the way down to when you about to have sex with a man because your body's valuable we understand the std rates they already say that they're the least protected is it their job to make sure he keeps puts and keeps that condom on because even Alex said, after her having her baby, congratulations again, she really understands the value of her body. So with all that being said, the ladies, did we come to an agreement as to it is your job to make sure he straps up? I thought we did, yes. No, I'm just re-asking, because um, I want to make sure if I wasn't, yes. I don't know if everybody agreed. Oh, okay. Yes? Everybody agreed? Audibly? Audibly? Yes. 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 I yeah, guess yes, if that's what you yes. want him to do, then yes. Yeah, to protect yourself essentially because of the value of your body, and then um also Alec, no no Tay uncovered. I heard something, but her being in that trade uncovered the fact that a man's semen is inside your body for some days or even years. No, and then I asked the question up until, up until your menstrual, your menstrual cleans you out. That's okay. Really the facts. Okay. And then lastly, let me just make sure everybody has this part. I asked the question, Fatty, and everybody was confused by it, including the chat. But I asked, is there a difference between giving dick and taking dick? Yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, we yeah. Agree. I thought we agreed that there was. Wait. No, but I'm saying, remember when I initially asked the question yeah. and then I had to clarify because everybody was kind of like, What the fuck is Hamp talking about? You meant the impact yeah the impact of it now love sitting here like this i ran this question by her a week ago so of course you wasn't confused negro we talked about well it. first of all when a week ago was a couple of days ago first okay. of all so, second of all and when you when we ran it when you said when you said it to me i said are you done i'm just trying to tell fatty about the i'm, I'm trying to give him a recap i want you to do accurate information okay That's you're all. smart thank you say it again hashtag i'm smart as a tadpole so, you know, we're just talking about the impact of somebody inserting themselves in you as opposed to, you know, what we do. And so with all that, they were like, yeah, I need to make sure he puts a condom on because I absorb more of the risk and, you know, all of it takes. Like what we were talking about earlier that we argued back and forth about. I'm confused. Why are they agreeing with men so much today? Because <laughs> we right. No, because see, you got to watch it back. When you watch it back, Fatty, you'll see because we've been really breaking this shit down like the woman's body, the value of it. How have you treated it? What do you need to do going forward? If if he doesn't wear a condom, who's most at risk considering STD rates, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, but but and, and that's the funny part, right? Go ahead. Because it always has to be the woman's fault. It's like me, like it's, it's like you asking, uh, mm -hmm. Fatty, uh, who should value your wallet and your emotions more you are the woman that is in front of you it's my job to actually value that men fetishize women's bodies women fetishize men emotions and uh don't 
our wallet is kind of a cheap name, but they value our resources, right? So both of them have to protect the information. I'm not going to value your body if you don't value your body yourself, right? There's no reason for me to actually love something about you that you don't love about yourself at all. So I think men have their job. Once again, for example, when you talk about seams and all that, I think men have a role into becoming a little bit more smarter and they'll become a little bit more uh, protect protectful of what makes them valuable like that. But when it comes to a body, there's actually a woman because there's our number one tool in everything probably in life. Our looks will help her get further. Our womb will help her create lineage. All the things that she actually is valued on by society in large has to do with how she looks in her body, if she functions or not. So why should I value something that you don't value yourself? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yana, what you thinking? You on mute? I'm not thinking anything. Hmm. Yana, can you say for us? Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no? Okay. Yeah, just a little. I'm gonna bring when Dana come back. I'll bring her back up. Onika Sue is popping. Yeah. Did you have right. question? Question, comment, or smoke for the ladies? Um, really, I'm just here listening at this point. I really don't have any questions yet. The hell, y'all keep clicking it. Goddamn, we, ain't, we ain't want to leave him up there alone. We'll get off, but you know, we ain't just <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, just listen listen to to got to. Just listen huh? I mean, what, what, what do the ladies think about this? You know, the whole sexual liberation thing. Did, did y'all even want it like for y'all right now? Like, forget the past and all that do y'all no no, I, no it's been a detriment to thing. women it's been a detriment to men it's just it's been a shithole since mm. so no i did not want it we did not want it i didn't know it was coming it was here okay so what are y'all what doing was, <laughs> yeah i feel Wait. like the, due to the sexual liberation um women are selling their pussies more so men are lacking discipline that they should have because it's so easily accessible yeah wait you right so what do you do to change that as a woman how do you how do you spread that message how do you get that out there to we where can't. it's not true? It's over oh shit. okay can we call them in the most now we established last know. week that the yeah. it's just getting worse by the day yeah. can we call the woman host now if it's you guys are again yeah because yeah. you guys said you are you guys i'm gonna rotate y'all are all you guys against it? Call them hoes. Yeah, I mean, call them what you, I mean, you already do anyway. Against what? Sexual liberation? No. Know. If a woman is behaving like a hoe, I says, oh, look at there. There's a hoe. Like, could we do that now? Yeah, I'm a, I'm against women being hoes. No. It's not. <laughs> no. Well, well, you're you're not asking, can we, can we just openly just call women no. a, a, yes. a hoe if she's being a hoe? Yeah. What is I mean, I think y'all already do that. Even if no, 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 we don't. Do, let me clear. Actually, let him clear. Sexual liberation, once again, is I want to have sex just like men without getting no shame. Uh, nobody's going to burn me in the cross. No, I'm not getting stoned. All of that, right? It's me just doing sex just like men do without no repercussions. For what I heard, and to be this is unbelievable because I kind of know you by now. You guys are saying that you are against sexual liberation. First of all, your body count probably will say that's a lie. That's the first one. But I know that I don't want I, even to go I there. Don't have sex without being stoned. That's the, I don't. That's the, would you say that? That's the are you, are, that's the Dana, are you against? Are you against uh, sexual liberation? No, I'm for it. Okay, because I remember your body count, right? Uh, anybody on this it? panel, anybody <laughs> on this panel that is against sexual liberation would say that your existence proves that you are saying this but you're kind of probably not believing anybody what number determines that i don't know you it's tell me you number. guys are the ones making the rules let's talk okay, about no, it you can choose you can choose to have sex with somebody that you're not in a relationship with and it doesn't make you a hoe yeah there was like, man well well okay, so, so fatty let me clarify the definition of, of this day and age what is the definition of a hoe Listen, I've been I've been saying since day one, it's, level, it's levels to the whole shit. I've been saying let's that. go with right. the promiscuous so, like, woman. Let's go with the promiscuous woman. Let's go with the promiscuous woman. And so, just to be 
just to be clear though fatty my question was what were the benefits what are slash were the benefits of sexual liberation oh you want me to answer that no but that's what i was that's what i asked them initially the benefits of it and so mm -hmm. they were saying there are no because i also prefaced it with asking do women still want monogamous relationships in marriage so the, the women on the panel i think answered yes I don't know if everybody answered yes, but that seemed to yes. be the consensus. And therefore, that's when I didn't follow it up. Well, what are the benefits of sexual liberation if that be the case? You want me to? Oh, okay. You're cool. fine. But there's, there's one. She's she's framing all it. Of, framing. If all of them said no, they're lying. Because the benefit of sexual liberation is I can pursue lying? pleasure. I can pursue pleasure and sex all I want without no consequences. That's idiotism or whatever the word is what in English. What would be the consequence, Daddy, in this day and age? What do you? What was the consequence? The consequence is the value of the stock market value of vagina drops because you flooded the market I with mean, vagina. That's, that's according to you, like just yeah. I'm, that's I'm responding to three people at the same time. Can you guys seek on one thing, please? Right. They don't even value vagina no more. They're buying. Oh, we absolutely do. People are buying it for forty dollars. Men do not value vagina. Mary, anymore. it don't matter if you had sex with one person or twenty-seven people. Niggas don't give a fuck. Mm. I gotta tell you, niggas do not. Mary, y'all could y'all on social media and act like y'all care all goddamn day long. Y'all mm. do not give a fuck. The only Mary, time you know why? Is if a you lot know of why, you, know. you know why you're lying? The only time y'all care is if other yes. people know. That's yeah. it. You know why you're lying? On this app, acting like y'all give a fuck if a bitch slept with one nigga or 27 niggas. Because chances are you're going to keep going back to that bitch that slept with 27 niggas versus the one that had sex with one because you can't slide it in as easy. Okay. Right. So so explain me, DJ Amp and Trigger. <laughs> explain me, DJ Amp and Trigger Mike. Do you understand probably the millions of dollars in investment they actually believe just because that woman has a vagina? And she is literally the portal to all their goals. Pro produce. All niggas legacy. don't care. Stop acting like y'all care. Y'all do not care. Y'all do are not, not care. You, you, you are not addressing what I said. Let, let, me, let me rephrase the question to Mary real quick. Y'all do not care. So, so I think the do not care might be in reference to who we fuck. Yes. Do you think men do not care when it comes to the woman they marry? If nobody knows that your wife slept with a hundred niggas, you're not gonna give a fuck. All right, so let me let me um ask you this question. Do you believe him? do you believe a woman with five or less bodies? Hold on, Trigger Mike. Them? Did you hear what sis said? What she said? Sis, what'd you say? I said, but your wife, potential wife, can't tell you if she had a hundred bodies or not, right? So so did that did this next question, <laughs> this next question coming up. Do you believe a woman with five or less bodies behaves the same as a woman with 50 or more? I believe the woman with five or more bodies is trying way harder to get fucked than the woman that has 50 plus bodies. I'm not sure that answered my question, but no, those women don't behave the same. They like, don't have the same I mean, habits. They the behave worse. I'm letting you know that they behave worse. Worse? No. What yes. world do y'all live in where everybody just walking around talking about how many people they fucked in their lives? That shit is not realistic. Let's talk about Wait, that first. So, so my, point, my point, though, my point, my point was. I got the mic hey, now. Hey, Mike, she gave you a thing. Wait, 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 wait. Well, but, the, well the Mike's point. Making. But but Dana, hold on just for one second. Ahead, See, Mike said behavior. He didn't say count. He's saying her behavior is different. So he essentially, that implies you don't need a count. You can watch her. No, he's saying behavior based on count. Yeah, he's no, but he's saying because she has that many bodies, her conduct's different. Well, that's that's Mike's shit. That's That's Mike's bullshit. So that's not realistic. What? That's not that's not actual factual anything. Whatever. That's bullshit. Ooh. That's Mike's bullshit. Ooh, I, 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 I believe it might look different. I might. I believe it could be. It could be slightly different. It, 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 and and it does look different. Is, you guys have no idea how many people the people that you're talking to have actually slept with, and men say that all the time. You say. If, if I tell you I've slept with uh, five people, you'll say, oh, you got to triple that. You got to quadruple it. You guys have right. actually no idea. So you just make up and you fathom and you like create these narratives in your mind 
and oh she behaves this way because she's only slept with five people but i think that she's actually slept with 20 people but yada 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 y'all gotta shut the fuck up all right you, do you can't tell when a woman's promiscuous that's what you're saying yeah, 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 yeah. come on, on let's let, 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 let the mic finish the conversation all right oh all right that's, you, that's not adult that's not a mature right. conversation if i'm so, dating you i'm not gonna ask you how many people you fucking fuck that shit is weird. You'll get, you'll get led on. You'll get led on more by a virgin than you would a bitch that already had sex with niggas. So, so let me just uh, let me land the plane here. I guess you can tell, and then this is what I mean by that. It's not really about the number. Women who have had a lot of bodies are sexually arrogant. Yeah, they tend to have this characteristic where they don't like to be shamed for having too much sex, so they pretend like having too much sex isn't shit. They try to match. Uh, okay, I got the mic now. I got the mic now. You told me to shut up when you were talking. I got the mic. And I'm still telling you to shut up. And again, you all think we're all lying all the time. Right, listen, listen. Let me just finish my statement. Let me 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 finish my statement. He can make it make sense. Let him finish this real quick. All right. So, what you try to do is match men. I've noticed, you know, at this age now, I can look back on all my experiences. There is an arrogance to women that are promiscuous. You can't just keep it to yourself because you have a lot of bodies. Now you have to behave <clears> like <throat> bodies ain't shit. Oh yeah, you know I de- tried it's that position before. Ain't never got no fucking talk about damn. all they fucking experience. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? You ain't never got no pussy, Mike. Nobody been fucking you. Hold up. You right? You right? You right? Uh, you right? You ain't got no fucking experience. All right. your experience. Hey, hey, Dana. Oh, hey Mike, one second. Hey, hey Dana. Shut up. Oh, Hey, then oh, are you admitting that you have a lot of experience? Because <laughs> it sounded like you are saying you get no vagina. I got all the dicks. I know what, what I'm talking me? about. What do you ask me, Patty? It seems all like right. you are trying to disqualify him oh. by oh, him. My having no so you know what you're talking man. about. Are, did, did you got all that dicks to you so you what? can have it? Oh, 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 oh. What qualifies you? Here's the trick, though. Here's the trick. Hmm. The entire question is the statement because the other uh characteristic they have is that they always have to stand in defense of promiscuity or sexual liberation check me but they but that's why i'm confused all of them Damn. said they were against sexual liberation and now kind of like mary and dana they kind of like nah you don't know what you do the, 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 nobody was defending sexual liberation yes what i what i'm saying is when it comes <laughs> To nigga, men, when it comes to men, mm-hmm. y'all don't care how y'all act. Like y'all care on social media. That's all I'm saying. Don't That's care about what the body count. But there's the thing we do because yeah, don't if, care about the body count. We care if we're gonna what? marry unless you. Other people know unless other people no. Know. We care if we're gonna marry you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It only I don't know. I don't know. Tweezy. Uh, I don't know. No. <laughs> no, but that Mary. But that's the thing, right? Ask your husband if he cares about it ask trigger mike he has a wife ask if he cares about sdjm if he cares about and the thing is you're talking about single men like me i i still care because my wife is not going to be a woman that i fuck is there going to be two different metrics and i'll guarantee you as soon as you put a ring on it you spending hundreds of thousands of dollars if not million thousands of dollars to secure that that woman has the easiest life possible and your kids are taken care of and that's don't actually care you, about anything they don't know they don't men do not care about anything they don't know what what that 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 mean? That that's, why mean men don't, that's why men don't walk around asking for body counts because that doesn't mean we don't have to we, we look at you in the way you act and we can tell oh. either it's, it's high or slow daddy. the only can time I, can that I they daddy care daddy. is if somebody else know they only care when other know. people know Can't you are miss, you are miss, you, you guys Wait, like one thing that you guys one second then because it's just to clean it up you guys are doing you are being disingenuous and you're really in the conversation on purpose right and listen to what i'm saying men care they don't ask because they know if they ask they're going to put on a certain position right but men actually care so instead of talking about the men that have no idea about the body count of a woman in front of them let's actually talk about the one that actually know okay let's talk about the men that actually know because those men are the men that we have to judge the only thing that you can prove that a man doesn't care about body count if a man knows the body count oh he's 60. ah i don't care but if he doesn't know that doesn't show that he doesn't care because you woman uh, hide your body count for a reason 
You a guys, man, oh, wait, wait, wait. this is three about, seconds. It's just three ahead. seconds. No, it's just three seconds. You guys hiding your body count shows that everybody cares. Because if you thought that men didn't care about their body count, you say that shit out loud. Yeah, 70, 50, 32, loud. 34. You guys lying about that shit proves that you care and the man that is up in front of you care too. Men care, more, men care more about who you slept with. Not how many motherfuckers you slept with. They care about who. Because they you tie into each other. One person, you could have slept with one person that they just look at like fucking disgust and they would still not fuck with you versus the bitch that slept with 10 niggas that he don't know. Hey, hey, hey can you, can, like, you know how I can prove that the, uh, men care about body count? Hey, sis, what's your body count? You said sis? Yes, what's your body count? <laughs> Forgot, Fanny. Don't worry, we don't care. Tell us the number. We don't care. Don't worry. Ain't no wrong with your camera. Look at that. You teasing like care. that? <laughs> Even your camera said, "Nah, I'm leaving. I'm not staying here for this." Even the camera said, "Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to stay here for this." That's so difficult, right? All the women on this panel, I guarantee that three or four are going to not disclose their body count. I can disclose mine. M can disclose this. Mike can disclose this. You guys know that we care. That's why you guys either diminish it. So shout out to the slow. And or I don't think it's more so that we know that y'all care. I think it's just like y'all don't believe, y'all not gonna believe like, anybody anyway. Yeah, it's like you know it matters. You know it matters. My body count. If I was up, if I was up here disclosing, man, your body count is what, Yana? Continue. No, I'm gonna let her finish. She was, know, she, she was. She was. <laughs> All right. So let me. Let me. Let me. Yeah, why do you gave your body count? Multiply by three or ten. Right. They're not going to believe you anyway. That's fine. We are not going to believe you. Give us a number then. Yes. Okay. You said twelve. The original statement was men don't care. So if we don't care and y'all don't care because you're not fucking woman, kind of, go ahead and tell us somebody come. Yana, what's your body count? You know you care and you'll never know. No, no, what is low? What's the number? What's the number? That is my number. Mine is you 12 and 12. 22. I've been you fucking the same 12, person yeah. for three years. Oh, okay, 12. Back. Okay, what about you, Tay? I'm shit enough. No, I will not be getting my body count. Okay, what about you, Mary? One, my husband. Okay, what about you, Dana? Mm. Mm. Three. What about you? you? You said, I. okay, what about you, love? I asked you a question first, Patty. You didn't answer. Oh me. shit! I mean, I don't mind telling my count. My count is three. Okay. Okay. So, so I just want to say one thing, and then you can ask me the question. Notice that either they refused to respond or gave us a kind of low body count. They, need, they couldn't even look at the camera. Bro. <laughs> now, look, notice Daddy. that they either gave us a low Daddy. body count Daddy, or they refused to answer. Yeah, this is exactly why my counts are not close. Because we're the argument. Regardless That's exactly of the argument, none of you have a high body. Why is this? Why is this? We don't care or we care about being judged, regardless what? of what you portray as a whole, one way or another. Like yes. you said, you could look at somebody I and know I can't, see, I can't see the comments, but I bet you everybody in the comments just said times three, times 50, times 13. No, they just said they said 12 was a lot for 22. Well, I don't believe that. Wait, you are 22? I'm 22. <laughs> Damn. For I, at 22, Whoa. I did not even close that at 12. Damn. I might have two. I double back. I'm sorry. Damn. Well, I'm not, not saying it like, look, you do what you do. Oh, there it is. Oh, that explains. Get my money. Love told I mean, us her body I'm count. Sorry, I go back. Did Love told us her body count? No. Well, what was the body count, Love? Nobody, was saying, nobody said their body count yet. And, uh, because I mean, we, know we understand that there's a stick at the very least even if you guys want to say that you don't believe it should matter you understand there's a stigma which is why people don't share it damn and what i've said before plenty of times before it doesn't matter what number we give you're not going to believe it anyway this is a yeah. conversation we already know uh, it. so it's like why even have this conversation we don't, we don't need let, to let, let me let me address. Wait, hold on. Let her finish. Let her finish. Why even ask okay. us, Fatty? If you're gonna multiply or Mike or whoever, if you're gonna multiply yeah. by a certain number, you're not gonna believe it anyway. Ask the question. Let it's me. A, uh, let me address. Anyway. what Mary said. So there is some truth to something that you said, and I wanna 
kind of allude to it real quick you said men don't care and that's not really true what it is is that men don't understand that they care yet some men they don't understand that they care yet it's a lot of hoes out here a lot of misguided dudes that didn't have their father to teach them a lot of shit and where that comes into play is that have you have you ever heard like one of your homegirls say i got with him he knew who i was before you finished the minority and majority of men don't care care Yes. No, that's 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 a ooh. It's it's a growing minority. It's a growing minority that don't know they care yet. It's a minority oh. of men. So they just walk around they saying they don't care until that shit hit them in the face. Until exactly, but but the reason why I said that five or less or fifty or more is that you don't know how that's gonna impact your woman being a representative for your family when you're not there. You don't know yet how that's gonna impact the type of mother she's gonna become. Right. And if she's going to be accepted by the other groups of wives for her past behavior, you don't know yet because you haven't taken steps, different steps to say this is going to be my woman forever. Right. So until you start to care about those things and move into different phases of your life, he's going to care. That's what I'm saying. So a lot of men are dumb. They are choosing women based off of the wrong characteristics but they are eventually going to care this is why we actually need to tell women to be careful because when y'all get into an argument let's say a dude marries a stripper something extreme like that i don't care you doing you know you was doing that it's gonna change when you met me the second he get upset enough he's gonna be like i should have never married your whole ass anyway you see what i'm saying so you gotta be careful with like, stuff. Like, but like to my point right how many how many times have you been in a room with a uh, virgins who are married and felt judged, you know, like, you know what? I don't feel equal to y'all because all of you bitches have only slept with one person, your, your husband that you so fucking loyal to and your fucking kids in this Jack and Jill ass meeting. Shut the fuck up. That's not real life. That's not real life. What's real is nobody is asking because nobody actually cares. And if you do care, it doesn't matter anyway because everybody's lying according to y'all. It doesn't fucking matter. Y'all don't choose wives based off of how many people you think that they've slept with. You choose them off of some old, some sick fucking fantasy you have in your weird ass heads about how many people they've slept with and their purity and their value that's attached to that. Shut the fuck up. You just that's said not too. Real not you real just life. contradicted that's yourself, buddy. How it is, and if you think that's how it is, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not what your wife has been doing. So let me guess if I'm getting this right. You can value, you can judge me by the number of coins I have on my wallet, but I can judge you by the number of dicks that you had inside of you. Is that what you're saying? You'll never know. You'll never know, you, Daddy, because you think that no, we're always lying is the point that I'm making. You think that we're always lying anyway. It doesn't matter. No, but that's the, the the fact that you say you will never know proves that women are liars about this shit. They will never tell you the no, truth. And if they it proves that it doesn't matter what we say. What you, I have I have said on Al Gore's internet how many people I've slept with, and y'all will never ever believe it anyway. And I'm not trying to fuck not near one of y'all niggas. That's not you the didn't point. Lie. The point is, you didn't lie, y'all though. niggas don't care. Y'all, don't, it doesn't matter. Y'all don't care anyway. You're gonna believe what you want to believe anyway. You're gonna attach the value that you want to attach to it anyway. So whether I say I fuck two men or I fuck twenty men, you're gonna attach the value that you want to attach, but and then, you're gonna say but, that I'm lying if anyway. So if you say twenty, will believe twenty. As a person, more. as an individual, y'all as a unit got to shut the fuck up about this stupid. No, but the, that is, damn it, that's not fine. Right. All right, so yeah, here's, here's, yeah, but here's where that kind of becomes problematic because if I'm doing the math correctly, it says 26 percent of black women. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says 26 percent of black women are married, and if you take the baby boomers out, it's nine percent. So you don't think that low marital rate has something to do with the amount of sexual liberation? In the black i don't community. think i don't think that's correlated bro. white women are marrying at 25 but they're wrecking 50 I'm bodies in college go ahead and make that's, a, that's make kind of and apply it and apply i, it. I, and I think it. there is a percentage that is attributed I to the amount of promiscuity let me let, let me actually say this right and then a man can, that's due a to man. a lack of discipline in men as well no, but that's, oh that's, sure that's, we can spread the blame around but i think it does have let, let's um, let's 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 do these right. Selling pussy, it's easy. Pussy is easy to get now. It's not about selling it's pussy. Right. Regular women are fucking, 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 fucking. Not but, just the one. But what I'm we, saying, what I'm saying is, the men that aren't used to getting pussy are able to buy it. 
people can buy pussy now. They don't have to settle what down. That, what does that mean? Yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with the marital you know, right what does that though. mean? You're on the people oldest profession in the world. Down. People don't have to settle down anymore. They to actually... Down. They, a lot, they, a, a lot of men, a lot of men, that's on their priority list, having everyday pussy. Having pussy that's at home. You know. So I'm you're saying? making the point that you don't want to get married. Okay, so men what? don't make enough money to pay for pussy every day. Let's no, just... uh, Mary, you know the, the, the two reasons why men actually get married? To guarantee sexual access and to make sure nobody fucks the woman that they like. There's literally the two biggest is pussy pussy. Is I want you to so be my woman because I want to fuck you every day and I want to make sure that no man fucks you. So I'm going to give you a ring and we can close this shit off. But like I, just said, I just said, I just said due to the sexual liberation, sex is easily accessible. That's why men are not settling down. Because why am I gonna say if you just said the priority is accessible pussy, right? I'm telling you that it's easily accessible without settling down. So you think that all these men, if woman in men said we are going to marry at 23 instead of 30, you think all these men will say, nah, I'm good. If woman in mass decided the average age of marriage is not 25 Thank or not, not 29, me. it's 22. Oh. Do you think that most men in college, most men are uh, lock on in first jobs, most men that actually are, are self-made would say, you know what? No, I want to roam around these streets. Men would marry. settle down more if pussy wasn't so accessible. Oh my God. But no, that is true. I mean, that is true. Right, let me read mean? this super chat real quick. <clears throat> Robert with the two dollars says STD said he grateful for sexual liberation. <laughs> As Abe with the two says, there were prostitutes prostitutes and harlots in the bible black men continue to shame black women black women always had to put out honestly speaking women have been doing the same thing tell them mary as Abe with the ten dollars says dana you are so very right they cannot tell they cannot tell men are hoodwinked all the time uh tell them dana let's go hmm. red pill ranger with the five dollars says you don't need the exact count to know you're dealing with a hoe just like y'all know a fuck boy without knowing his count like, you just <laughs> sit back and observe Robert with the two dollars says, "A woman with over twenty bodies equals Shang Shung." <laughs> Skinny three stack with the five dollars says, "How upset you get when talking about body count tells all we need to know." A hit dog will holler. Looking at Dana, August with the two dollars says, "There's no difference between smashing. There is a difference between smashing and marrying." Gall you with the two dollars says, "Y'all really think the virgins act the same as only fans, girls?" Robert yeah. Platinum with the two dollars says, "I always know. I possess body count telepathy." <laughs> Go you with the two dollars says, "Saying we don't believe you means we check actions." As Abe with the ten dollars says, "What is the difference between a woman you love having had what you consider a high count? Men don't know if their wife had sex today with someone else." Go you with the two dollars says, "Saying we don't believe you means oh I read already Jonathan." <laughs> With the 20 ball says, take away these Jones rights and let's hit the streets because Dana act like a nigga ellipsis. This is sad. One part of the conversation, we trying to help the next generation. In the next breath, we up here acting like niggas. Reese Anderson with the two dollars says, is that 12 all men? Sorry, it's 2024. Have to ask. Mike Brown with the two dollars says, sis, do you believe love and Dana? Keep it a hundred. See, the pals with the two dollars says, Ladies, men care, just look at the marriage rate. To with the two dollars says, Dana is literally showing why men don't ask. John the Baptist with the five dollars says, Sexual liberation does not sound so liberating nearly 70 years later. Big Bad Bull with the five dollars says, Yana is the only one that provided a believable number. I had seven by 22, only because I married pound number seven. We had three kids by 22 and then divorced. Jonathan, appreciate you. Ock with the 20, 20 ball says the 22 year old and the older, yeah, my nigga woman, our world is doomed. They sound the same. <laughs> Congo English with the five dollars says disagree. You are tested in your friction, not access. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. So Dana. <sighs> Yes. So, are you? I just want to be clear. You're saying it doesn't matter what the that you have a high body count, or it doesn't matter what the count is because niggas don't believe you anyway. 
I'm saying it doesn't matter what the count is because niggas don't believe it anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, does your count matter to you? Do you think the bodies matter? To me, they matter. To the next person, they'll never know because I'm not ever going to disclose that. And that's a weird ass conversation for anybody to have. Can I ask a question real quick? Wait, you wait, said, wait, 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 cannot wait, ask a question real quick. Hold Be quiet. On, sit back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What'd you say, sis? Nigga. Did y'all believe your partner's body count when she told you? Like, like immediately. Or did you say, uh oh, let me uh assess this? Go ahead, Mike. If the I'm number pretty... is not big enough, I don't believe her. Yeah, I'm pretty skeptical no. overall. So I would say yeah. no initially. Yeah. Skeptic. To your question, oh, I don't. So I don't ask. I don't ask. Never ask. Never ask a question one time. So the the interesting part is that the woman that I was gonna marry, there was only like really three that was ever been wifey material. I never felt the need to ask. My question though was, is it really about getting the number or seeing her reaction to you asking? It's about you getting the number. Number. Why would you? The ask? actual number. That's so- now here's here's here's, here's but what a, matters is no. who but what matters is well, who well, well real me? quick real quick real quick real quick now people ask all the questions they want to ask if you're vetting somebody that you saying i'm going to be with for the rest of my life so i don't know if any question for the rest of your life should be off the table nor should it be characterized as weird right dana no i don't agree so you're saying for the rest of your life, you don't think that you should gain clarity on whether you need clarity on in order to commit to this situation for a hundred years. I think it's weird that you need clarity on that question. But why that though? Because I think it's because it's somebody's past. It's it's everybody has a past. Everybody has had sexual partners. Everybody, nobody is walking into a situation marrying a virgin or getting into a relationship with a virgin. So the amount of people that they've had sex with is fucking irrelevant unless you're talking about somebody who is i won't even okay. say all right well so let's let's talk through it real quick this is if, extreme. but no because you're, you're gonna go. talk about a uh, old girl who comes up here sometimes who's had like 200 partners or whatever right no no no. i'm gonna say what if i have a violent past but i haven't been violent for a couple years are you saying that you don't you it's it's it doesn't make sense for you to take that into consideration because i, I did it before Pam, you're comparing apples and t-shirts at this point. That's not the conduct. Same. No, what I'm comparing is, hold on. What I'm comparing is conduct, mm-hmm. right? So if there's a conduct in a promiscuous woman that I don't prefer, and there's violence in a man that you don't prefer, we're, 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 we're assessing conduct based on what we can handle, right? So why would her conduct with other men not be a viable thing for me to vet out if I'm going to marry her for the next hundred years? Because promiscuity is subjective, violence is not. Huh? What? <laughs> what? Promiscuity yeah, is subjective, and yeah. violence is not. Elaborate on that. Yes. Yes. Because Elaborate on that. Okay, I'm gonna give you, fatty, fatty. I'm gonna give you the Make perfect example. I'm Go gonna ahead. give you the perfect example because you Go said ahead. if a man sleeps with forty women and you're almost forty years old, ham. A couple weeks ago did not think that made you a promiscuous man but it was after taking a poll on youtube on this very platform where he then determined and learned that maybe i could be wrong but we already know that side we heard the other side we already know that side but if you as a man hit your significant other i think the majority of people would agree that makes you a violent person Okay, it's not so, subjective, and so we're not okay. gonna, we're not five gonna, or ten years. we're not, it's been five not, or ten what years. We're not you changed today, you're no longer that person. But that's fine, I got it. I got it. Don't worry, I'm so talking, honey. I'm so talking, honey. I'm so talking, honey. I'm so talking, right. honey. What we're not go ahead, going go ahead, to do Dana, today, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. what we're not going to do today is conflate the two and act like it's the same fucking thing. We're, we're not going to we do are, that. Okay? You're not, so we can, but we are. We can, we can talk about promiscuity. Or we can talk about violence, but we're not going to act like it's one and the same. Okay, so, I don't. So, I'm, so not, then, I'm not Dana, having that conversation tonight. I'm not doing so it. So then, this is why this is why we're, we're having a conversation. It. That's fine, but this is why we're having a conversation in bad faith, right? If I come across here and says fifty thousand dollars for a man is rich, 
to 98% of the population in the planet. So it's very subjective. It's subjective because $50 for me, I am the king of Portugal. $50,000 for American is average. But if you go all across the planet, that man is probably going to be rich in 80% of planets. It will be disingenuous for me to say, oh, a rich man is is, is, is is subjective. And no, I'm talking about the American reality and I'm making sure that I use the stats according to you guys. What you no, do is... It's still subjective. Even if you compare uh, fifty thousand dollars in Washington D.C. versus fifty thousand dollars in Lexington, Kentucky, it's not the same fucking income. Let me let me let me finish let me finish the conversation, Fatty. So real quick. So hey, that was a great point to bring up, Dana. I want to make sure I acknowledge that first and foremost. Um, we also agree that men and women are not looked at the same. And what Fatty is saying is that because I have an outlier experience that that doesn't then normalize or doesn't justify you saying it's subjective what yes. would happen is my experience is outlier right but the normal was what the men actually said with 40 being a lot so we have to throw out outliers and then and then we adjust for the normal if we can and, we and, can and, and then then that, okay then then it was two seconds i swear to god i'm gonna be quiet okay okay, we, okay. Can throw out, we can throw out outliers and we can normalize shit but let's talk about something that's not comparative to violence, to domestic violence specifically, because we do that shit way too Nobody much. Said show, like Nobody said domestic okay. violence. Nobody said domestic violence. Okay, let's, 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 let's stay on the sexual side then. Would you, are you going to mess no. with a dude who used to mess with dudes? No. Something else. If you want to have a conversation with these? That's women fine. We're now. going sexual. Compared yeah, we're going sexual. Oh, no. stop, we stop, have. stop! 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 Like, dang. Nobody can say what wasn't said and then we can't talk about what wasn't said in the first place i said violence i didn't say anything about dv twizzy did okay. twizzy did though and, and and you know when yeah. these but when i was talking i don't even I don't know why twizzy said that he wasn't even involved in it always goes there. but no you, we're not you know, talking about that i was there. saying but assessing somebody i was nobody was talking about db so let's stop what we were assessing was person's conduct in the past that's all all right okay that's all we were saying. And let me let me just step to the baseline. Anybody on this conversation believes that a man that has two million dollars isn't rich, or a woman that has a hundred dollars isn't promiscuous? Anybody on this this panel disagrees with that? Say it one more time, please. Two million dollars. A man has two million dollars. He's a rich man. A yeah. woman has a hundred bodies. She's promiscuous. Anybody disagrees? No. Do you see how how quickly it wasn't subjective anymore? Let's lower for eighty. A woman that has eighty bodies. Is promiscuous a man that has one million and eight hundred thousand dollars is a is rich. Anybody anybody disagrees here? No. Mm, seventy. Let's go for seventy bodies. A woman that has seventy bodies is she promiscuous? No, 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 Dana, don't do that because I actually mining out if he's subjective or not. All right, we got it, we got it. So make your fucking point. So Dana, I'm going to ask directly to you: Is a woman that has a hundred bodies promiscuous? Yes. Eighty. Don't do this. Well, I'm like, asking you. Go ahead. Are we going to go down? Like, no, we are making sure that you mean what you say and you say what you mean. 80 bodies. You see a hole. Make your point. I I I I, 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 I think Fatty. I think I think you're I think you're fine. We can get trigger in on Twizzy. I think you're fine, right? So, the you you agree, Dana? Basically, when you say you concede 100, is that the subjectivity ends somewhere? And so as he was going down, yes, he was just trying absolutely. to see what up. Absolutely. Yeah. So what we're saying but is it's not actually uh, obje uh subjective is the point. But him, as I always say, make your point. Don't ask us to make the point for you by asking us a million fucking questions. No, I, you have a, I know you say that. Well, let me if just you I know you say that. Make, Dana, I know you say you that. And you're you're right. Except for those questions are actually valid because you said that that the answer to all those questions was subjective initially that's why we needed actual back and forth answers to see that indeed a, a certain number was not subjective so, that's so, all. so we need to find out where exactly the number is so what what number makes it's, you interesting. it's interesting it's interesting, where, it's interesting where, because what is the exact number that makes was you going there. Was i was going, going there that's why i was asking you and, no that doesn't make sense fatty what well, we were all what, figuring what is it the out. number there's a goal just tell her just tell us okay. We don't know. We Go have ahead, to keep going. Then, then, then I, I was asking you. 
Then what I was number? What's the magic number that makes you a hoe? Because you have school. a number in mind that you want to arrive at because you keep asking all these stupid ass fucking Then questions. I was asking you. Tell us right. what the number the fatty, is. Because now we're just going back and forth. Fatty, let's do this. Fatty, give the number. For example, in the case of Yana, I apologize. She's been extremely nice to me and she's nice overall. 12 and 22 is crazy. And when I say it's crazy, it's up to par with probably her friends. Yeah. Probably she's on the lower end. I'm even not even joking. So if Yana, that is an extremely nice young girl, and she's here having an open conversation, she's willing to be honest about it and all that. And we look at her and she says 12 by 22. Imagine actually the hoes, ho hoes, the women that are hiding that shit and all of that. This is what men have to deal today. It's not that we don't want women that have three bodies, it's that we have no choice. If you catch her by the end of college, you're done. Either you meet her and you have a long distance relationship with somebody from the teens, like 16, you know, the parent, you know, the grandma, you know, everything, or you're done. So we care about it. We just can fight about it. Because remember when we asked, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot the name, Mary. Hey, mm -hmm. Mary, what can we do to end promiscuity or sexual liberation? What was their answer? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Men are realists. Men are actually realists. Men say, you know what I'm going to do? Since I can do nothing to change this woman's mind, let me go around and, 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 and take the woman that I deem. Since they're all fucking... Let me take the woman that is out the one that I like. That's what we're doing. It's not that we don't care. It's not that we have no choice. There's yeah. no choice. Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah, question so I had is conduct more important yeah. or the body count? What'd you the say? Yeah. Body so count influences conduct. Yeah. There's no way around it. So, it so, so love yeah. essentially the, the, the body count shows the conduct. Yes. But Practice but makes habit. Yeah. But I know someone one of one of the men said. You can tell the difference in conduct I because he has a lot of bodies that's what mike was saying i disagree with that but i think what mike is saying a woman that has a high body count is more privy to risky behavior she's more unstable she's always looking for the next high meaning a lot of these women that have high body counts they're medicating themselves with sex it's like that's me real. being dead and saying you know what it feels like let me go to the fridge real quick well, and eat okay. something. so this so this too love let me use myself as an example when you had the sex with a lot of different women, from my point, the insatiability, it changes too. Like what satisfies, what experiences you want based on what you've had previously, mm -hmm. you may recollect, reminisce because you had these different experiences. Yes. All me. vaginas don't feel the same. The head could be different. How she moved, it just all of it. Yeah, murders, all types of shit, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead. But well, that being said, a high body count for a man does matter because he becomes insatiable. No, well, that no, no. So oh. I'm just saying. Go on, go on, go on, yeah. I was gonna say. So the men's body count mattering happens after he's been like. It doesn't matter in the fact that women are gonna desire him. In yeah, fact, that's what we're talking about. It makes it makes him more desirable. You know, a man that can get any woman is is the most desirable. And Mike, it's man, not, Mike, it's not even that, Mike. Wait, when I let, let Mike just let Mike just finish. Let Mike just finish. But, but what ends up happening is that that's the that's the psychological damage he's done to himself. He's not satisfied with one woman, nor could he ever really be. So there's psychological damage. These right. they say reformed men, you know, that get married. Some of these men are married, but. They're like mm, i'm never i'm never really satisfied with one woman but it can occur after so there are always consequences to promiscuous behavior on both sides right. and, and that's that's what i'm gonna get at because because that that's that's what i believe right because i think men can be insatiable if the body count is too high but we keep focusing on a woman's high body count but i think that there's danger as micah just admitted <coughs> man's high body count as well mm -hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't make us undesirable. It, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Don't, 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 don't smash yeah, the point. Yeah. So, it's not danger. A yeah. Danger. So it's not. So let me just clarify for you. The danger thing is it's 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 not really there, right? But what we're talking about is this according to how it it suits you for relationships, yep. and mm -hmm. this in terms of how people see you and if they want to be with you. So for men, generally speaking. The the, the uh, repercussion isn't that women don't want us if we have a high body count. While we've been talking about it for an hour, that when you guys have a high body count, it means a whole lot and a whole lot of different things to a whole lot of different people. 
and, and it's even like, deeper it's than that. that. It's, it's even deeper. Than... But nah, wait, but is it a whole lot? Because Mike, it's Mike didn't even ask. So that's that's a point. That's a point that's there. That's he true. doesn't know. Like, it, it, he don't know to this day. But there's a point. It's deeper than that. Even a priest or a uh, 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 Thai Thai monk, they suppress their urges. I don't care if you have a hundred bodies or if you have one body. As a man, you go your life suppressing your urges to fuck everything that moves around you. That's literally what we do. We say, damn, not fucking I have a wife. Damn, not fucking I have a wife. Damn, look at the cities. I don't fucking have a wife. We suppress it no matter if you have a high body count or low body count. And the fuck the part is this. A man that had a million women, if he puts a ring on you, he's giving you something that he never gave to the other million women he had before. Look at M case. M might be a whoremonger, whatever, but the motherfucker is building with his wife, putting kids on her, taking care of her, and establish something that he never established with a woman before before he got his wife. What is M getting? One, one, one second, let me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead. Let me finish. I'm gonna let you finish. What does a promiscuous woman can give to a man that she didn't give to a hundred motherfuckers before? The problem is Patty talking about hyperbole hundred. I mean, we, we it's we not are, oh my god, god. Got, even that's, twenty. If you exchange it for twenty, but what is the, what did the woman that fuck fifty men before me can give me that she didn't give to the fifty men before me? Let's go with twenty. What can a woman that get, that the twenty bodies can give to me that she didn't give to twenty men before me? Go ahead and explain. I'll, I'll answer for him. Not a goddamn thing. Okay. I'm not. Why you got this? You wanted to have the microphone. Yeah. Take you the answer. Go ahead. You got this. I, if you, you have to let me talk though. Come I would. I'm not even. At that point that you're trying to make fatty, is you're talking hyperbole because we have been called hoes if we had five partners before we're married. We've been called that, right? So the point is, body counts being with the wrong person can be damaging on. Is potentially damaged on both sides. Let's be very clear about that. It's damaging oh. both sides. We <laughs> talked about this for hours before I even came up here about how we're saying yeah. we need to be careful as women in mm. uh, treating our bodies. Like this, so I'm not even sure why I've been talking about this for the past hour. Okay. Okay. We so because we're talking about sexual liberation, that's why we got here. Us, it did not. It does not benefit us. We talked about that. We talked mm. about talking to the younger generation, such as John's generation, mm. about what not to do and how okay. things. We talked about all of this, so I'm not sure why. Okay. So let me go to the commission and silver DJ Amp. Amp, did you answer my question? Because it was it doesn't need to be answered. Did she answer my did you answer my question? Because it's nope. damaging on both sides, like I said. Did you answer That's my really question? Not. What can you yeah, give to me? What can you give to me that you didn't give to the 20 motherfuckers that you fucked before? Tell me one thing. She, she knows the answer. She just doesn't want to say. Tell it. me one thing. Tell me one she thing. Does. Look, I, I look at an example of Osa. If Osa marries you and keeps you, he's giving you something that he never gave to his three baby mamas, whatever. He's giving you a something that he never actually gave to the one before. Keeping you, marrying you, and keeping you. What can you give to him that you didn't give to all the people that you had before? Answer that shit. You're talking with Osa. Is he on the back? Because you're being disrespectful. As no, I'm not being disrespectful. He's, he's being disrespectful. No, I'm not being disrespectful at all. What uh, you mean? That means you, you, are. you won, Fatty. They because changing the subject. You won. Because you're making it personal. That's well, why. It's, it's, it, it, what I'm is, personal to me. No, well, let me just. All right, let me let me resettle this real quick. If it sounded disrespectful, he didn't mean it as such, but it is a tangible example. Um, but I don't think he was trying to be disrespectful. But he was saying the bot the woman's body is like uberly valuable which is what we've been talking about so it's like what can you give a man that you haven't shared previously i understand um, the point that he's making him but he's making mm. it personal which makes it disrespectful. so let's take it, let's take so it, take it, it oh, one second friends well that's then i only press when people act disingenuous i ask a general question <clears throat> first I actually put it on me first i said what can you give me that you didn't give, give to other people before? And because she wasn't answering, I actually personalized it and says, we know that you and also has something going on. He can give something to you that he didn't give to none of the women that he fucked before, even his ex-wife that he divorced and all that shit. What can That's you give right. him that you didn't give to other people before? And the answer, you know what? Is nothing. Is so zero. You acknowledged, so you acknowledged you didn't get the answer that you wanted. So then you went for the gut and you, you made didn't personal. didn't answer That's my question. It's not the answer that I right. wanted. You didn't get the answer that you wanted. So you made it fucking personal. That's what you no. just said. 
That's what you just said. I mean, I mean, Dana, I, Dana, you know what? Move I concede. I was wrong. No, Patty, I was wrong. No, Dana, I apologize. My mother didn't give me breast milk when I was younger. It's my responsibility. Let's, I apologize. Let's, let's 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 dive into this part though, right, ladies? So and the fellas, right? One thing that Fatty had mentioned that we we're talking about was men understand where we are in today's world. So the acceptable body count, I think, is probably what would be more tangible in argument to dana's point i mean to the world we ain't no virgins so what are we actually looking at like we like somebody said yana said 12 she probably right on par with the her the girls her age or maybe a little bit lower i think fatty we was doing the math one day i'm not sure if trigger was here what's up what's up in the black dragon we were saying yo if she started having sex when she was 16 yes she date, she date two guys a year she could hit she make 30 32 when that's the average age people getting married well how many bodies is that and two don't sound like a lot per, per year per se but if you add them up and she just going through life based on because that's that's okay now she might have is that 30 30 no. some 30 years, 30 years 32, whatever the math is yeah, 30, 32 28 yeah. 32 something like that right and let's say she got a relationship for three years so that take off too so she might be at the right we know that this is how life going we don't like the shit and you know what else we still think she she a hoe to an extent but what the fuck do we, we got to upset. deal with what what is your That's choice we got, yeah. i can answer your question yeah. what it is and i can answer you, your question and then and then real quick i'm just saying but just i'm just we just walk we just walking through it that's all we doing is walking through it because even when dana gave her real body count it was like somewhere around that figure when we understand that she's still gonna get wifed up and all that shit motherfuckers understand but you're like yo you just picking the least amount of whole shit i guess out of out of the bunch they yeah. understand that's how they vote for politicians they understand lesser of two evils yeah Got to pick somebody. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna come up with a body count that's acceptable. Like it, honestly, no, no, it's not. It's not. Um. Oh, well, first of all, what's up to everybody? What's up to everybody? I, 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 I can answer this question. I, mean, I can answer the question. I can answer if you want. If you want the answer, I'll answer the question. We. So yeah. So as Trigger Mike was saying, like I, I come from a different background, lifestyle of sex positive community, all that stuff, um, um, kink world, all that. So when we're talking about the 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 number of body count, because I, I hear this a lot, it's not um, it's the wrong conversation to have, not because of the topic, but because we're not talking about a, a nominal number. What we're talking about is the point to where a woman's perception of men change to where she no longer uh, uh, carries herself in the modest and virtuous way she did before she the reached a, a, what is a sex pain. positive. I'll, I'll explain everything. Oh, I'll explain that, that, that's that's the context Freak. I need to even. Okay, okay, what you okay. Stand. So let me go Are you back. Having let me sex go back. With men? No, no. Huh? No. And sex no. positive is. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's, go ahead. It's Ooh. it's an open lifestyle, right? It's an open yeah, lifestyle. Uh, married people go swing. Um, people. Um, there's there's a whole lot. There's probably you've seen it in movies. You've seen it in adult content. You've seen it a lot of stuff, right? Like the it's just not. A, yeah, basically freaky shit, that, right? Yeah. So I know the difference between uh, a person with five body counts versus a person with 50. In in, in my uh, background, I, I get to interact with both on the weekends every week. Um, they don't dress the same. They don't act the same. They don't talk the same. They don't make the same jokes. They don't understand the same references. The What's person with five, the person with five body counts, the, the woman with five body counts does not look, resemble, act, behave, think, talk dress act as a one with 50 That's bodies Mike said. they don't act the same they're completely two different personalities so it's not the number it's Mike the perception said. and the behavior that changes Where thank you, you very much Trigger Mike. Yeah. oh it wasn't Trigger yeah. Mike. Okay. Yeah. Mike already said Where, no stop where are you going, you going all these women every fucking week according say to that again where are yeah. you going where you're encountering all these all so these sports. women as you said mm -hmm. every week as oh yeah said. yeah there are there are events and clubs here in uh here in town that we go to every week we all meet at the same community uh is that what they call it say it again 
Events and clubs? Yeah, events and clubs because there's difference. There's one for rope tying. There's one for this. There's one for that. So there's they're different events. But you say we rope all tying? tying? Yes. yes. Sorry. I'm vanilla for life. So, <laughs> no. so at those events, you're right. able to, to determine which women, first of all, you misuse sex positive, but you're able to determine which women have been with maybe five as opposed to those that have been with 50 at these uh, open ass, sexual ass, liberated mm -hmm. ass mm -hmm. events. It's not just the events. I've just we're been all, doing. We're all, we're all here to fuck give me a minute. Just give me a know minute. If I fuck five people or fifty people. You know. <laughs> it's that. Not, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. I'm not, I'm not gonna address you. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. walk up to you. I'm gonna wait for you to walk up to me and fuck me in front of my man. You sound crazy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you sound crazy. Sir. Well, for do you, do you first, ladies do you ladies genuinely outlier, think that a girl who has five bodies is the same or will act the same as a girl who has fifty? Is that I what you say? Genuinely, think, no. Well, I'm this asking is, you, Dana. Wait, do you wait, genuinely wait. think oh, that? Dana just like said. Hold on, hold on. Dana just said. How is this a good example when these whores at the same event trying to do the same shit? And yeah, now it's not yeah they're not they're yeah. not whores yeah. doing the same no, 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 thing. No, 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 that's because, the thing. No, well, well let me finish her. Let me let me finish that's right. the point. Because because the one of them sitting in the corner acting shy. So now, oh, you got five bodies, bitch. You in the same corner, the same stinking ass room, all mm -hmm. full of white folks <laughs> fucking each other. <laughs> right. So, you that's that's like so, so, so this is over. So this is over. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is over. This is over. shit, bro. I'm sorry. So this is over. This is not a weekend. And this is over 20 years talking. And, and so you just should, you believe should, me when I say I've seen all the men all types. But that's there are many different bro. everybody. So what, whatever you define as normal is relative, <laughs> right? No, where I'm you saying, live, like, your environment, all that. Clubs. That's fine. People. That's fine. Oh, There's oh, hundreds oh, of thousands oh, of millions. So I'm, I'm saying it for her. I'm no, I got you. I got you. Use that as a, uh, an example. It won't work because That's most people we're not. It's not an example. Head. It's not an example. It's how we tell the difference between yes, who is and vanilla and who isn't. Right? Who got five bodies? Who got fifty? Who's vanilla and who ain't? Go ahead, go ahead, Fatty. Go ahead, Fatty. I just want to. One Hold on, make, let me make sure Yana get in. Hold on, Yana, you go ahead. What I was just say? saying that there's no facts. There's there's no facts on that, so I don't think that's any ground to stand. On. Oh, so let me give you facts. Ahead. Let me give you facts. He just said over what, a course of twenty. No, it's years. it's fine. No, it's fine. What we what bothers us twenty years is, is a fact. What bothers us is that women that are not hoes are dressing like hoes, are quacking like hoes, are behaving like hoes, but at the end of the day, they go home and they sleep, right? Mm -hmm. A woman that has a high body count, she has a niche to scratch. She is going to be looking for the next reel and the next reel and the next reel and the next reel because that's what they got to the 50 body count. They are looking for the next emotional roller coaster. They are a junkie. So just I like a crackhead, every like time he gets his every just like a crackhead, every time he gets down from his high, he's looking for the next source of supply. A emotional junkie, which is a promiscuous woman, she's going to look for the next like she's going to look for the next one, then the next one. So it's about behavior. Like it's not that a woman that fucked uh, uh two dudes can dress like a slut, can post like and on Instagram like a slut, can talk like a slut, can say period and all this shit. It's not that chicken, but she's cosplaying like a slut. And now we are on the predicament because we can't differentiate between her and the real hoe. But it's a very difference between mm -hmm. the, the behavior of somebody that pretends that he's rich, like a lot of people on these YouTube's rich do, and the people that are actually rich. Mm -hmm. And you saying. can say... Just because you guys act the same doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you guys are actually that, the same person. It's the same thing how, with hope okay. and woman that behave like hope. We understand that, but 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 we're saying assessing conduct. So what about her conduct? Can you tell the differences when she's on the street and they both saying period? Okay, I can, I can I can I can answer that. That's really well, what happened. Happened. Slow down, just but just consider the question before we before we go. Uh, if y'all say an answer, that's good. All right, cool. But if they if they're mimicking. The only way you know the difference is when you get her in the bed and then she talking about Yeezy taught me all this shit. Yeah, it's, so it's how... Go ahead. Yes. Well, it's got, uh, Amp, how many yeah. women that was talking all day and you talked to her real sluts and shit and then you put Nothing. it on bed and you're like, damn, you are a regular. Million, a million of them, man. You be disappointed like, as a motherfucker. 
But then oh. you get somebody and she Especially says, Especially the ones with ahead. ass, man. That ass is a farce, bro. The they be farce. running all over the bed, man. And, nice. But that's my point. You get this woman with nice bodies that can even give a blowjob. And then you get the woman that says, sit over there. She does the ponytail real quick. And she takes you to fucking Mars. That, like, oh. she that's, needs that's to be at this point. Oh my Dana, Jesus Christ, Dana. Let me say this too. Let me say this. Um, I didn't arrive at this conclusion simply by monitoring women. A lot of dudes are gonna arrive at this conclusion trying to lock down the girl that's promiscuous. Like we, we, we'll just, just call it what it is. We we've all kind of fell in love with a exciting ass girl before. Like, damn, she got spunk, bro. She out here, ooh, ooh she look good. Everybody, you try to lock her down. A few of those type of women and you realize that they're not the same bro they they, they they cannot be tied down they want variety <clears throat> variety in their life they, they don't want to you know they rescheduling dates they have a behavior they have habits and then when we were younger all the women that didn't do that we called boring then you go over then you start to go over 25 years of age and you realize all those boring girls do not have the habits that these exciting girls that are outside have Maybe I, mean, I should go pick my wife over there. I picked mm -hmm. my wife from the woman who wasn't outside. I didn't even have to tell the difference between a girl saying period. I just went and looked for the girl who was in the library. So it, it's, it's a difference there. Who did not have the habits. Oh, let's go here. I, I don't go to the club. I mean, can we can we go walk around the lake? Right? They all got different fucking habits. Because we so tried to be with you. Mike, Mike, you said you didn't get this knowledge from um, observing women. So is this like like and i'm not being weird is this like conversations that you have amongst your male friends about women because you're saying that it's not their behavior it's not women's behavior it's not their habits it's not their anything that you're observing so are these conversations that you are having and you've come to a consensus about the no, thing i'm saying it's or not just it, yeah it's not just from observing it's actually trying to date these women it's falling in love with these women it's, it's all of those things. You you get excited the same way women try to choose a bad boy. Dudes are also in love with bad girls. They're exciting. Yeah. They fuck quick. They fuck the best, if you want to be honest. Crazy ones. Then you, then you try to keep her, and you realize she ain't trying to be kept. Right. And, and you do enough of this for long enough, you're going to be like, okay, this is not this is not the woman that you keep. This, this is why so many men in the uh, marriages end up in divorce now. Because these women were never really wives to begin with. Oh, that's why it has nothing to do with finances or promiscuity or infidelity. That's definitely part of it, though, right? These are all experiences, though. When when you when you talk into a, a female, you're experiencing her. You're 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 engaging in banter. You're seeing uh, where you can go, how far she's going to take it. Um, as far as a conversation, and the conversation you can get as uh, like innocent or dirty as as you know she'll allow it um when i mean talking to many people you know who's who, whose body count is what by their behavior the language that they use for instance someone who's not going to be as promiscuous talks about her boyfriend or her man singular when you're talking to someone more promiscuous they talk about men the men that they deal with oh i gotta talk to this dude i gotta deal with this dude i gotta date with this dude and then i'm gonna have this dude pick me up and like, da, 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 da. Is that the conversations you're asking like what the, what are you asking like are hey you what's up are you hearing like, are, you, are, you, are you hearing did you just hear anything i just said in conversations just with just women the, that's what i'm saying no i'm not talking about grammar i'm talking about conversations with women let me ask you a question information yeah, yana let me ask you a question yana I'm confused. yana let me ask you a question Sir? if you're assessing into the black dragon what would you say his body count is you heard his cadence you hear him talking etc you are a piece of shit then before I get dragged already, my body counts 12, so I've already been made the whore of the day. So, no, 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 Go ahead, go ahead. It's, it's normal. Yana, yeah, that's normal, Yana. Yeah, that's what? normal. Don't be ashamed of that. I didn't You're a shame. nun in my book. Daddy, yeah, she's good. Like, she's good. You don't got to do No, I just want to make sure that she knows it no, because no, I don't want to. That's, 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 that's my young boy. She good. She good. Go ahead. Thanks. Um, <laughs> by just, by looks, 
I'm not mm. gonna say it's very high, but I'm not gonna say it's how old are you? Let me ask that. He's 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 my age. Baby boom. I mean, uh, never mind. God damn, <laughs> nigga. Jesus. I know you did. <laughs> we gonna have a talk <laughs> sidebar <laughs> after this. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I am not your granddad. I'm Get a, that out of here with that shit. I'm gonna you give can. you a range of like ten to like twenty. I like that. Let's keep right. that. Two generations in that. Oh, I don't know why I keep going back to that. Have so, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, Yana. Hold on. Let's finish this. I gotta read these super chats. Let's finish this. Okay. So, <laughs> enter the black dragon at fifteen bodies. Okay, and he's damn near thirty-eight years old. If he's my age, right? Now, I'm a whore. Now that's so now, horrible. So now, how about Twizzy? I don't know. Oh, okay, I'm blind. Um, how old are you? I'm 34. I'll be 35 in April. I give you like a good 15. Okay, 15. How about Onikasu? We're gonna go back to the 10 15. Froze on purpose. That might be the safe <laughs> answer. She might said 10 to 15. She said 10 to 15. Oh, wait, come on, Yanni. You give it. You giving EBD ten to fifteen. You giving Twizzy ten to fifteen. You giving Onikasu ten to fifteen. Onikasu is what twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. I'm forty two, by the way. Mm. Damn. So you saying a 42, 34 and Onikasu is twenty five? Have about ten to fifteen by. I'm going. You're going off of a twenty two year old's mindset and opinion. But you have twelve. What are you? What are you so what I'm saying is why you why are you saying but what I'm saying is why you were giving them so many low numbers is that just how you were you looking at them you like okay I mean yeah like well this this is like based off my looks like the okay. Twizzy okay. he looks like a he looks like a married man he looks like an older married man <laughs> the other <laughs> ones look like younger they look like younger was nothing man, Okay. Like, All right, Yana. So, what you give Trigger Mike then? He said you look like a married man. You look like a, a married. You look like a seasoned married man. So Fifteen, twenty. Mm -mm. Oh, so you give Trigger Mike twenty? Yeah. Like, how old are you? Thirty-seven. Yeah. Thirty-seven. Like, yeah, you're in that range too. Okay. How about so we Fanny? all screwing the same bitch? <laughs> How about hey, Fatty? I'm Thanks, putting you yeah, back in the 10 15 range. God, all right. That's just a safe number. Yeah, wow, safe. that's like, so safe. Like, that's so Kevin like, Samuel like safe. Boy. Seven. Hey, Ham, you came a member. We doing Ham because, like, never mind. You married now. Never mind. You know what's funny? She pulled the, you know, like you guys talking about Kevin Samuels when he says you can use seven. She used seven for everybody. She used seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Reese with the five dollars says, Reese says, only thing I care about is the race of men she sm let smash. Her and if she had a rainbow pass, because I don't care if she smashed 15 other black men if she good to me. Kenny, three stacks with the follow says, Dana, why are you so dang angry? You just need some regular D so you can calm down like love did. Hello. I'm here for you, Dana. Striking it rich with the five <laughs> pounds. Says, Damn. The way Dana talked to Trigger Mike, imagine that being your wife. Surrogacy is the answers, man. Would you want a woman like that on your arm? Damn. Damn. Unk with the two dollars says, "Happy V Day, Dana." <laughs> Damn. Oh, you with the two dollars, Dana. If Hamp was wrong, that means it is objective. Reese with the two dollars says, "If fifteen other guys look like me, I don't care. So race matters." <laughs> Locked and loaded with the five dollars. Between these six women, body count about twenty-four. That's crazy. And yes, X's. That's that's by three. Oh, multiply by three. And men will believe it more. Also, women own, only count the men who make them come. That's that can't be true. Rebel Rose with the ten dollars says, "Men do do a fourteen day water fast, and I will, and it will grant you the freedom from the need of sex, and your God given purpose will be the new dopamine release." Don't take my word for it. Research it. Women no power over me. That's <laughs> Jonathan with the twenty ball says, "This is where women's logic goes out the window." Feelings over facts. Jesus Christ. Damn. Hamp has to slowly break stuff down. Pay attention, fellas. They always fight back when it comes to sex. Um, most are for the street. Damn, hold on. I lost my, I lost my, 
Hold on. Oh, Reese with the two dollars. Also, if she been with a bunch of off off girls, that's a red flag. As A with the ten dollars says, when when Doctor Albino can't remember her name bragged about having three hundred bodies, five hundred. Somehow that count was to make sense at her age. Make it make sense. Why was it not shunned by y'all? Who? Uh, there was a doctor. Because we uh, don't want to fuck her. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, shit. That fucking, that fucking number was nuts. Reese Anderson with the $5 says, uh, and men supposed to be promiscuous taste all races have as much sexual partners as possible. That's why we went to war in history. Not you women. It's different. John Henry of the two thousand ham. Are we booting folks tonight? No, nah, the ladies, it's it's their panel, so they they stagnant, John. Rebel Rose with the five thousand. Multiple body count equals multiple spiritual connections, which result in less likely to be able to connect with a man long term. Sexual trauma is real. Brendan Butter with the five thousand. Women always discredit conversation as uncomfortable to them by classifying it as weird. Unk with the five dollars says, "Fatty, you're acting like me, like me. You act like me when I'm on that Don Julio. Calm down, G. Happy V Day, ladies. <laughs> hey, hey Unk, they are not going to fuck you, bro. Stop." As a for the ten dollars, Mike just made that up. You cannot tell. Nobody thought the doctor was a bad B hat behavior beha person. Behavior person prior to her saying be because 300, 300, 300, 300 Stop the cat, because men. Oh. Go ahead. No, because 300, period. Stop body count. Body okay. count 300. Body count. Yeah. Stop the cat. Men always want new pussy, according to Mr. Fantastic. Brother, brother, brother. God, you with the 10 ounces. Ladies, just answer the question and get out your feelings. Saying it doesn't matter because blah, blah, blah is ignorant and y'all really not listening to understand and not at all most of the time. It's sad. Striking it rich with the two pounds says women love to derail by talking about DV and abuse. Shaking my head. Thanks. Every time, as Ava, the Senate says, you men do not have any idea how many men women have been or are still with, um, while with you too. This is something women know. So listen, men, women fool you all the time. That's on my whole. I agree with her. Actually, uh, I think Alfred with the twenty balls says, "Spin it, debate it all you want, lie about it all you want. Body count for women matters to men." And to say it does not matter is simply disingenuous. They know it matters. Fatty's point is excellent. How can one get on the show? Yeah, we dropped the link. John Henry with the five dollars says, Dana, you got the nerve saying someone is disrespectful, disrespectful after the way you talk to Trigger Mike. Come on now. X. She called him a nigga. Fuck and Trigger Mike. And notice <laughs> I said nothing disrespectful back. Yes, and you are a real man. Again, next. Nothing. Dark relief of the fight says there are I'm studies that show cool. that the woman retains semen from their sexual partners to the point where it becomes a part of her DNA. What? Rebel so Rose with the fight out says fatty. I would argue that men are are the real junkies to sex because men are willing to deal with a lot of bullshit just to get the cat. I agree. Camp water from Lauren Mack. Yeah, I got some water right here. John Abbott with the fight out says, please explain to me how does it benefit women not to marry before 19? Sexual liberation is a death sentence. Ranger with the five dollars was popping. Says Yana, looking like jukebox, cute though. <laughs> I don't get that reference uh, from, from uh, uh, Power of uh, Raising Canaan. Of Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan. Uh, Striking it rich with the two pounds. Says to the chat, Dana's body count over under fifty. That's not how that works. It's got to be a half a point. So fifty and a half. Well, John tried to kick Dana, but <laughs> nah, John. I, I, put, I responded in the chat. Nah, John. But, Jeez. I'm still here. The world side is human. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She want to run the street, so let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be cock blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. Shit like that. Black Dragon and MVP. Black Dragon was Black Dragon was rubbing that deal though like there was no tomorrow. He was polishing oh, that shit. Yeah, Why are you doing that, Black Dragon? Oh, come on, bro. It wasn't MVP. exactly a turntable, but I was just trying to simulate. Yeah, you were uh, rubbing the microphone. Come on, bro. Like, uh, let me know what you want me to do with this. We can save it for later, or I could send it back. Um, 
What, what day is it, Fatty? Usually, I forget. It's Wednesday now. What day? What the payouts? What day is it? Yeah, just save it for credit if you want to drop yeah. somebody else. You know, I'll say this though. I'll say this though about about uh about um about what women talk about. You know, they always think that um or they always say, "What do you hear from women?" Oh, well, we can smell a guy with confidence a mile away. Oh, well, he's got small dick energy. Oh, well, he doesn't have enough money. He's broke because I can just look at him and tell I don't have to talk to him. Oh, um, well, he's this and that and this and that and the other, sizing us up all the time without even interacting to us. Have a filter, say, oh, well, he's good, he's bad, he's this, he's that. We're talking about body count and the difference in behavior in between a woman who hasn't slept with a lot of dudes versus one who has. And you're and it's like, oh, well, you don't understand. You don't get it. How can you tell? We give you the answers about how can we tell? And then it's like, well, that doesn't matter. Well, that's stupid. So you just want to ignore what men like are, are thinking and saying over a period of all of our lives and interacting with you. You want to, you want to, you want to be heard. You want to be, you want us to hear you. You want us to hear you when you talk about small dick energy or confidence or this man needs to step up and do this and do that. But when we talking about what we want, our standards, our requirements, or we want our women behaving this way and not that way. You want to get all heard about it. it. You want to make up excuses. You want to change the subject. We would say no, you don't. You want to just shake your head and not listen. If that's and not true, understand, we're not going to discredit it. If people walk up to you and say you have little dick energy, or you lack confidence, or you have like you, you seem like somebody I don't want to fucking talk to, that's between you and that woman. I don't have nothing to do with that. But people aren't generally making those statements about men walking up and down the street. Just like mm-hmm. men are not generally making statements about women walking down the street. Like, oh yeah, she looked like she's mm-hmm. had uh, twenty seven. Have you personally had a? We hear, hear you today. talk. Weird it's not a you. look. We hear you talk. It's, we talk you to you. Had no, a woman hear, this no you hear them talking yeah. to you. You hear them talking to you. No, we hear you talk in general. You. Say you have this ain't about me. me. Quit making it personal. You don't have confidence. <laughs> We're talking about men and women. About men in general. Wow. wow. About men in general. They're talking about you, my nigga. No, this you talk about, about you. me. You making it personal. I'm making in general. No, you're talking about your experience. No, 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 men had women. I'm talking about men have experienced women. Men live with women. Not yeah. as our well, is that a serious is question? Is that a serious dick? question? What yeah. men have lived yeah. with yeah. women or experienced with women? Like you got little dick exactly. You notice how so, she was so against so, me doing so. personal yeah. against uh, right, against and, and she but makes it personal. Like, now now she makes it personal. We so can't have a conversation about men and women because you want to make it about me. Lucky, lucky. Niggas with because confidence don't it. ever hear you lack confidence or you have little dick energy. That's not what niggas with confidence or big dick it energy is. Is either. do women well, say do women that's say that men dick. have little dick energy and lack confidence? Do oh women say that? Do women right. say that? Do women right. say that they do what they do? All right. All right. Let me clear. Let me be before y'all. Women say that like that. That's that's. Have you heard a woman say that in the history of humanity? Yes or no? Yes. Let's try that. I don't yeah. think I've ever actually heard someone say that. Okay, like, well, welcome to planet Earth. Women do say, that I met a fool with small dick energy. Please. I met a fool who lacked confidence. I let a fool who, 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 was a, who was a clown who didn't have swag. He was corny. He was it this, he was like that. Trauma, he was not it, to my standard. Like We've heard DVD. women say this. DVD, but what, no, what they're like, saying like, is... It's a conversation that you've had with a woman, and it's, oh, you're giving small dick energy. You're giving broke nigga. Is, is, is that, are these are the conversations that you're having with people, and it leads to this? Or, like... These no, this is what you say on your group chat. This, this is, is what you. This is what you women say. Talking about on the internet, like I internet talking I'm, points I'm, and around here. Listen to what you're saying. Direct question. Ask a very direct question. Okay. Okay. Is that okay. what women say to you, you in conversation? No, they don't say that to me in conversation. It makes no sense. So, There's a bad question. A, wo- a man is not calling a woman hoe in public. She is going back to to the locker room after the Betty, basketball practice whore, and trigger my guess me, bro. Platform. No, Yana. You Yana. just call me a Yana, whore on platform. You contradict Yana, yourself. Listen. You did call no, me a whore on no, platform. No, he's no, no, not that. I'm not going to a date with a woman that says, man, she's a hoe. I'm going back I mean, home. What, what gave that? Can you listen to me? Can you listen to me? Can you listen to me? What is happening is Trigger Mike is going to say, hey, man, you were very excited about that date with that girl. 
What happened? Nah, man, she was a hoe. Uh, just leave it alone. That's what happened. That, like, men are not going around. You are a hoe. You are a hoe. Like, we don't do but, that. Okay, so it's just in conversation. Gave, what gave that she was a hoe? Because at some, at a certain point in time, she told you. You move in the goalpost. Stick on the. Game. Stick on the. I'll, I'll answer it. I'll no, answer it. No, no, dragon, don't bite. You do, no, no, no. Spice. If she wants, if that's a legitimate no, no. question. If it's no, a legitimate question, no, 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 no. I'm answering it. Because y'all make a, y'all make a message. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm just answering so, the question. She asked. Here's, here's the key. Here's the key. Here's what they said to Black Dragon. Whether you like it, understand it, accept it, believe it or not. Black Dragon, they saying that it sounds, they made it personal because it sounds personal. Because they saying that that shit gets said to you. Yana, even though she's being over talked, saying it sound like trauma when you're saying it. So have you had that experience? Are you speaking from generalities based on what you see on YouTube? That's who hurt you. No, 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 no. What I'm talking about when I talk about uh, knowing the difference between one woman with this body count, and one woman with that body count is in person. Like I don't right. meet people like personally on YouTube and say, oh, well, I know how you move because of this so and that. where was it's the correlation ex- with your last fact of this is what the bitches be saying? Oh, you give little dick energy. Where did all that come from? That's what I'm asking. Like all of the- like like all of this is in your spaces that women talk, right? When no, you women- don't hold say up, in hold your up, spaces. hold up, hold up. No, Can I answer no, your no, question? No, I'm not. No. Hold don't hold say so, your so you're gonna space. ask a question and not let me answer it. Because I didn't ask a question. There, there aren't, don't say in your women's spaces because it's not in all women's spaces. I'm around probably no one said all. women. No one said all. Basis. That's it. Yeah, can you go on Shade Room real quick and check the comments of every post, please? Real quick. If yeah. the women are not in, in the face, you are broke. Da, 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 da. They will go to their group chat with their seven ladies and they well, will sell their shit. Nobody's guys, guys, guys. We kind of got off. Well, let's not belabor the point, point, man. Let's we're not, we're, the we're not trying to. What we're so point we're, we're trying to make is that we can tell yeah. the difference in body count from your a multitude of factors. It's one of them being most uh, apparent is your language, your behavior, how you dress, what you think of men, and how you talk and describe about men. It gives it away. One does not talk about the other. Miss Five Body Count do- doesn't even get the joke from Miss Fifty Body Count. She's not going to get that. I know definitively they were talking about you when they said Little Dick Energy because it has nothing to do. Like none of this shit makes sense. So now this you want to make it personal. No, now you want to throw personal that insults, right? It, it just doesn't. Yeah. That's just not the type of conversations that go on. That's yes, weird. Yes, I know what they women say. Women give yeah. black little dick energy. They is not something that, that comes off the typical women. They're person. saying that they don't. They don't see it in their anecdotal groups. So that's what I'm saying. It, so it because like they don't. Person. Hold on. Hold on a second. Because y'all ain't saying a motherfucking thing, oh, and it's, it's annoying as shit. I ain't gonna lie. So. She's just saying, listen, they don't see it in an anecdotal group. So they're saying if it happened to you, it must be because they were talking to you directly. That isn't normally how they see women be talking in these spaces. But then Fatty was saying, if you go to Shade Room and look at the comments, they saying little dick energy, this, that, and the third. Right? So it's out here in the public. So Black Dragon said he's not, it doesn't mean it had to happen to him for, for him to understand that it happens. That's it. That's Lucky, yeah, what's popping? That's it. Jeez. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. What's goody? I'm good. I'm just trying to catch up on the conversation. So it seemed like we talking about body count and little dick energy. Am I getting it correct? Mm-hmm. No, nah, we kind of went off oh, the right race. Yeah. Laura, I don't even know how we got there. We went left. I think somebody was well. unpacking trauma. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we... Gave me language again. Here we go. All right. I mean, it started out with does body count matter, you know, and and to Dana, I want to ask, like, what makes you or why do you not believe that we care about body count? Like, what makes you think we don't believe or don't care about it? I'm going to I'm going to give this to Lucky. Lucky, the question is on the table. Do you think that men care about body count? Oh, absolutely. Why said, absolutely. Why yeah, absolutely. I think because um, even from like cousins and stuff, I've always heard it shows the behavior. So um, it's, it's not necessarily like, you know, those women who say, oh, this is in my past. It's more so it shows a track record of how promiscuous you are, or how loose you could be in a situation. And that behavior and that mindset doesn't just go away. 
So I think it matters, but I think there's no way to determine what her body count is. So I think behavior matters above all because you could have a high body count and based on the way you conduct yourself, the way you articulate yourself in the rooms you're in, nobody would probably know. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily, and you have the women who get told that they have a high body count just by the way that they dress. And that's not accurate. You know what I'm saying? So I would say the behavior matters more than body count, but men would say body count matters, but there's no way for them to know what your body count is. And and look, just to clarify, because that, that's a good point. Do you believe that it's less likely for her body count to match her behavior, or you think it's more likely that her body count would match her behavior? So uh, I understand. I understand you clarify possibilities, but let's say, what's the probability of things? Um, I would say it's environment. So let's say you have the the woman At, who Atlanta. I would say yes. Or I'm from South Central. I would say yes. But if you are a woman who, let's say you're a businesswoman, that doesn't mean you don't get around, but you carry yourself a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not, your environment doesn't uphold that. So I think it's based on environment, how people act based on the terminology they use more so, you know what I'm saying? Their body count. Okay. So they they had sex with a lot of men. You can't make a determination whether or not her conduct is going to show that it's strictly based on what she does for work, where she lives, who she's around, etc. I would say, yeah. So then the conduct, yeah. so then the conduct point kind of gets, it gets eradicated by that then, right? If, if, if we're saying her environment matters more than the amount of bodies. Well, I think, how, go ahead. I, are we saying conduct because I use the word behavior? Yeah. Okay. So when I say behavior, I mean. What you do when nobody's watching continuously do, that's your behavior. Whether or not pe whether or not you wear it, you can mask it well. That's still your behavior. I think once somebody gets close enough to you or like your friends or like things like that, then they can probably size your behavior. But as far as if she's wearing her whoreness, that and how she wears it to say, oh yeah, this is a hoe and this one isn't, it's all based on visual. You know what I'm saying? So to mm -hmm. determine that without getting to know somebody is based on, how they portray it but you would have to actually be in a personal setting with that woman to determine if her behavior is whole like or not you get what i'm saying so you could still have a behavior that does not display to everyone else just like on these panels people could put their best foot forward that doesn't mean that their behavior is not showing or sometimes people behave in ways for attention that doesn't mean that they're actually doing those things you get what i'm saying so yeah, I, I understand. Say, it's sounding a little bit semantical to me. Okay. Because it's you're saying it's only in private that you can you can tell what her tendencies are. Yeah. I just don't. I that that would that would break down trigger Mike's. Uh, well, that's the best assessment. It, it's not the only one, but it's going to be the best one. You know, who you are when nobody's looking is probably who you are. It is yeah. who you are. So I would just ask how how are men what are they looking at to determine it's a hoe? Habits. Like what? Like yeah. describe a habit that would say, oh, that's a hoe. That's what I said. Other, than, other than having sex. Un unsettled. Definitely. Okay, go ahead. No, I was going to say definitely going out every night because that's one of my problems with dealing with women. It's like a lot of women I meet because I was in the bar scene. So a lot of girls I was meeting are at the bar. And then you realize when you're trying to maybe potentially build a relationship with a woman like that she's a continuous part of you like she's she's going out every night she's going to atlanta she's going to miami she's doing a lot of stuff that i i'm just not willing to lock down but so at that point i'm looking at it right that's that's not that's not quite what my i don't think that's what mike was alluding to so let me give you guys this analogy see if this helps so i use this before right football is the only thing that makes sense in every situation y'all should play football if you got a chance no so there's not even real football <laughs> <laughs> so if i go into a bar right look everybody and there's two cats talking about football within 20 seconds i know if they play football or not i know if they actually understood football when i'm around cats that like wasn't getting no cheeks it, it's a difference so what mike's saying is there's a difference it ain't about when you get in her bedroom there's a difference. Not even the shit that Twizzy said. It's just a difference. Cats who played, cats who didn't play. Cats who's getting cheap, cats who weren't. So wouldn't it be, just to say, 
So if you take a woman on a date, wouldn't it be the 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 way she have conversations? It would be body language. It would also be how soon from this date is she willing to fuck me? Right? Mm -hmm. So what based off this date? Was there a build up to us getting to know each other before this date and she fucked me? Or is this just, hey, pull up? You know what I'm saying? I think that would determine when I say a personal setting because out and about, I wouldn't say a girl going out every night or going out means she's a hoe. I think because men look at certain things and say, hey, she's a hoe, they're dismissing women who aren't actually hoes just because we're in a society where m women can wear the same clothes as someone else. You get what I'm saying? So I would say, <laughs> then you have the women who I would know that I work with some, they dress very respectful, but those women are ratchet as hell. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're if you're dismissing women based on them going out, and I'm just using as an example, but you can have, I, I would say it, it, it's based on conversation and as you're getting to know that person, whether it be on a date, how soon can you fuck? And I wouldn't even, I, that's only a percentage of that because she could fuck you on the first night and may not fuck him. So look, what do you, you know what, what do you, I understand, but you're saying everything. <laughs> meaning, meaning your, what you just mentioned was how can you deserve, determine by getting in her bedroom? I'm saying you don't have to necessarily lay down. It's the conversations you're having. So if we're dismissing women just off them going out, that means you're not even opening the door to have a conversation. You get what I'm saying? I you're understand going that. Strictly based off visual. I understand that point. But if Twizzy's looking for um, a, a, a wife and he's a bartender oh. or a bouncer, and she in the middle of the club from 10 a.m. 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Is that the environment? Exactly. Does she not I mean, deserve? Why would Twizzy be looking for a wife at the bar? Well, no, I'm but, just but, saying that's where I'm meeting women. That's but, the place I was around. On, Twiz, but look, that's what I'm saying. You saying everything. He's not going to have a conversation because of the environment she's in. But you just said he should at least have a conversation. But that he but then see you just saying you're saying everything. Right. Okay. Because okay, let's just take this. In look, look, if look. I'm slow down. Fight, slow down. I am. I'm going off with you guys. You sleepy point. girl. Go ahead. I'm not. So if he's saying I'm looking for a wife and my environment is the bar, then I would have to say based on his and off his analogy, he's going to be passing up ninety percent of the women in there because they're going to dress a certain way and they're there to have a good time and they probably dance and twerk and do all of that. So if you're if you're going based off that to say this person is a wife, I have to check the environment you're going in. Unless you're going to take her outside of that setting to see how she act. You get what I'm saying? What if she yeah, frequents that environment though? That, that's that's not, more what I'm talking about. Yeah, but with all the respect, you guys, you guys are the with all the respect. You you guys a lot of times women know that he's a piece of shit dude and you never fuck him, you never talk. Like you can see his presence on social media, how does he move, how he talks about sex, how he talks about women. You actually can get a fair assessment even before talking with you don't fuck him because again, women are dressing like hoes, posting on social media like hoes. They are doing a lot of things that even without opening their mouth, just for me to look at your social media presence, if you have 3,000, 7,000, 10,000 followers, promiscuity and whole behavior usually is tied with attention seeking behavior. You usually quickly find out, okay, is this woman an attention seeker? If she's an attention seeker, she's looking for man validation and she's probably going to suck his dick more times than not if the guy is valuable enough. We don't have a hundred percent proof she's conservative, she's a hoe. There's a lot of librarians, teachers that are hoes and dress conservative, don't have social media, not nothing. We're just saying on a balance of probabilities, there's going to be external factors that are going to show you that she's a hoe way before you actually talk with her and she been on a nightclub on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, shaking their ass like usually is a very fair um and, uh, metric to consider yeah. a hoe. And, and then we're saying, and we're saying that's, oh, that's let me that's add to his point real quick. Let me add to his point. The way men hold on, hold on. The, the way men get better at this is if you're gonna get if you're single and you want to get better at having sex with women, you're gonna understand all of this outright. You're gonna have to understand how to differentiate the hoes from the good girls, the girls that fuck quick and the girls that don't. There are dudes that can literally go out every night and sleep with a new woman, so they have discernment on. These are the ones that go and these are the ones that say no. You get better at it with age. Um, the attention seeking behavior is like literally that's like 100 uh, percent. 
in some way, shape, or form, whether it's uh, overt or covert, she will have some kind of attention-seeking behavior. It's a gift. That, uh, that so I'm the yeah. one all over the place, but I'm trying to understand everybody. No, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me land this one. Um, right. I'm so I've noticed that these women are willing to engage in explicit conversations. Oh, the they do things like send unsolicited nudes because they think you want to. You, you'll you develop a profile on a woman. That's why it might take a little time, but no. It, 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 like, well, we're talking about like the women third week artist. Like, what he said was like when he's just women at the Yeah, but I mean, where are we meeting these women? That's what I'm saying. You're not meeting these women. You happen to meet up with these women or go book past these women in these places, common places. But you're basing it off of well, I met this woman at a bar, talked to her, and she seemed like she was a little, a little doing the most. No, that's not even what I said. I, it's not even about talking to her. It's about seeing this girl every weekend at the same bar, getting drunk and passing out at two o'clock in the like. That's the type of girl that you know. Yeah, and, and like you said, that's right. easy. That's easy, of course. Would you say he's work, he working there? He was working yeah, in the bar. But that's not. I'm not talking about We like the same bar. We like the same bar. I was about to say, even about, still, I go it, to bars. Yeah, go to the same bar. The, the, the bar but might but be the conversation. My conversation with you off of a, a bar conversation. The reason yeah, I brought up bars is because where do you meet I, women? One second, one second. Hey, one second, bar. please. What are you not talking about? The, the, the problem is that the and bar is the lowest. not going past the bar. Can we have a serious conversation instead of a yeah. gotcha moment? The bar right. is the that lowest. One second, it please. Let me just finish you. Let me finish you. You can understand. He used the bar as an example, but knowing women and how they actually discuss and argue is a bad example because they're going to use that as a lower common denominator. Why are you looking at women at the bar? You should know better. Like, so let's forget the bar. Let's go, exactly. let's go to the church. Let's go to the park. Let's go right. to the but library. At the church and at the park, the you would have a different example. type of conversation. That's my point. The setting prompts the conversation. At a bar, me personally, if I engage with a nigga at a bar and we're going to have a conversation, nigga, you're buying my drinks and I'm not talking to you after I leave. Simple as that. But if That's I could have that. a conversation with you after, I'm not about to talk to you this whole time I'm at the bar. Sliding you my number or my business card and I'm keeping it pushing. And if you would like to meet up with me further and get to know me further, then you're going to move accordingly. If you don't, that's fine. Is it different at the grocery store or anywhere else? Same thing at the grocery store. I pass really? out my business card everywhere. Business so that's card. what I'm saying. So it doesn't matter no where point. you are. So then so why the would point. that matter? That's the point. Yeah, hmm. I don't know what... Uh, that's the point. What's the point? I don't know no. what everybody's arguing. I'm trying to let it play out, but it's terrible. I'm more still saying there are examples the of the type of women you don't want to date, and it's easy to see. Certain the places are going to show you that. Certain situations are going to show you that. And certain actions that these women take are going right, to show you that. You're not going to have the same conversation with a woman at a bar that you're going to. You're not going to ask the woman the same question that you're going to ask her at a bar, at a <laughs> church, or at a park. Yeah. Why? Not if you're, you're having a conversation. Wrong. No, because this is not based on the first encounter. As soon as I get my phone number, I will talk with you the same way I talk with the girl in the library. Hey, where are you? Where are you? What's your age? What you've been doing? Can we settle a date? It's not about that. And yeah, let me, like, like, the same way you probably, and this is speculation, right? But for a woman, the same way a woman can, like, a woman doesn't become a hoe because she did once, uh, she met a guy once in a club and she fucked. A hoe is a pattern of behavior. She repeats that shit over and over again. It's not like I met you in the library. Now you suck on the really goody goody two shoes woman. No, I will see you how you act. I will talk with you and I will see this. Is this a pattern of behavior? Are you goody goody two shoes all the time? Or are you just dead because I met you in the library? It's not the same thing. Like, Patty, it's a real, pattern of behavior. Go ahead. Real quick, Fatty. The reason, but the, the patterns are often hard to um, vet right because you may not know her whatever the case is yeah so do you think that this is viable let's say you my man's right mm -hmm. and I, I and you meet a chick and you say yo i met sherry right oh, some old name that nobody named Hello, um, sherry berry sherry berry i'm feeling her i said oh i seen her at the club last week i took her home with me hmm. first night guess yes. what she is now a hold of both of us yes but that's the, that's what the best way to predict the future is to look at the past. What this seems like is well, like he's trying I'm to get to the one night encounter. Let me go back to you. Already, go yeah, let me go back to you. Let me go back to you. 
like what Lucky seems like he wants is a like a definitive answer. How can you guys tell if she's a hoe when there's hoes on this and there's hoes on that? And what I'm telling to you is that there's no way to define a hoe, but the best <clears throat> way for me to predict the predict the future is to look at the past. And if she went with M on the first day. For whatever reason, I assume it's not the first time she did that shit, and I assume it's not the last time she's going to do it. So I'm going to put her on a old category, even though I have no track record or whatever she's going on. That's how men we will. This is probability. It's possible that she's not the whole and MP so special that she gave it up on the first day. Possible. Is it possible? P probable? Absolutely not. Yeah. You yeah. Better say okay. Sorry, so I, yeah. the conversation is everything. Um, I talk. I mean, I just didn't do a lot of talking, but. When you talk to a, a, a woman who's who's um, younger, or well, me being my age, you talk to a woman who's younger, you know she's uh, she doesn't have a, a plethora of experiences because her range and how she answers a question is limited to, I don't know, well, that's a thing. Oh, da, 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 da. So when we're talking about a woman with a low body count, it's relatively the same thing. You're not gonna get every single thing that comes out of your mouth if you've had so much experience, right? They're just not gonna get the joke, they're not gonna get the innuendo. Versus one when a woman who is more promiscuous, who who's not only going to get the joke, but has several jokes of her own. Um, there's uh, how she looks at and perceives men. It's uh, whether or not she's looking for a man or men, or if she's talking to a man or men. Um, it's talking about how she dresses. Does she dress to mostly get attention all day long? Because if she's getting attention all day long, she's still on the market. If she has a boyfriend or you know she had a boyfriend, but she cheated on him anyway... There's a telltale sign right there. We get to know you over a period of time. It is not a, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you're a hoe. Yeah, you're not. That's not how this works. And that's not what any man up here is saying. What we are saying is we get to know you by listening to how you talk and refer to us men. You're dealing with a man or you're dealing with a group of men, more than one man. This is my food date. This is my uh, child care date. This is my baby daddy. Da -da 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 -da. We, we know uh, how you act and behave toward one man, you can project on into others. Unfairly, my, my dad, oh, well, all men ain't this, all men ain't that. We know where you come from by the language that you use, how you dress, how you perceive men, and, and how you talk to us. You know so right. much about women for a nigga who ain't getting no pussy, it sound like to me. Who said he ain't getting no, no pussy? Dana, please, come on now. Don't. No, 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 it's fine. No, it's it's fine. Mike, Mike, uh, do you know, do you know she's the first person to to tell me to my face, like, honestly, hey, man, you just, you just, like, got a low body count. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll take it. I didn't say you I mean, had a low yeah. body count. Yeah, I mean, you said I wasn't getting any pussy. That must be a low body count. Not today. I told not you that, today. too, baby. I know, I know, but hey, I'll I'll take it as a win. You know, if I don't, if I don't have that look, you know, I'll take it. I corrected take it, win. it though. Take it win. No, let him take his win. Take it win. Yeah. Well, I had to correct it once I got the info. I mean, that's but, really how it is, though. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you ain't lying. Yeah, you see, exper we experience you like all day long at work at the gym. We see the same girl at the we see the same girl at the gym. We see the same girl that's at the barista. We see the same girl at work. We see the same girl at the grocery store. We we experience you all day long, and then we can tell us you're not dating us. You you're around us. No, but saying your your character shows from your actions. You in the same fucking so we both get ice cream, and now you know what the fuck is on my mind. Are you kidding me? No, no one is. No one said that's exactly what. No, no one said y'all love to so tell now us we know you exactly. now we know you don't listen no, i'm not done i'm not done y'all love to tell us exactly what we think y'all love to tell us exactly how we feel y'all love to tell us exactly how we act and y'all don't know a motherfucking thing and that's very evident by the way you we kind of do we kind of do we do we're listening we to you we know, we know because we confront women and we well, experience we get y'all to have sex with us we know a lot about y'all we know a lot about y'all yeah if y'all are no if y'all are the ones always getting duped if y'all are the ones always getting taken so, care so here, of, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Wait, I don't wait, know wait, what wait. I don't know what world you live in where you think that you, your no, men and women live on planet Earth together for generations, and you think you understand us, and we don't understand y'all. Like, I where do you I live? Understand you. I don't understand you. I don't understand you. At all right. All. Let me say this. Let me say this real quick, please. Uh, I, 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 and I know they correct me all the time, but I'm just like, this shit is. It is very odd to me. I can't front with y'all. EBD, Trigger Mike, some of the shit y'all was saying, I'm like, that's What's real? Weird, like, bro. I don't that's even, weird. like, 
And I know fatty, I know y'all get on me when I say this type of shit, but I just I do not understand it. Like I don't get it. What like, part with how this shit yeah, what, be like you what saying part are you talking looking about? at this and looking at that and looking at yeah. this? Yeah. Like and then we were even saying like like what Trigger Mike just said, but we are also said that women choose they want to fuck us before we even open our mouth. Yes, and, and then I agree yeah. with you. It's arrogance because you know what's up? If I put Lucky on the room with a hundred men, she yeah. can literally bamboozle 98 of them. All these, I understand you. And da 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 da. Woman, like woman in general, know way more about men than men know about women. And this is all fun and games. I can look at you. I, I'll, I'll literally set up Mr. Black Dragon. And I, there's a buddy. Like, he's, I appreciate it. But, 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 Fatty, are you saying we know that? So, like, when we, when we approach these hoes, like, what do you, like, are we saying, oh, she's a hoe. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting at her tonight. No, we just go get the one we want, right? Sometimes we do if we know she's easy for sure. And, and it's not even that because you can think right. she's a hoe. She put it on you. You wake up and she cook for you and clean that shit, and you're like, "Oh, is she a hoe? I don't know. Maybe I should take a seat." Like, is like a woman needs to do two or three little things for you to really start questioning: Is she a hoe or is she? Not? She, she sounds pretty cool. We're laughing. She's cooking. She's checking on me. She's she's like. We men no. are so gullible. We are gullible. And the what fact I'm that saying, we're we vetting if they hoes or not, though. Oh, um, the vetting the vetting takes longer. This it, it's the sex that we don't care about. You we nobody cares if you a hoe we having sex on the first night, sex. on the first day, right? And, it's, and when it's, when, it's when it's when we're wait, it's when we're taking you seriously. It's when we think we're gonna get somewhere, like we're dating, like this is actually becoming a, a, a thing. Okay. Then we yeah. get to know you, then we start vetting. Then we uh, watch out for the whole tendencies. There. That doesn't make okay. sense to y'all. So black that dragon, no, that, no, that makes sense. That fair. makes sense. So I'm just saying when we trying to. No, I'm talking about to the girls. Not, they look at their faces right now. Fuck, like what's she doing? How, like I'm just trying to go. Like, and I ain't even in the club. Like what Trigger Mike was saying. Okay, okay. Who, who, who can I smash? If I like her, I'm going over there. Right. Right. The uh, dragon. This makes sense. But the thing is, we been here for four years, mm -hmm. giving. Girls, the answers to the que the to the the answers to the questions of the test. Yes, you have to be feminine and friendly, right. and you don't deny sex, and you need to be. How dumb we need to be, and how arrogant that they didn't take the notes. They know, know all the things that you have to do, and just come to you. I'm feminine and friendly, and I just like come on, man. These women are smart. They might not be a very, very, very intelligent. They might not want to understand you, but they want. They know how to game you. That's the thing. Men don't know how to game woman, but they understand woman. Woman know how to game men without understanding men. That's the difference between both of us. We kind of understand how they function, but we can bamboozle them like that if you're not like one of those 20% of guys that have sex in general. But I will agree that 80% of the woman can go to men and just run them like, like running, uh, making them look crazy because they thought they had all the answers and they knew everything about it until she actually puts on him. And now you have a problem because he doesn't have the right discernment to figure right. out if she's a whore or not. Daddy, Daddy, I just for clarification. Did you say that men don't game women? 25 20 percent of men can game women. The men that are fucking in large can game women. Before, like after that, that twenty percent, all those men will be lucky to get the sexual crumb for any woman around. They would be lucky. They would like, oh, so, can I skip so, it? Get it. Go ahead. So that means the four years that you just mentioned, I'm I'm considering, I'm I'm thinking that you're mentioning like this manosphere red pill talk, right? Yes, so and these majority, majority, just just to make so, it clear, these okay. men are the most prepared men on the planet. Imagine the average man that never had access to these panels, these conversations, Kevin Samuels, and all that. Even these men come here. I will never date a baby mama. One year later, marrying a fucking baby mama. I will never marry a woman that is overweight. One year later, Matthew, like we like it. You go well, ahead. The reason, yeah. why, the reason why I want to, and this is not to spat, but just to kind of add really to fair. the conversation. Because if, if if I heard Hamp say that, I think, on my channel or a few times about men not getting no pussy. You just yeah. said pretty much men not getting no pussy. If mm -hmm. men for the last four years was giving us the game from a standpoint of not getting no pussy, couldn't women kind of consider a lot of the points that they're saying is to shame women to be in a low self-esteem point so that they can give men that never no. would fuck a chance nope. to fuck? Because... Nope. 
if we're right. listening, if we're saying men who ain't getting women is giving us the game, how are they giving us game? I don't think those are the ones giving game. It's the men getting women that are giving game. Because the men that are getting the women listen to these men and they say, "Oh, what the fuck are they talking about?" No, well, it's not. No, he's not that because no, he's not that. Not that. He's not that. There, there's a giant majority of men that can get pussy like that. The advice that was made is how to keep a woman. Remember, how to get a woman is one thing. How to keep a woman is one is another thing. And the reality is, the 15 men, the 15 richest men on the world, b b b b b b b b billionaires, 11 of them on the last five years got divorced. So even the high value men, the men on the upper top, are having a lot of difficulty not in getting a woman, but how to keep a woman. Go to those spookies that have three baby mamas. Go to these men that are highly promiscuous and ask, how many women can you actually keep long term without actually their shit falling through? Most men, no matter if they are poor, rich, tall, small, they are having difficulty in keeping women, not to get in women. So, Go ahead. So, wait, so what I'm trying to understand is how can you give game to teach men or women to get something that you can't keep you can't obtain so that means that you're just talking off what you think hold on and also based on what you're saying if you're saying even the men who have the access can't keep a bitch then i would then wouldn't that be an internal problem as to why you can't keep a woman or get a woman how is it then a conversation about what women need to do so if a homosexual can, okay okay let's go there if a homosexual can keep a woman the average man can keep a woman and a billionaire can keep a woman is a problem on a man or on a woman. If you Jeff Bezos can keep a woman, Jay Prince can keep a woman, and the average man can keep a woman, is the problem on the woman or on the man? If in, if a man can't keep a woman, the problem's on him. He's saying all these no, different no, types of men. You, you, you missed the What's point. What's the common denominator? You, you missed no. the point. If the lowest man on the totem pole can't keep a woman because he's not qualified. The average man with fifty thousand dollars can't keep a woman because she's unruly and she wants her say on the relationship. If the hyper successful man in mass can keep a woman because for whatever reason women are living woman. these marriages too, who is the common denominator? Men don't mean I'm gonna answer the same. If you can as a man can't keep a woman, the problem mm. is you. Because okay. if you just name these different categories, totally I can fine. name a lot of people these categories M. that can. I, I, even just to move even, along. Just to move on, along. Hold on. Even by way of these conversations, I can name different men that hit these panels that may be ma married. They look okay. regular as fuck to me. Do they? Are they still married? Are they keeping their woman? They totally are. Fine. So I'm totally trying to out what are we? Are we talking about the majority? It's Are we fine. The majority of men can't keep a woman, then, and then the body count shouldn't even be the no, problem. It's, it's, you know. Like he's fine. She M. Fucking, and she ain't fucking you, so the problem is you. Yes. Let me ask him this, right? M, you go mm -hmm. to a skating rink, right? You go yeah. to Central Park, right? Mm -hmm. You put a, a pair of uh, what do they call the the thing that you put on your feet so you can Skate. ride on ice? Skate. Skates, okay? I skate. You give those skates to a beginner. He falls on his face. You yeah. give the, 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 the skates to somebody that has a little bit of experience. He falls on his face. You give the skates to an Olympic, like an Olympic athlete. He falls on his face. Who is the, what is the common denominator there? The skates. Thank you. That's what we're talking about. If Bill Gates can keep a bitch, Jeff Bezos can keep a bitch, all those billionaires can keep a bitch, rich people, athletes, strong people, short people, what is the common denominator? I see the point. I understand the point. Yeah, I understand the point. Do y'all what y'all think about Lucky's point that she made though? Um, in terms of the cats giving advice, do they have the results? You don't have Just to generally, go, generally speaking. You like don't have when to you look in the space to explain what the moon is. I use this example all the time. It's good for you to have experience, but that a lot of winners that can't tell you how they got there. And there's a lot of losers that actually can explain you how they lost there. For example, for you to get good business advice, you have to go to both. You have to go to the upper successful yeah. guy that is running his business right. And you have to go to the guy that doesn't have the results and say, why do you lose your business? Yeah. What happened there? So we can yeah. explain you the defaults of both. You can get information from a, a bum. You can information from a hyper successful man. I think we shouldn't discard none of the information. But I will derive towards the guy with success, yeah. of course. Because he's then, actually the guy that he's then, when people use the term manosphere, I'm always thinking they're conflating two things. What I thought manosphere was is the dudes that are not even worried about relationships, 
to begin with. They said fuck That's relationship. That's what I thought. Entirely. They're yeah. like, look, you can focus on you. These bitches ain't shit. Like, you see what I'm saying? So I, I'm not, I don't know that Manosphere is men giving advice about relationships, you know, but because these dudes like fresh and fit is like, worry about you, your bag. These bitches ain't shit. Fuck them. Discard them. I thought they right? were red. Well, yeah, they're red pill, but they say more so it's not discard them, but it's worry about your own stuff so that you don't have to deal with the bullshit. That's what it is. Like you still and, are trying to really get women. Any man, like I was gonna say, any man that has done that successfully, and unfortunately, that is how men scale anything in life. Worry about your own business. The second you're able to put pussy on the back burner, you will become a fucking god out here in the street. So, it's it's more than that it's um it's a whole what we what we're encountering now is a whole navigational space of how young men should be moving and and uh giving them the playbook that the older generations never gave to us um we have to learn the hard way um those of us who are 40 30 whatever it is right for the first time on youtube now you have a conglomerate of men who's lived a life experience of dating and being married and experience with women from different um genres and age range and groups having the shared uh the same shared experience of negative results of what happens when women leave and uh the results of having a high body count and the results uh versus uh two virgins that got married or two people with a low body count that got married where are they today um, like you have all these studies and you have all these notes and this is what we calculate and get. So when we have these uh, panel discussions, it's based off of what we're looking at today in the modern era. It's not just numbers that we made up. It's actual studies of watching people's behavior uh, throughout time and throughout history. Now we can all just look it up somewhere and find out like facts and figures all day long. And this is what we're telling you, not from the stats and studies, but our real life experiences as well. Like we know now I do know what a low body count woman acts and behaves versus a high one. Now I didn't know the difference. Now I do. And I identify these things and characteristics over a period of time for some <laughs> women over 20 years. All right, let me read these real quick. As Abe said, bring Dana back. Well, she never, she never got kicked, but we appreciate the love. Come on, I'm broke, baby. I ain't got no money. Bullshit. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. <laughs> Which doctor was popping? Like 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 I need to update your audio, man. Hey, Fatty, can you drop a DJ Wig Doctor um, uh, YouTube in the chat? Hit up the Witch Doctor, man. And you can play all this shit. They don't flag it or none of that shit. Sean Brew with the five dollars says, Semen be having women pH off, and that's box funky. It's amazing college women don't know how long semen stays alive in them. Five to seven days. Learn your body. I learned all right, John, I got you. Credit. <laughs> As A with the two dollars, Dragon is comparing himself at those orgies. Go you with the two dollars. I don't want to call y'all stupid, but it's not easy. John Henry with the five dollars. As A bring your pockets in next time, the timeouts are relevant. <laughs> as A with the five dollars. So Lucky was listening after all to the men's talking points. She went both ways. Lucky knows she doesn't believe a man can tell. She is straddling. Striking at rich with the two pounds says, Is there such a thing as high body count energy? <laughs> Interesting. As yeah. Abe with the two dollars says, Dana, she agreed with your point after all. Uh, Rebel Rose with the five says, Lucky is right. So, men, make it more about how women align with your purpose and how she respects you because you won't truly know her body count. Or Mac with the five dollars says, If I keep my house clean when people come over, but when I'm alone, I don't. Am I a clean person? In reference to the presentation point of the combo. Hmm. Interesting the point. Devin Devin no, check, check that car out. You'll tell if she's a clean yeah, person. The trunk. The trunk. EBD analogy was perfect, which people could grasp. As A with the final says, women will play like they know nothing with the long dress and hijab. And later, much later, you find it 304. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know trust and women are smarter. John the Baptist with the file says, Lux description of modern women sounds like women are, are in camouflage. John Henry with the 20 ball says, 
20 with the 20 ball says women know who they want to sleep with before they get out of the bed in the morning if you get her time you're either who she wants or an acceptable alternative and even then it's still in uncertainty bread and butter with the 10 ounces black dragon finally kills the quote unquote how can you know she's a hoe so soon argument by breaking it down that men are referring to a pattern dana's response is immediately to insult him shaking my head as Abe with the two dollars says at DJ, play the backpedal thing for Fatty Dragon and Twizzy. What they backpedal from? And from something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> like that. John was popping with the 20 ball. He says, chill, Hamp. Trigger literally has the results. A man that's winning in this jaw on the panel set f you fatty is right ellipsis it doesn't matter who you are women's emotions dictate what they hear wow damn damn, damn. Brother, brother, brother. damn. Mm, mm, mm. i don't even know how we got here necessarily but know. it happened lucky would you tuned in for the majority of it or not nah? Went to bed. Yeah, I heard the initial question and stuff like that, and then I was in and out about. Yeah. Um, I think you asked them what's their value worth or things like that, and then yeah, I like, like a little bit. your body. Yeah, how you how you value your body? Um, have you shown that you value your body? Um, if you you know black women say they're the most unprotected, et cetera, et cetera. We look at the SED rate, so on and so forth. If nobody else values your body, should you, you know? Yeah. Um, and what you, what should you require in order to get access to your body? You know. So we just went down kind of down that path, and then it got to body count. <laughs> so, yeah, that's when I came back. Like, wait, what what, what happened to the conversation? Yeah. Well, I guess that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that's definitely a path. But I think the ladies did a great job of kind of staying on the path we were on because that path was actually more difficult than the body count. We talk about this type of shit all the time. You know what I mean? But the initial path was 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 a little bit heavier. Were they lying, though? Uh, I don't think they were lying when oh, they uh, said it. Oh, I, I'm against the sexual liberation thing. They were lying. No, well, so my question was, what are the, what were the benefits of it? Right, like damn, yeah, like, shit. <laughs> no, there were no, there were women on the panel when we asked. So you guys are all against sexual liberation. The only thing a woman that actually talked was Dana said, "Nah, I don't care with that shit." We were lying. We we'll that shit later. Yeah, she was lying. And and the fun and the fuck the part is that you try to disqualify men on this place because they don't have enough experience or they have a lot of experience, so it shouldn't be on the table. But. What the feel that I get that women come on this place is not to learn about men, is how to actually game men. How, how can I come here and like, can you guys catch me? Can you guys catch me if I do this and this and this? Are you guys going to actually figure out that I'm doing some bullshit? This is the feel that I get from most women on this place. They're not here to learn how to actually take care of a man, care for a man, do all that. They are here to say, if I did something to, the, to you, would you be able to understand if I'm a whole or I'm a normal woman and all that? That's all that is. All so here, that is. Eddie, here's what I. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was. I was just gonna say because he said they're not here to learn. Y'all also aren't here to teach, and most of the conversations is more about fighting or saying what you are. I, I don't really hear an abundance of conversations. Like not not. There's been some people where you mm -hmm. open the floor to even understand the psychology of that particular person. I don't think anybody on these panels could learn how to treat their mate other than their mate teaching them and being cooperative with that person. I couldn't learn how to be a good woman to a, to a man in my real life by listening to y'all. That's okay, a lot. So well, well, don't so fight can you tell us one question. man that actually can teach you? Can you tell us one man on this place? Uh, let, let, me, let me say That's this, though. Hell, I've learned a lot about what not to do from people here, which is learning. That's you can learn from other people's right. experiences. That's so let's not, uh, so let's no, not but, act like that. But let me say the base um, level of respect too for men. Like let as me say this. No, hey, 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 before before you go, every yeah. man on this panel can say that they learn something from other men. That's yeah. how yeah. humble we are. I'm here. I don't know all the shit. 
I'm okay. here to learn from these people. That's, lucky, you, 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 uh, lucky, you don't have one man that you said these men teach me something on I this said, place, I Nana. That there were a few, and I understand this panel. Okay, tell me one name. Um, that I is not your friend. What that is not your friend. Let's go with that. One man that is that you learn from that is not your friend. Oh, yeah. Kevin Simmons. Okay, the man was two oh. times divorced. So Everybody's you, 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 so no 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 pause. I did that to make a point. If that motherfucker can tell you about relationship with Tuchel marriage, M can do it. Trigger Mike can do it. Black yeah, Dragon can do it. I can do it. Hang on, have you cool. not learned anything while on this panel? You've learned that nothing new. No point. new information. No, nothing at all. Yeah. No, I've heard these talks yeah. before. Let me uh say this to what Fatty was saying. Uh when the ladies were saying that they are against sexual liberation. Do you what I believe they were saying is they actually know that it's wrong, but they participated anyway because they don't think they're gonna get consequences for it, which I believe is worse. So yeah, I think a lot of women know that shit's wrong. I I think most women know most of their behavior. There's like an alarm on that shit that's gonna go off and society's not gonna accept it anymore. So we better get what we can out of this shit now before the party's over. So I think that's really more so what they meant. Like, yeah, I know this shit is wrong. But, you know, I partake in it because nobody's going to shame me. I think that's the way most women feel about that. And I think right. that the fact that most women, but I don't think that's what that's any woman on this panel said. Final thought? Is that your final thought or not? I mean, you can ask them. Why don't you ask them? They right there. I, no, I'm is that how y'all feel? Because we're not about to we're not about to start a whole no conversation off this. Oh shit. my god, we never about to do nothing with Dana. Is she? <laughs> we always not. I I'll I'll tell you something about when it comes to like trying to find someone to get married. I mean, you do want a discernment as far as who you want to marry. If you're responsible as a man for taking care of that woman for the rest of your life beyond your own life, the vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, health insurance or whatever life insurance you better have discernment and you don't want someone that's going to up and leave just because of their feelings you want someone in it for you they don't want your stuff they don't want your money they don't want your house they don't want your lifestyle the woman just wants the man it's the purest form of 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 reciprocation and love and genuine respect that you know two people can have for one another and it doesn't even need marriage either it comes way before the marriage. The woman that gets the ring is the winner. Everybody else that I messed with before lost that contest. I don't, yeah, I dealt with her tonight, tomorrow, whatever, but she's not forever. The wedding ring is forever. That's what women are not respecting these days. And look it's at whenever I feel like it. it. It's whenever I feel like it rather than forever. Oh, Making it seem like it's whatever she feels like. The ring. Like, what about she like, just she won, she got what she wanted. If she wants to be there, if she wants to be there, what were you saying, Yana? What were you saying? Like, what was your point? What were you saying? I was just asking the question, like, it is getting never mind because Michael, never mind. No, what was your no, what was your question that you had? I mean, this legit. I'm gonna be. I'm going to be honest with y'all. You got to make more concise points. They don't get to grasp the point. And then when Lucky says, yeah, I ain't learning shit because the point takes like, too long to get to the end. Yeah, like I feel like this was supposed to be like, it was supposed to, what, what, what was the woman's body? We talked about the woman's yeah. body, but I feel like a lot in between there got like misconstrued or just going to the topic of y'all are whores. This was all, was this was, this was a different... There was just two sides to a conversation, and that was it. I don't think there was much to I just, learn. Though. I just wanted to clarify for you, Ham. It ain't that I didn't learn nothing because these people aren't smart people. I just heard this before. It doesn't really get to, you hear men say, and I, I respect what he's saying about, you know, it's about depth. It's about all these other qualities, discernment. But when you hear an abundance on the panel, men are dismissing women if they don't fit the weight requirement. If she has this, if she has that. So they're not even picking women first and foremost off of her mindset or who she really is as a person. They're you eliminating all in as a, the same a thing yeah. in reverse. You get what I'm saying? So it's like doing it to each other. So am I going to learn from that other than to get the hell out of the situation and just but kind of, you get what I'm saying? There's And, and when I, with Kevin Samuels, it wasn't that I heard something um, where I could say he taught me about relationships. It was more on the other aspect to understand my dynamic with different people in my life. You get what I'm saying? So when we talking about learning, it would have to be something that gives me wisdom that I could take from 
nothing in this conversation, you know what I'm saying, really just you took yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, I, I learned that today. I didn't really, you know. So we have yeah, fans. I, I just to clarify, you talking about the entire show or like this segment? No, no, I enjoyed the, this segment when I came in. That's why I okay, was okay. the body count conversation. Got you, got you, got you. I mean, we don't had this conversation about three hundred thousand times. Like that's why you're not gonna hear nothing new. So, whoa, and do whoa. you wait, wait, wait? If do you under okay? You, y'all all been here before I have. Y'all been talking about this subject for hours. Do the three of you women now fully and one hundred percent understand why body count matters to men? What do you mean the three? What did I give off where you thought I didn't understand why body count wasn't important? You could just say yes. I, it's it's you, you. <laughs> No, I couldn't have because if you frame a question now, do y'all it makes yeah, you just rope this all in? No, no, no. Do you do you all understand why body count matters no to men? That we didn't understand. The it was just the fact no. of why does it? Do each matter? of you individually understand? Yeah, don't take it personal, no. please. Like, yeah, it, it, it's just a, it, it's it's a genuine question because you you you're, you're saying you're, 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 you understand the the point that y'all. I think it was that here's 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 the key all right all right i don't all right so let, let's just wow well ladies here's the thing because you ain't really asking shit because they don't they don't they don't agree so the, the question is moot to them so here's here's what you guys need to understand men aren't as delusional as you guys think i think this is one thing that you guys can take away we know that none of y'all hoes is virgins point blank period we understand that we understand that if you've been fucking with niggas since you've been 16, 17, 18, two niggas a year, you're going to have 20, 30 niggas under your belt. We not stupid. We understand and we take acceptable losses all the time. So that's one thing that maybe y'all don't clearly hear, but we know that y'all catching bodies because it's 2024. Niggas doing all types of wow shit. A nigga can be a bitch. So we not we not surprised by a woman having 20 25 bodies and you might got to get with her. You just trying to take pick the best of what you got to pick from. Point blank period. Um I, I think the part cuz I'm very particular when you say words. When you say y'all, I'm not being disrespectful. I, I never about you. Anybody. You said you understand it from the get go. So when you I'm being you understand from the get go. You said you were understand from the get go. You already conceded. You said I understand. Man, I should care about it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You can answer so that you understand. understand. What, what are you asking? What are you asking? She don't want to be grouped in with the bullshit. Address her correctly. That's so what about the said. other girl? So we know Lucky understand it. What about Stop the other talking? Girl? Wait, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm confused. Who me? Yeah, what are you saying? No, I was just clarifying this whole time when he asked the question. He said, "So, do any of you three ladies understand now?" I wasn't offended. I was just correcting him that I came in understanding. So he's addressing me as though I didn't understand, and I'm saying I did. That that yeah. was it. But and, and, now it's like, and the and the reason why Black Dragon, that's why I shut the question down is because you're saying, "Do they understand why now body count matters?" They've been arguing for two hours while we've been telling them why it matters. They were saying why it shouldn't matter because you shouldn't be asking the question because the question is weird in the first place. So you no, there's not the gonna, point of the conversation. Yeah, there's not gonna be there's not gonna be a consensus there. They don't give a fuck about our concerns. I just need I them thought, to understand that we know they be fucking because it's 2024 and we're gonna find the best out of available options. Or or not. Or that's, not that's, exactly. That, yeah. that's yeah, or, yeah. or not. I, I, or I not. Or, you, or I niggas will do shit like this. Niggas will do shit like this. Like trigger Mike and don't even ask because you only want to go down that fucking rabbit hole, right? Or that, just that, go somewhere else. What it is. No, no. The reason the reason why I even ask the question is because that's the question I keep hearing. Well, why does body count matter? Why does body count matter? Why do you men care about body count? Da, 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 da. So that's, that's what I'm. That's why I asked exactly. the ending question yeah. after this panel, after this conversation. That's what the question was about. You like, know, hey, after after hearing all the points, exposes, after hearing all the men, your question exposes the lack of listening from our side. How so? You're you're confusing them saying. They don't, they, them asking that question, they ask them, why the fuck are you asking? Because here's my reasons for asking why the fuck are you asking? They have six different reasons to be like, why are you asking me that? Because of X, Y, and Z. They're not confused about why we say we care. They're not confused about that. That's the question. That was the question. The question is, do you understand why we care? They disagree. Yeah, but he's saying that the question doesn't matter. Yeah, Yeah, because they they disagree with why we care. 
You understand? Okay, I, I, I understand they disagree. I understand yeah. they disagree. Just because you disagree doesn't mean you can't learn anything or understand well, that's anything. Not hear. That's not the, hold on, agree, hold on, Yana. But hold on, Yana. You ain't saying nothing right now. That's yeah. not the oh, same God. point. Wow. Though. That's not the same I, point, BBD. See, you you switched your point. That wasn't the initial portion of the reason why you asked. That's what I'm saying. We ain't fucking listening. We trying to make sure that we get our point across. I'm not trying to get my point across. We all made our you point switch, tonight, right? Wait, wait, we all we, we we all made our point tonight. You just we switch all... the question though. Hang on, hang on. We all made our point tonight oh, about man. body count back and forth. The question yeah. just 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 warrants, hey, do you have a better understanding? Do you understand or have a better understanding of why body count matters to men? I don't see the disrespect. The I don't see all the extra. Know. I don't yeah, see all know. the insult. I don't see all the personal. No, I don't I extrapolate the Da Vinci code. Care. I don't That's get the Rubik's cube. I don't understand. Brother, it's not, it was not disrespectful. Is that you should have soft skills enough to actually know better, not test that shit as an exclamation point. That's all that was. It was not again that you was disrespectful. Is that you don't have soft skills enough to understand? I'm not going to throw a grenade to this three woman because I know one of them is going to be offended by the question that you ask. That's all that is. Just move along. It's fine. It's all right, fine. Let me get my final thought real quick so I can go to bed. <laughs> my final thought is that you don't know a woman's body count. But you yeah. can estimate it all right the reason i never asked my wife is because every woman that i've messed with that was promiscuous volunteered the information the reason you can estimate it is because you're a man and you know men and understand men and she's a woman and she likes to talk so get her talking he will tell you anything in the course of conversation that you want to know promiscuous women are sexually arrogant they will tell you anything you want to know all right so you just talking about random dudes she's dated. You know men do not stick around for a certain amount of time without sex. So if she say, I had this one guy I was dating. Okay, John's on the list. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon's on the list. Get them talking. <laughs> okay, like Jesus Christ, get them talking. Yeah. They will tell you their fucking body count, bro. So that's all I got to say, man, because you can't estimate it. A woman who is not promiscuous is sexually what i'm saying timid she's she's almost timid of, of of that type of shit. she's timid to touch because because she's not been touched that much all right give into your nature fellas uh lady that's been great my man ebd fatty fucking twizzy my man my african dude in the corner you've been quiet all the ladies luck Fuck you, Dana. um love you trigger you over. <laughs> all right i'm out Easy. Lucky, who Easy. called you a hoe? No, I was in the chat. They like, oh, Lucky three or four. I don't nah, care about that. You didn't, you didn't say shit. You didn't, nah, nigga. I, that, that's why I don't understand how I'm getting grouped. But it's it fine. Was, I don't, I don't yeah. necessarily agree. Let um, it go. Let but it up go. to your earlier point, I think it's relevant to this. I will say, what has us as women in these situations is definitely mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think when your self-esteem determines the value of what you'll give and who you'll give access and what you will entertain. Because mm -hmm. if you're at the, if you at a low point, the mm -hmm. all you're looking for is to be validated and reassured in certain ways. So I would say to the overall tonight's point in which your conversation as far as our value is directly connected to how we feel about ourselves and where our self-esteem is. This is why when women say, Oh, that was in my past, that's when I was this. They gain some sort of wisdom from those experiences. For this is why even with men, the type of women you would date, you dated when you were at a low point would not have been a woman that you entertain at a different point. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a lot more detrimental for women because these are the men that we lay down with. These are the men that we allow to get us pregnant. These are the men that we end up divorcing and all these, whatever the case may be. So I would say it's directly tied into what our self-esteem is as to what we were entertaining and into our bodies. Yeah. I think a woman who's promiscuous in that way, mm. or to be having sex, that's directly tells you where her self esteem is, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. No, I wish that link would have worked. So I think the answering those questions in real time, how we broke them down, would have been good for the insight, you know? No. Um, Twiz, what you got, my G? Man, I think Lucky kind of hit on the head earlier where none of these conversations are getting nowhere. 
Like, we got to have to fix, like, I keep saying this, I think, and I said it in about three different shows. We don't get anywhere. Like, we don't have any real conversation about solutions at all. All we do is go back and forth blaming each other and fighting. And I think y'all just get, or we, I'll include myself, I think we get excited by that. And and it's, it's derailing the whole point of why we even come up here. So at some point, we're going to have to just level headed, like, just had some real conversations because we're not getting nowhere. Like Lucky says, she ain't learning nothing. So what is that going to do? We, if we trying to get girls, period, we trying to keep them. Like Fatty was saying, we're not going to be able to keep these women if we don't understand them and they don't understand us. And they don't even care to understand us because they're triggered by it. You know what I'm saying? So, so we got to like, we got to figure what out a way to act. What is the solution for a woman promiscuity? Leave her alone. Oh, As a man? So yeah, leave her so alone. Yeah. Most, you see what I'm talking about? And this is why men are a part of the problem. Instead of being straight up and say, stop being a hoe, close your legs. We are, we need you to. You can't do that. that? You cannot know, make it. How are you going to do that? Sir, this is, this is, sir, sir. Without the respect. Without the respect. Without the respect. That doesn't Without the respect. When somebody has a disease, we go to the source of the problem. We don't go to the second phase. Men not fucking hoes doesn't change the fact that women are being hoes. So instead of putting the focus on leave them alone, why not have a serious conversation and talk about women? You know why? Because this is exactly what this space is, entertainment for most of us. We just want to keep going and pushing the ball and the ball and the ball. You are not willing to have the real conversation because if you were, this conversation will have two minutes. What is the solution? Walls, stop being hoes. Game over. Let's go home. We don't. We are not there for you. We want the six What's hours. The, what solution did you come up with in the past hour that you've been on the panel? You what know what just happened. You, you know what the un, or unfortunate circumstance. I 100 disagree with Twizzy on um, what he just said. I think people say that a lot because the lack of listening is coming from them as well. So when we had the whole conversation about the pot calling the kettle last week, if you men didn't learn anything from having that conversation, that was on you. If you tuned in today before I dropped the link, we could say what well, the lady's telling the truth, etc. The revealing information they were given isn't a conversation that we've heard in this space all the time. That conversation wasn't the same Not as- Not the one earlier. I'm talking about the second one. No, I know, but twist. But if we don't make a differentiation, then then it would be all you of it. Not saying you did. You know really, what I'm saying? So we did attack it from a different point. If you notice, I was very like direct, right? I didn't waver too much, and I love them. I know mm -hmm. them in real life. You know what I'm saying? So, but and I know that they're gonna answer. So I gotta push them, you know. But that was different, you know. So yeah, you can yeah. get there, but you gotta communicate it in a particular way. It has to be palatable. I know as men, we say that the the how we message it doesn't matter, but it matters. It does matter, yeah. Like, whether we like it or not, it, it matters. You know, so it just... I think the first conversation got through to something. I, I'm talking about the second half of this. Like, that's okay. what we do. We end up arguing about the same thing over and over again. If we're going to do the first half, we should have just kept it going in that direction. But we're having a real discourse, you know, not an argument. The twist, you know what's ill? The fatty's, the fatty's last point, Danny, you got it right after this, is when you initially came up, mm -hmm. it wasn't much to talk about. No, nah, that's true. I was num I was even confused. Wait, wait, they agree with us today? What the hell is going on? They were actually being productive and being okay. Thing, the you know? man were introduced to the conversation, it is. But just to make sure that you understand, brother, and actually you treat me very well, so I have nothing against you. It will be like a woman come here and say, Guys, how do we solve like graping? And I said, you know what? Uh, I the woman at home. Mm. Instead of us focusing on the problem, which is the man being a piece of shit that takes advantage of women, you know what we should do for that man to not actually touch women? We do kind of tell women that. We tell them to protect themselves because no, you can't do. control the. You can't. Con we do. Say, we don't say that. That doesn't come up in these. In, in this. With all the respect, there's don't, a very. Small don't wear promiscuous clothing because it may attract the guys that we know. Very, shit. Don't there's move the very, at a certain time at night because we know that men who are out doing shit. That's we do say that. We we do say that. We do it, say that. With all the respect, fellas, most of these problems actually uh, people that get touched is by other people that they know. It's not by a stranger on a dark alley. You know what I'm saying it is. What I'm saying is you can still mitigate risk yourself. 
And instead of mitigating people. risk, why not talking about the risk in itself instead of talking but about you know the ancient people gonna keep doing ancient shit. That's oh, exactly. That's the point. And man is going to keep fucking nose. So stop telling men to not touch your nose. That's the point. Thank you for proving my point. If men are going to keep fucking nose, stop telling men get don't get close to them. So what are you, you, you saying? Just let everybody do what, what the I'm saying, saying is easy. Is if you if you are I going, mean, but according to the conversation, every woman is a hoe, even the ones y'all marry, right? No, did nobody said that, Lucky. No. But if you feel I'm that type of way, as many is. conversations I've been privy to, mm. if she had, if she, if she's a woman and she has a kid, I'm a hoe. I guess if you dated a man and you had sex with him and something, and he talks about it, you're a hoe. Yes. If you if if you are dating multiple men that you're not sleeping with just the fact that you're entertaining them you're a hoe like mm. everything deems a woman a hoe basically not so well, i'm so just why, so in why the not conversations, it just seemed like if women are just doing something different or, or not different but just everything y'all name is a hoe there are women who don't do that that y'all uh -huh. can actually highlight invite to panel okay so i'll you like, to tell us who what to always you tell us go ahead you got this what are you, what is a hoe? I I think a hoe is based on how many people she fuck and how close yes. she fuck. Yes. Based on that. Yes. So I, I don't I like what he's. What is a number? To me, it's no number. It depends on if. No, you she said it is the based on the number that she fucked. No, 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 no. Meaning, me, listen, fatty. Okay, yes. I think Hap gave an example. Did you say two a year? Yeah. On average. To me, to me, I know how long it would take for me to get to know somebody to sleep with. I could talk about it all day. Right, but I do have friends. I do have friends that actually have a higher body count during their twenties. Now she's forty three years old. She ain't slept with nobody in the last five years. You get what I'm saying? So no, her, we, we don't. We we don't. If a woman is thirty, uh, what's the body count for to be considered a hoe? You're saying there's a number to call her a hoe. So that means she can get that number based on her age at a certain level. So what hey, I'm look. saying to me. It's how soon you can fuck, how frequently, and how often are she meeting these people. If there's a girl on my panel that talked about she's fucking after three dates, men would say she was a hoe. Lucky, I'm talking I'm about saying? you. Stop deflecting from other people. We've been I doing this for three years. Question. Did I not you answer said, the question? You, I asked you, what is a hoe? You said it's based on the it number. I kept talking. So the first part was the answer. This is the talking. We just you want to let what's the thing? Hang on, hang on, because we already had this. No, no, argument. hang on. Don't save her. Don't save her. We're, no uh, one's saying here. We're final thoughts now. This ain't a final no. thought no more. That we're we're having the same conversation. No. We can't have it again. Not not for another hour. We, we this is just wrap it up with a final thought. Final thought. You I'll just wrap much, it up and keep it real quick. I'm just telling us what to do. I can just let just let me tell us what to do. Hey, just asked me a question. I answered the question and then gave more context. He repeated and told me to answer the question. All right, so look, do, the, do saying, me a favor. Right what was the what was the answer real? What was the answer real quick? Look, I'm. What I was said the answer? how often, how soon, and how frequent she's okay. having sex with a new person. Okay, that's my answer. So that's not the number anymore. So you change it after you actually push. You introduce the number. No. You said verbatim is the number of partners she had. Okay. Now that we got to a number, let's stick it to that, please. Let's not talk about the you quickness. Miss, you're no, lucky one second. Me. So lucky one second. Is a a, a, a woman with a hundred bodies a hoe? Right. I just yes, go and I need to meet a hundred people. Yes, of course. Okay, so that's the point. Number. So now that you now that I know that you can clear you can grasp the concept of a promiscuous woman being a hoe. Tell me the minimum number that a woman at 30 years old to be considered one by lucky standards, not by him, by society, YouTube, by lucky standards. If you know a woman you at, said the, at what age? 30. I would say less than five. Less than five. Do you have yes. less than five bodies? And if she started having sex at 18. Do you, yes, do you, have, do you have less than five bodies, Lucky? Yes. <laughs> hey, you thank you for me. having me, guys. I appreciate it. See you like you that. said me? He, yeah, he asked if you did. Yeah, he, yeah. So you saying more than five bodies is a hoe? What you would think? I said that's, at age thirty, yes, to me. Yeah, I, I that's fine. Twenty six. Nah, that's fine. You ain't gotta explain why. You know we. I don't get cool. it. I don't. I don't. It's that's fine, weird. man. It just I, the conversation is great. No, 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 no. I'm not complicated. Let me just, just. Uh, I, I just, I'm gonna keep oh, it as quick as I can. Quick as I can. 
Um, only reason why any of this matters when we're talking about it is how one can sustain a relationship for as long as possible. Um, uh, two different uh, women at two different stages of their life. Um, I, I mean, you need discernment. You need discernment to pick out um, anyone good and bad. That's how you pick your friends. It's how you pick your um, your your work husband or whatever, your best friends. It's how you pick your, your spouse. I mean, it's how you pick a lot of things, right? You have to have discernment. You have to have some sort of um, uh, moral guidance to say, okay, well, these people who act this way, I want to stay away from. These people who act this way, maybe I want to gravitate towards. Um, the same thing happens when uh, women um, uh, choose what kind of partner they want. They want someone who's either successful, maybe rich, maybe treats them nice, treats them the way they want to be treated. And that's not something that they're able to get experience on one date or a one-off person ch ch uh, chance encounter. That takes time. It takes time to uh, work with discernment and fi figure out what you really do want and what you really don't want and for how long. So that's why it actually matters to us. It matters to us uh, at some point, not right away, but at some point, if uh, our investment is long term, then we want to get the best thing possible. I think I'll I, get there. I, 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 I think that's Final right. thought. I'm just a unique thing because I started dating men at 26. So all of this is kind of just like weird. <clears throat> Dana? Yeah. Um. People gonna talk about you till the day you die. So whether you have five bodies or fifty bodies, it doesn't matter. You're only accountable to one person. So live your truth, live your best life. But along those lines, Fatty did make some very valid points, I think, tonight. And um, with that being said, if it walks like a duck, if it talks like a duck, if you don't want to look like a duck, then don't. And it's it's yeah. that simple. On Nikasu. Yeah, well, as an engaged man, um, one thing I could say is some things about quite a bit of women. Some say they respect their body more than they truly do because they're, as some people have said, they kind of tie their value to us in a way. So they, how do I put it? They, they don't really view their body that much as a temple as they as they may say out of their mouths so it's sometimes pretty different but as far as men uh, when we're trying to get married we, we want to take pride in the woman that we marry so of course so we don't want a town bicycle i mean we, we all know that lower is better so it, it it's really that simple because we take pride in the woman who, who's either going to have our kids or we, we just take serious for an extended period of time and so really with that um they don't want holes they go back to the garden they they they, they got to be used so that's it's really that simple twizzy i ain't saying nothing last time i said something the whole argument broke out <laughs> mm -hmm. it's been a good night <laughs> mm -hmm. yana thanks for having me it's great to be here i am who i am and i'm not who i'll never be no doubt. I uh, I just, I think that this last part overshadowed the first two hours, which I think was very insightful. That I'm gonna make sure I clip and pull something away from. Um, cause I think the questions that were answered and how they were answered more than what was asked, um, can give some great insight. So I have five daughters and one son, and so I'm not gonna sit here and be delusional like, hey. Your dad did it, so it was good for you. No, I'm gonna ask my. I'm gonna hope I can have my son not have the same type of conduct, because whoremongering does nothing for nobody, and especially the community. You know, so you got to sit here and be different. Just because you did it and your whatever your experiences is, you could have done it incorrectly. And there's people coming up after you, but everybody's so afraid to be wrong, and so afraid to be a part of the problem. But if it's you, God damn it, it's you. Period. So if I can get my daughters to a point where they they the girl that want to be asked to prom and if they end up letting somebody have them, at least they understand their value. Hopefully they value after the fact. But who the fuck knows? But you got to try to perpetuate the good things if we want us to be more successful than we currently are. I mean, point blank, period. 
so i'm gonna clip up the first part for sure it should be definitely definitely interesting you know what i mean well i'm sorry if this on my part if i try to mm -hmm. catch to anybody to kind of you know i didn't mean to do that no nah, we well, chilling no you you had the conversation that was being had so that all you could do is have the conversation that was being had you know you always good lucky you know that is what it is um but i think i think i just want to say thank you to the ladies who was here who ain't here now um that was was willing to have that conversation earlier you know um because it's hard for motherfuckers to say tell the truth especially out here these yeah. are super yeah. Asian, feel me? so you know oh yeah Damn, man. Read the last one. Chat before oh, you go. Super chat? Okay. Striking the wrist with the final says, women are not here to learn. They're here to change the space to their liking and right. to be fawned over slash attention. This is a grift for most women in this space. What is grift is like feed off of something else? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not it's not genuine, it's disingenuous. Oh, okay. Well, you'll be happy to know, striking it rich, that none of the ladies that were on a, the panel earlier are YouTubers at all. <laughs> so I don't know if uh, that makes a difference. As A with the 20 ball says, they backpedal. Women behavior equals body count. It became pattern over 20 years. Dragon. Mike ended up saying he fell in love because with hoes because who didn't want him. Ellipsis. Fatty ended up saying you can't tell because they mimic. Uh, ellipsis make it making Dana's point. Mm. God, you with the final says if men can't tell whole behavior, can women discern it it themselves or other women? If so, then tell the men what be whole behavior is. If it's not, then why argue? It's if behavior is if not, then why argue? Yeah, not it's a it's a comma after is. Mm -hmm. Make sure I read it right. God, you said if a man can tell a hoes be it, huh? No, I was just gonna say he's saying if women can say if they know what a hoe is, then tell us. If you can't, yeah. stop arguing the point. Oh, that's fair. Put us up on game. Lucky says you know what's up. Well, how we know? Mm -hmm. I'll start. Oh, we'll, we'll start. Yeah. We'll start. <laughs> she already said it earlier. Actually, she said it when she came up here. She she said it when she uh, first got here. So I mean, she was along yeah, but the lines. She, she can't explain how we know, like the things we already Alexa, have been saying. Tell these niggas to go to sleep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You, she can go to bed whenever, right? I, I just think everyone needs to walk away with learning at least something. I mean, I don't know uh, if you if you do that. Men are always going to judge a book by its cover. I bet there's some, there's some shit that girls know that we ain't privy to though that they ain't sharing. Like it's something. What do you mean? We, we, yeah, like the girls is around girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be right. I'm about to go back and listen to the whole the first half because I might get. Yeah, that, that was a good one, definitely. I'm sure. Which no, one? What are we talking about? The, the first the portion part, of the video. Yeah, oh, I got, I got, got you. Got you. you know yeah. what? You know what I hear from our space uh, often is there's a lot of late blooming going on too. Like I hear the arguments from some of the fellas and I could tell it's a little bit of a late bloom. And then I seem like I'm out of touch because for whatever reasons, I bloomed a little bit earlier, you know? Um, so I do see, I hear that a little bit, not saying it's bad or good, but I just, it's, there's a difference a little bit, you know, maybe we can assess that on Friday when we do like the recaps and shit. Hmm. Like bloom is immature or, or what? Is it just I mean, get to the, into the box? Yeah, immature, get to the box, being desired, whatever the case is. So I don't know, something, something just to dive into, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Oh, um, just okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah. You have know. one more super chat. Um, all right. Oh, they did it. Super chat. Yeah. As Ava the father said, Lucky said what you men said, then said she was what she really felt, changing what she said at first. And what was that? This was no, about no. describing what what a hoe is. That's what he was talking about. Bread and butter with the father. Oh, he says, I agree body count matters, but if a woman's current behavior presents a certain way, I won't even feel the need to ask. Hmm. Interesting. 
and that's why yeah. the woman's body how the ladies dove into it i think this this message means a lot here for sure but yeah late blue yeah, that's interesting that's interesting yeah, i think it's like i don't think a young man is going to have the discernment that like an older man has when it comes to like dating and navigating uh, uh about women appropriately right it takes a kind of some time to evolve right, and deal i'm gonna let y'all come over here for six hours and uh let me just. Amy <laughs> Snowman been a member for a month. Salute, Amy Snowman. He says, salute to you in the entire. This might be risky, cast, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He says, you have created a real platform and genuine show worth watching. Keep grinding, my guy. Thank you for the investment, Angry Snowman. Four months is a, is a, is a, is a eternity. You know what I'm saying? So I humbly appreciate it, man. And you've been supporting since day one. I remember you came up here and flamed Dana one time. You know what I'm saying? So we salute. <laughs> so salute to the angry snowman, yo. Damn, man. All right. No more final thoughts. I'm going to sleep. I will see you guys Wednesday night. Tomorrow night, we got all the veterans coming up right. talking about um mm -hmm. just the, the experience. I'm gonna ask them about divorce, who the tough is, who can we there's all types of stuff so we got a panel full of vets so that should be pretty dope man. i love y'all i appreciate y'all be safe do the right thing you heard like share subscribe Good night, tell forward. a friend to tell a friend and we out